No one loves you like the Gib. JG Gib. It's the lowly one. We're going to jail, by Joe's guy, April 4th, 2021. I'm sad that there's no lowly at the arcade, by Joe Sky, 24-11-2019.
my god, here I am. Hello and welcome everybody. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, it's that time of year again where things are about to get sexy. Let me just adjust some things. There we go, that's better. Oh my goodness, how are we doing there, buddy? It's, it's, oh Christ, I'm so ready. My body is ready. We've got so much stuff to get through today and, uh, Lord knows we probably won't get through it all, but I mean, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna be wonderful no matter what we end up doing, isn't it? Oh jeez, yeah, there's so much stuff to do. Um, just a quick head count of how many things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, twelve? We're not gonna get through all twelve of them, obviously, but... We have 12 that we can possibly choose from, which makes me very happy indeed. <laughs> it means we no chance we'll run out of things to do today. But it is in time. It is indeed time once again for the Valentine's Day stream, which means it's just going to be the best thing. It's going to be the greatest thing if, in fact, you hate romance. Because, I mean, this, this most of the games I pick in these things just make us feel like shit. It's great. Kind of hoping for the Niji Sanji visual novel. I didn't even know that existed. But uh, suffice it to say, that's not on the list of things. Maybe for next year. Um, but I've got a whole ton of stuff. In my <laughs> oh my god, we're even going to be revisiting uh, two games, I think, in HD. Because I want to see what they look like in HD on the stream. Because we did them quite some time ago and they... Uh, you know, standard def just looks so terrible. So hey, what are you going to do? Oh boy. What was that sound? I heard a blur. What was that? I heard a thing. What was that? <laughs> what was that sound? I don't know what that was. Why was there a sound? It's not a request, is it? No, I don't have any requests. Why was there a... What was that creepy-ass sound? You heard it, didn't you? It just kind of went... Blair. Usually get that when someone follows or something, but no one's followed, I don't think. I don't know. I have no idea. That's so creepy. <laughs> it's spooky, even. Oh dear. Spooky, just like getting a, a creepy-ass secret admirer letter in the mail. You hate to see it. <laughs> you, Your hair is like dandelions, your face like the sun. I want to wear your skin, let's make it happen. <laughs> I don't know, that's not even a poem, but it's horrible. <laughs> Oh, God's sake. All right, um, what is the time? Yeah, we've got some time to check things like sound. And do I get encoding today? I believe I do. Yes, I do. Isn't that nice? Hang on. Uh, testing, 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 one something something. One something something. One something something. Uh, well, it just, it just doesn't get much, much going, does it? It just kind of... Oh, dear. That's, I mean, that's the downside, really, of, um of uh, getting low latency streaming going on. It's just like a, a slight delay. <clears throat> it's probably all right though. It's probably just fine if I just keep talking over and over again. Fine if I just keep talking over and over again. Fine. Yeah, that sounds all right. That sounds okay. Volume wise, yeah, it seems all right. All right, so that's good. I think we're ready to start then. It was a YouTube subscriber, I think. Oh, did someone subscribe on YouTube? Well, thank you very much. To whomever that was, I, I can find out. I can check on YouTubes, can't I? I think I can, or I could just hit my emails and see. <laughs> there we go. Lots of copyright claims, that's good. <laughs> yeah, it could have been. I'm sure they'll let me know in chat. <laughs> oh dear. That being said, no, uh, not many chats here today. That's okay. Uh, I'll just put that over there. Alright, well, let's get started on this thing, shall we? I'm gonna disappear for a fraction of a second, and when we return... It is the super sexy Valentine's Day stream of 2022. So many things are bound to happen and probably will. Most of it miserable, I can't wait. So stick with us and we'll be right back with that. And less, right after this. Uh...
Oh my god, it's that time again for more things on the internet, and yes indeed, it's time to prepare your orifices for seduction, because it's that time again for the super sexy Valentine's Day stream. Oh god, it's 2022's rendition of it, so you know it's going to be terrible. Holy fucking shit, but hey, I mean, you know, it, it's the same thing every year, but it's just new games, so it's just, it's just more misery. I'm expecting nothing but misery, I mean, really. I picked out a whole ton of stuff today, uh, I, I don't know, I mean, we're gonna see some old favourites as well, that we're finally gonna see in HD. As well as some stuff that's been on the back burner for some time that we didn't get around to last year even, it's really sad. But, uh, holy shit, let's actually get to the wonderful- I mean, you gotta love the Automaton rendition of Careless Whisper, it's the best part. Oh my god. Oh, it's so shiny. But alright, let's just get to the game, why not? Oh god. <laughs> Look at all the hearts and everything, it's great. Oh dear. <laughs> alright, that's enough of that. Let's get to the thing. No fun allowed anymore. Fun, leave the room. <laughs> fun, leave the chat. Uh, musics. Yes, welcome once, one and all, to Valentine's Day stream 2022. It's here, it's real, it's horrifying. It's going to make you feel bad about Valentine's Day, just in general. It's just going to make you feel really sad. Oh dear me. The Niji Sanji VN, so you can check it out. I probably won't get around to it today. I've got a, a lot of stuff here, and I highly doubt we'll even get around to all of this. But, I mean, there is a lot. There is a lot of stuff we have. Oh my god, so much stuff. I don't even want to spoil it. There's just so much stuff here, it's insane. And I know exactly what I want to start with, and uh, I'm going to have to get my arts on. I'm going to have to get my art, arty art thing going, because, um, yeah, first one's a strange one. First one's a very strange one. Wouldn't you agree, me, from the past? It's very strange indeed. Very strange one. Wouldn't you agree, me, from the past? It's, yeah, it's absolutely. Uh, <laughs> I don't expect you to. Not really Valentine's Day related anyway. Oh, okay. Well, if it's not, then I'm not going to do it, because this is... All miserable Valentine's Day stuff all day, and oh god, it's gonna be, it's gonna be something. I'm gonna have to flex a lot to get my bride. Absolutely, Kingdom Hearts, absolutely. Get that waifu. There's gonna be plenty of waifus here today, and also probably misery as well. Well, well, well let's start with first the first game today. It's called Doodle Date. It's a game that's like two bucks on Steam that I got a couple of days ago, and I'm like, yeah, this is this is perfect. Fine, why not? <laughs> why not? It's gonna be fine. Here we go. Let's go. Uh, display one right. Yeah, hopefully that's correct. Made with Unity, it'll pop up. There we go. Welcome to Doodle Date. It's a game. It's got language support. It can be in English, it can be in Russian. <laughs> Russian wife. Oh my god, look at back in Russian. It's home for the theater. Yeah, we're gonna go with uh, just that. That's fine. Oh dear. I've also got uh, Felicia. I've already got a waifu for today already. Jesus Christ, that's great. Here we go. What's today's waifu? It's this one over here. <laughs> it's this one over here. Where is my Will Smith? I love it. Oh, <laughs> oh that's hot. Uh, that's hot. Oh, that is hot. What are these? They're not. They've got some things that aren't named either, which is kind of annoying. What's this? Let's fucking go! That works too. <laughs> Hello, Ken Shabby. Joy's the best time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the space. Call 999. Oh, that's the that's the, the, the bottom gear stuff. I'm going to need that for later. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? How are you doing? It's, uh, this, is, this is what we're doing with our lives. Oh, dear. I really wish we didn't anymore. Hang on. Uh, the, the fade. Oh, I've already got it. Good. So if I just go... Just... Woo, there we go. It's a ghost waifu. It's a ghost. There you go. That's today's waifu. She's got a, she's got a chalky and everything. It's great. There we go. But now to today's first game. It's called Doodle Date. I don't really... I don't really know what to make of it. I hope you can draw better than uh, Jetty on Demon. Uh, I know of could. Oh, don't worry. I'm gonna. Uh, this is gonna be atrocious. I'm gonna do terribly. Let's get that audio down just a tick because I just want to see. Actually, yes, audio stuff. Uh, what would I? That's how I usually judge my audio. There we go. And game might be a bit loud, so. I mean, it's not too bad, but I'll pop it down a tad. There we go, that seems reasonable enough. Ever heard of Ralphie of the Ninja Turtles screamed... D d no? I d I no, I haven't. I haven't done that. Alright, it's Doodle Date. Um, yeah. So, this is a weird one. Um, you, you draw your waifus and everything. It's great. Let's see how it goes. Let's just jump right in. God damn it. Oh my 
goodness, summer vacation ended, and as usual, I remain single throughout it. Ha <laughs> ha, feels. No summer flings, no beach parties, just me and a whole lot of TV, video games, and lube. Even my 18th birthday wound up being a, a fluke. So here I was, back at school and back to hearing about everyone else's summer exploits. Good thing it was, it's my last year of high school. Hopefully in college I won't have to put up with this kind of crap. Oh no, you will. Don't you worry. Did you check the game she's from? I linked it to you on Discord. Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think I saw that, no. Oh, I think you mentioned it last week though. For now, it's just back to idle doodling. Just as I was opening my notebook, I heard a very, very strange voice coming from inside the pages. What, what is the meaning of this? Ah! It's a thing. Hey there, it's it's Claire. Um, she's a thing. It was one of my old drawings. I couldn't believe it. She was talking. I can't believe it's you. We were worried sick. We thought you'd never come back. W what? C come back? From where? Beats me. Used to draw in, in, in our pages all the time and suddenly you left. No matter now, you're back. Come on in, creator. Oh no. <laughs> Heard of Art Thunder from Action League, now on Kablam. I like the shoes, they're purple. Are you sure you're not thinking of Shazam with Sinbad? It's not a real thing, though. Only thing you got that summer was a sprained wrist. <laughs> oh dear, I am the creator, apparently. I am god of something. Before I could reply, I suddenly found myself being pulled into the pages of my notebook by a mysterious force. What's happening? -ning 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 -ning. <laughs> Ooh, oh god, the blinding light, okay. Oh, I'm excited for July, though. Welcome, creator, to Doodle World. The place where all of your wonderful creations come to life, including me. Yes, including you. I mean, look, A, a for, for thigh gap situation there. That's pretty good. <laughs> I know how to draw a waifu, apparently. Thanks for that. I enjoy insisting. <laughs> to demonstrate, I brought you to one of our blank pages. God, this game's music is so loud, though. Fuck. Let's get that down at just a smidge more, can we? Bloody hell. I think that's pretty reasonable. To demonstrate, I brought you uh, to one of our blank pages. W what? Bring me back to the real world this instant. This is a real world, silly. Anyway, let's loosen up those wrist muscles, eh? Oh, don't worry, plenty of that. Uh, plenty of that during the summer, you know what I mean? Start by drawing something simple like your favourite fruit. Go ahead and try it. Okay. Oh, draw your favourite fruit. Okay, uh... I'll just draw a pear, I suppose. I don't know if it's necessarily my favourite. I mean, fruit? Who eats fruit? Honestly. Oh, that's dreadful. Can I start again? Yeah, I can. Okay, great. Oh, that's a that's an abysmal pair. There we go. A, a, a for effort, but this is why you flunked art school. There we go. I am drawing with a mouse, so fuck it. <laughs> there we go. There's a pair. Looks more like a Liberty Bell, but I'll take it. Wow, that looks del <laughs> delicious. Don't patronise me, Claire. Oh dear, I would not want to- I, I would not be surprised if some of those pages were stuck together, I know. <laughs> oh, I must have wanked off to Claire at least once. At least once? I'm a quite a golden boy. I, I suppose. Not very lively though, is it? <laughs> oh, hello Floppy Cake, how you doing? Oh, have you got a, a new username? Oh my goodness. Oh my god, you're part of TLS, the Lemon Squad. I love it. <laughs> Uh, I could have drawn a cherry, you're right, I could have just drawn a cherry, that would have been great. Why don't we try creating a person who can- who- who can talk to? Who you can talk to? Uh, make sure it's a cute one. You never know if a drawing might have a thing for their creator. Are you fucking serious? Oh! Oh, what was that? Not that I'm implying anything. My relationship with you is strictly professional. Oh, uh, are we gonna fuck Claire by the end of this? I hope so. That is a beautiful pair! It's a fucking atrocious pair! Look at it! It's bad! It's like a, a deflated baby face. Anyway, go ahead, draw yourself up a dream date. Okay. Oh, okay, I have to draw a waifu now, do I? <laughs> okay. Uh, Alright, it'll have to be a stick figure. Okay, draw my dream date happy. Okay. Dream date happy. Let's go. Let's fucking go. There we go. She looks pretty happy. Uh, let's give her some hair. There we go. There we go. Oh, it gets a bit sticky after a while. Not that kind of sticky, you know what I mean. There we go, get a bit of hair going there. There we go. Oh, let's make it lum. We can make it lum. Just give it little horns. There we go. There we go. Oh my god, it's lum. Here we go. Make her happy. How do I make her look happy? I've never seen a happy woman before. <laughs> Kason is on Twitch now. Yeah, I know. I saw a uh, Twitter tweet about it. 
Drows draw pair on her drawn pair. Oh, I should have drawn boobs on the pair, shouldn't I? Speaking of which... Oh, those are the saggiest pieces of shit I've ever seen! Look at that, that's terrible! I was just gonna go like, hey, look at me, I got boobies. There we go. That's not too bad, I suppose. Dream date looking happy. It's acceptable. Alright, draw your dream date sad. Oh, yeah, see, now this I'm very used to. This I'm very used to. Here we go. Here we go. I've seen this before many times, and I say, uh, sorry, uh, uh, I'm gay. Yeah, that's it. There we go. Sad waifu looking sad. There we go. This is the best lum I've ever seen. <laughs> there we go. She's all like mopey and shit. There we are. Just sort of. This is this is surprisingly hard to draw with. There we go. Get some tits going again. Just really saggy ones though, and she's just sort of like eh, eh. She's even got deflated boobs. It's ridiculous. Here we go. Get some hair down there. I know it's not quite long enough to be lums, but that's all right. I don't want to get sued too much. You know, they're coming out with a box set. I'm sure they're going to be like more legal happy now that. Uh, you're at, say, Yatsura is getting a fucking uh, Blu-ray box set. So is uh, 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 Sonic: The Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. So there you go. No Sonic fun either. There we go. Looking all mopey and sad. Uh, oh god, do we have to go through a whole emotional range here? All right. Draw your de dream date shy. Okay, I guess I could do that. There we go. Eyes off to the side a bit, and she's like all. Oh, there we go. There we go, that looks fucking atrocious, but that's fine. <laughs> Why is it so hard to draw in this? Here we go. See, it just stops. It just stops for whatever reason. Oh, more boobers. There we go. That's terrible. There we go. It just stops. I don't know why. There we go. She's got tiny little legs. Fuck this. I'm starting again. There we go. At least, hey, look at that. The eraser works. <laughs> here we go. Don't spend too, too much time now. There we go. There's no timer on us, but I don't want to be here forever. Okay, this is atrocious. Let's see. Um, there we go. Arms are going to be sort of like, uh, oh, I don't know. I'm kind of. There we go. Yeah, a bit shy and all that. La <laughs> Monica. <laughs> it's t one part Lum, one part Monica. I mean, that's that's kind of my dream date right there, really. Honestly, this really incredibly clingy woman mixed with uh, emotionally uh, uh, abusive one as well that can electrocute me at will. There we go. Just a little bit of hair there, because this is so hard to draw in. Christ, it just stops. There we go. She's looking a bit shy. This is atrocious, but that's all right. Okay, draw your <laughs> your dream date sultry. Okay, here we go. This is where we make you have some fun with it. <laughs> oh, dear. Lumron. <laughs> oh, dear. I thought it could be uh, Lumron or Lumco. And they stop on the boobs doing <laughs> Cat ears to make her better. Well, technically, the horns could be seen as cat ears. Okay, sultry. Here we go. Here we go. This is where we have to actually bring our A game here. There we go. Sort of like, hey, how you doing? Oh, let's fucking go. Here we go. Eh, fuck, it's terrible drawing at this, I swear. Here we go. Oh, give her a power stance. Here we go. Give her a power stance. Not quite what I had in mind, actually, with that other leg. There we go. Let's give her a power stance, just sort of like... Oh, shit! Pencil, thank you. There we go, and she's like... Come here, motherfucker. Let's go. Let's fucking go. There we go. <laughs> what is going on with that arm? Hang on, excuse me. <laughs> she's paralyzed by one, uh, down one end of her body. Here we go. Oh, hang on, I got a better idea. Right on her waist right there. It's like, let's fucking go. Boobies, of course. Most important component. <laughs> it's so depressing that this is probably the best I've drawn her at this point. That's not saying a whole lot, but I'm telling you, it's really fucking hard to draw in with this. This is terrible. There we go. And a little bit of hair on top because it looks a bit weird otherwise. You know, <laughs> it's not a masterpiece unless I add the hair on top. Otherwise, it just looks terrible. <laughs> My McGubbies became bazonkers. <laughs> The nerves of the girls in bizarre games sketch, sketch stretch panic. All the all have breasts uh, had uh, all have head breast jobs gone horribly wrong. That was th those are some words. <laughs> all right, um, getting all sultry. Like you know, get the fuck over here. Let's go. Okay, draw your dream date angry. I can do that. It's like you know. Uh, hang on, wait. Do I have a sound bite for this? I think I do. Uh, well, um, uh, it's got to be here somewhere. 
Maybe I don't. All right, hang on. That's okay. That's okay. Plan B, go to the sound bites. Uh, there we go. That's the follow alert. Um, oh, there it is. I'm sure I found it. I found it, everybody. Hang on. It's all right. I found the right sound. Everything's good. <laughs> Here we go. This is exactly what we want. There we go. So we're going to go. Eh, eh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's got a wide head for some reason. Oh, hello there, Nilani. How you doing? How you doing? You joined us at the best time of drawing our perfect dates. This is. I mean, yeah, it's it's doing its thing, really, isn't it? There we go. Uh, oh god, it's working. Uh, she's so mad, uh, and she's flying a bit, of course, as well. Oh, she's flying a bit, and then just like she's all zappy. I haven't even drawn her hair yet, but I wanted to get the zappy in. There we go. Uh, hair is in though. Hair is coming in. There we go. She is angry. She is very angry. I can do that. Welcome to the Valentine's Day stream, which is always horrible. I love it. There we go. Don't forget the horns. Don't forget the horns. And now you've just got you've got the classic, really, haven't you? You've got the the classic original right there. Daddy, the buzzer! There you go. It's lovely. Is that it? Yes. Thank God. That's it. <laughs> the entire spectrum of a woman's emotional range. I love it. Looks like she's suplexing something or another. I know. <laughs> I uh, know, I'm so bad at drawing. Oh, look, it's that guy. It's... Wait, was that the guy that Johnny Depp s slapped in the face in that film? I, I can't remember which one it was, but that's great. Okay, here we go. Oh, creator, that is simply stunning. Don't patronise me, Claire. Obviously, if I drew you, my artistic skills have gone downhill quite a bit. Maybe I should have played this with a, with a tablet. I do have one somewhere, but hey. Well, what are you waiting for? I'll let you two get to know each other a little better. Maybe I'll plug the tablet in and briefly play through this on Thursday, because that's a reminder. We are going to be streaming the Super Yabai Super Sexy version of this stream on Thursday on YouTube. And the only way you can see it is if uh, you are on the Discords, because that's the only place I link it. Otherwise, you won't be able to see it. So I'm going to plug Be sure that. to follow Gib Gaming on other social media platforms. It's the only way you're ever going to be able to find that stream where we play Honey Pop 2 and Super Seducer 3 and also probably this in Super Lewd mode. I don't know. It's Her name is Sketchy. Hello. Um, hi. Thanks for making me. You're welcome. I didn't have much choice, dude. Yeah, Claire made me. She strong-armed me into this. Cyanode for Deep Web Valentines? Uh, quite possibly, yes. <laughs> I didn't have much choice. Uh, do you know how I can leave this place? You want to leave so soon after making me? Oh, you hate me, don't you? Of course not, I don't hate you at all. I just need to get back to my own world. I don't even know how I got here. Oh my. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh dear. I see. Well, I'm sure you just have tons of dates lined up in the real world, don't you? Daddy, the buzzer! <laughs> every time, every time. I mean, no, I, I don't see how that's relevant to the topic. Because if you stay, you might ha have one date lined up right now. What? I, 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 I couldn't believe it. My drawing wanted to date me. I'd never been with someone so beautiful before. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's why you're single. Hey, snaps eyes up here. <laughs> eyes up here. I didn't even give her boobies when she's angry. Everyone knows when a woman gets angry, her boobs disappear temporarily. So what will it be, big shot? Uh, should I stay? Yes, why not? I mean, I suppose I could stay here a bit longer, especially if it means you and I could, uh, you know, yes, hang out. <laughs> that was that all. I thought you were going to say something very lewd and yabay in indeed. Just say it, you weirdo. Date? Bingo. Yes, I'd love to go on a date. So how does uh, dating work in this world exactly? Here, let me show you. Oh, she's gonna show us. Okay. <laughs> Do we have oh to? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> well, here we are. Um, wh where are we exactly? Out to a fancy restaurant, of course. I want our first date to be classy. Looks exactly like where we were before, just a blank page. That's because you haven't drawn anything silly. Use your imagination. Now go on, draw us up a waiter. After draw a waiter. Okay. Uh, alrighty. I'll draw a waiter. Here we go. He's going to be kind of sultry as well, maybe. Here we go. Here we go. He just looks mostly angry, but you know. There we go. Oh, got to give him the moustache, of course. Kind of already gave him a moustache with his own face. 
There we go. Uh, waiter guy is like, oh, hello. There we go. And he's got one arm with a towel on it. There we go. Here we go. Would you like to make an order now? I've got also a plate full of stuff on it. Nondescript food items on it. <laughs> Would you like to uh, sample anything from this plate I'm always carrying with me? <laughs> Oh, I'm tempted to give him a curly baby hair. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? There we go. He's got one curly hair on top. There's our waiter. Not bad. Oh, I should have given him a giant ball sack at least. Ask Jeeves. Exactly. I should have gone for that. Oh, dear. Uh, we failed, Professor, and our clothes melted. PPG Nano of the North. I don't know what that means. Well, hello there, good looking. What can I- Oh my god, yes, it's the waiters. He's- <laughs> Okay, right, oh. Well, hello there, good looking. What can I get for you? Good looking? Just- uh... <laughs> Don't electrocute everyone, please. I said draw us a waiter, not a flirt. You just can't help but draw beautiful people who like you, huh? What? No, I didn't mean to, I swear. Uh-huh, sure. Just like you didn't mean to make me gorgeous. Go on, then. Tell our accidentally remarkably attractive waiter exactly what it is they can get for you. Uh, oh, I want my really horrible pear to make an appearance, so favourite fruit? I mean, we'd like a moment like, no, no, I want my fruit. My, uh, favourite fruit, please. Ah, oh, yes, of course. Nothing but the finest cuisine for you. I hear it's quite the mouthful. Nice move. I really feel like my concerns were addressed. Hey, at least we can now eat a pear. You said to order something. Don't you understand subtext? Never mind. You know what? This whole thing was a bad idea. I jumped into this too soon. I should have known better. I'm sorry. I guess I don't know what I'm doing. I've never gone on a date with someone before. <laughs> oh, dear. Literally come home in the nude. Oh, my God. That... That's that's definitely R-rated. I mean, I mean, I, I haven't either. Uh, having only recently come into existence about five minutes ago, but I know better than to flirt with a waiter on a first date, at least. I didn't flirt with a waiter. They just came into existence flirting. I don't know yet how the creation process works. Fine, I suppose we can try starting over. We talked throughout the evening about whatever we could. Small talk about the non-existent weather, favourite foods, etc. It wasn't much, but I could tell there were, we, were st we were starting to bond. Finally, the night came to an end and we parted ways. I drew myself up an apartment to stay the night in, and I slept like a baby in the comfiest bed I could imagine. Literally, I think I could get used to this place. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's quite cosy here. I like it. I like what this place is. I like what it's doing to me. Everything is fine. Good morning, sunshine. How did you get in? How was your first day in Doodle World? Can we call it something other than Doodle World, please? It's very suggestive. Say no more. I can tell by your tired expression that it went fantastic. Uh, what time is it? How did you get in here? It's time to get up, sleepyhead. And more importantly, time for another lovely outing with your dream date. What? Why so early? Because it's never too early to spend time with the love of your life. H how are you so sure? Because you created them as such, silly. I mean, I created you too, right? <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh, things are getting interesting. Flirt, I just asked him to help when I got stuck in the dishwasher. <laughs> oh, would you rather I drowned in there? I can't say I'm sure what you're getting at. Uh, moving on. I have arranged for you and your dream day to meet at Doodle Park within the hour. Draw yourself up something nice to wear and let's get going. Oh, this is about to get you by. All right, um, oh, I'm going to draw a banana hammock. <laughs> you know what I mean? A banana, you know, the, the thing that Borat wears. Here we go. Just sort of, uh, ah, Jesus Christ. There we go. And then just sort of you know, create a little thing there and there's a bit of a, uh, there we go. Banana hammock. Just pop some loops in you're doing fine there we go i'm just gonna wear that is what i'm gonna wear today draw nice clothes to wear i did there we go wow uh those look like shit <laughs> yeah you're definitely not wearing those tell you what uh just keep what you're wearing already fashion isn't your strongest suit what if i drew a really good thing though that would have been bullshit right there you would look at the, uh, uh, and would you look at the time? We've only got 45 minutes to get you uh, get you to your date. Cr cr crotchless, very stylish. I know it's the it's the best in haute couture here. Uh, let's get a move on. I, yeah, yeah, I'd love to. Where is this going? I wonder. Here we are. Have fun, you two. Oh, 
And it looks like the park is another blank page. Suppose I shouldn't be too surprised. Someone's just dra drawn some uh, flowers here. Hey there, somebody uh, wake, wake up on the wrong side of the bed. No, no, sorry, still getting used to everything, being a blank slate here. Actually, I haven't slept better in... Uh, actually, I haven't slept better in days. Or years, even. I, uh, had fun with you last night. Oh, sketchy, you and your lopsided boobies. Yeah, me too. Uh, so, what did you want to do? Let's see. Uh, go on a walk. I would like to sit down, that's nice. I'm too, too old for walking. <laughs> Maybe we can just sit and talk. Admire the, uh, breeze. That sounds nice. Sketchy and I sat down on a nearby Angular S design I had <laughs> repeatedly drawn in my middle school days. Oh, is it one of those S's where it's like... Um... Like, it's like, uh... Six lines and then you join them up properly. I forgot how to do them. Oh, I should... I, if I can... If I get another drawing prompt, I'll do it. For a long while, we just sat in silence, listening to the gentle flapping of scribbles in the margins of the notebook as they whiz, whizzed past aimlessly. Soon enough, though, I had finally had enough to... I, I, I finally had to break the silence. I'd had enough of this. So what sort of things have you been doing lately? I mean, I know you're a recent drawing, but do you have any hobbies? Anything you like? Dislike? Well, since last night I decided to simply explore, I find I like walking along the lines of the paper, and for some reason I've been craving fruit ever since my inception. But more than anything, I just couldn't stop thinking about you. Do you think something's wrong with me? Is my existence just to exhibit some fantasy of yours, or... And, and is thus hollow to begin with? Oh no, she's starting to get all existential on me. That's, uh, that's heavy. On the other hand, you're really cute. Sketchy reached out to hold my hand. They smiled at me as they clasped down. Do you... do you think I'm cute? Uh, of course. You know what? You're more than cute. You're, uh, you're some... you're, you're just absolutely, uh, scribbletacular. I think you're for, far more than cute. I think you're beautiful. Gorgeous, even. And you're by far the most amazing person I've ever laid my eyes on, etc. Sketchy was silent as they looked up at me in a way I'd never seen before, except I have, because I drew her like this. Suddenly, before I could react, Sketchy had grabbed me and pressed their graphite mouth against mine. Oh, no! Oh, I'm gonna have to kiss her. Oh, she tastes like fucking pencil. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, oh, well, oh, I even know your lip gloss. It's 2B. <laughs> or is it HB? I don't know, actually. Sketchy passionately kissed me, engulfing me with sensual energy. I was taken aback and instinctively held their body against mine. Two weeks later, I died of lead poisoning. <laughs> and that was the end of that. Finally, the kiss was laid to rest after what felt like a blissful eternity. I only wish it could have lasted forever. Ahem. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Uh, I uh, better get going. Oh, what's the rush? This all feels like it's moving so fast. I think I just need to, uh... I need to lie down for a bit. Oh, I see. Don't feel bad, I'll... I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully more than that. Sketchy let go of my hand and walked away. I could still feel their phantom kiss which kept my spirit up as I made my way back to my apartments. The phantom kiss. The, uh, the, uh, cancelled title for, uh, the now cancelled Metal Gear Solid 7. <laughs> or 6. Yeah, it's the 6th one we didn't get. <laughs> Metal Gear 6, the phantom kiss. <laughs> Why are we here? Just to taste lead? <laughs> Literally. I think I'm really starting to like this place. This is a good place. I like it. I can just draw waifus whenever I want. I just arrived back at my apartment when suddenly I heard a familiar voice come to my bedroom. <gasps> what is this? Oh, it's Claire. Hello again. Ah, you scared me half to death. Why are you in my bedroom? To ask you how your date went, of course. It went great, uh, actually. <laughs> Why are you so inter invested anyway? I... I just want to see you happy is all. I'm very interested in knowing if you're getting the love you deserve, creator. Claire, be honest with me. Do you, do you have feelings for me? What? No. No, of course not. I'm simply interested in your well-being, creator. I want you to find your true love, and your tr true love is obviously your dream date. Sketchy, after all. You, you drew them that way, so you do love Sketchy, don't you? Oh my god. Uh, what if I love you? Oh, no, I do love Sketchy. She's great. She's fantastic. You're right, I do. At least, I think I do. I don't know what I feel. Relationships are so new to me. <laughs> Especially once when it's drawn women. Holy shit. Well, I'm sure you'll figure it out sooner or later, creator. Just give Sketchy time. True love blossoms over time, after all. I'll leave you to your thoughts, creator. I, I wish you the best of luck in your, in your love endeavours. I'll always be around to support them. I'm sorry if I made things strange for you. It's okay. Have a good night, Claire. Good night. <laughs>
What is this? Oh yeah, uh, this is getting a bit strange. The next morning I felt refreshed. I don't know what it, what it was exactly, but something about the last night felt so affirming. My feelings for Sketchy were real and I was now more excited than ever to see them again. Suddenly a knock on the door. Oh, what now? Hello, anyone home? It was Sketchy. Over so soon, I checked the time. It was noon, I suppose I must have slept in. Frantically, I hopped into my pants. You don't have pants. <laughs> you have a banana hammock. Fiddling with the zipper that doesn't exist. I'll be there in a minute. As I got the zipper up, I tripped over the doodle carpet and fell to the floor with a thud. Tee hee. A distant tee hee came from the doorway. I, I hate tee hees. Those are the worst. I blushed. Finally, I got up and was able to answer the door. Hey, it's Sketchy. Hi. Having trouble there? Um, what do you mean? It sounded like you were having some issues. <laughs> uh, yeah, just having some issues getting uh, put together. I sort of just woke up. Te Stop teeheeing, it's not kosher. I see. Well, uh, I don't sleep, so I guess I don't know what that must be like. Oh, I should draw her a bed so she can sleep in it. Trust me, you're not missing out on much, just uh, morning grogginess. Anyway, good uh, afternoon. So, uh, I was wondering what you wanted to do today. I was thinking maybe we could see a movie? Is that a thing here? Oh, right. Uh, I guess that's something for me to draw, right? I mean, I've never seen one before. I'm sure you could come up with something great. Uh, sure. I've always, I've always wanted to make a movie. Alright, let's go. Oh, okay. Draw a movie. Best Dead or Alive Extreme Crushes. Uh, I've... Oh, God. Hang on. There, there was one in particular that I actually found recently. I'm glad you brought it up at this wonderful time, because, hang on, uh, I can't remember a name off the top of my head, but I will remember when I see a stupid face. Um, or I might not. Uh, maybe, uh, it's probably long gone now. <laughs> it's probably long gone, I don't know. Waifu is gone forever. Oh, dear. Uh, no, definitely gone. Definitely gone. That's all right, though. That's fine. I gotta draw a movie though. Um, draw a movie. Oh, I draw the S that I was talking about. Yes, get the S going. There we go. You go six vertical lines, and then you go. Hopefully, I still remember how to do this. There we go. Yep, this is good so far. And then you go eh, and then eh. Fucking, it's hard to draw in this game though. Holy shit. There we go. Oh, and you gotta, you gotta. Uh, I think it's yeah. Got it. There we go. There's the S. Lovely. Fifty Shades of HP Pencils. I know, if this gets really kinky, I'm looking forward to it. Draw Markiplier, the bite of of 87 frame. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't actually know what that means. Oh dear. Draw a movie though. The S. Um, oh, I know exactly what else I want to draw for this movie. Here we go. Here we go. There we are. Just... There we go. Smiley face there. And then, oh, some legs. And he's got a gun. Just a nice revolver will do the trick, I think. There we go. It's really hard to draw in this fucking thing. Okay, got a revolver here. Yay, got to give him a cowboy hat. Here we go. Oh, here we are. It's a bit lopsided, but it'll do. Oh, <laughs> give him a cowboy hat. And a dead child on the ground. Here we go. Uh, bruh, eh. There we go. Yay! I saved the world from this horrible child! <laughs> I did! I'm a hero! I love it. He's, oh no, wait, he's a graffiti guy. Hang on, yeah. It's like it's like a, a, a modern day story. Yeah, he's like he's like here in, in Detroit, and there's like some kid there spray painting an S on there, which means I have to sort of go like that. There we go. <laughs> Someone sprayed an S and like a cowboy comes in from the past. He's like, well, no, vandalism is not okay and shoots the child dead. Love it. There we go. <laughs> oh, this looks like it's going to be good. <laughs> oh my God. From Russia with love to die for. I did not draw her. I did not. It's the room too. <laughs> the town with no CDI. Oh, the town with no name, CDI. Yes, it, it pretty much is, isn't it? Come back, Shane! My name's not Shane, kid. <laughs> this looks like it's gonna be good. From the creator themselves comes the greatest motion picture ever drawn to screen. 
Told you. Huh? I didn't write that. Shh, the movie's starting. Okay. Movie sounds. <laughs> Oh my god, it's it's the the, the cinematic uh, it, it's the it's the film adaptation of a town the town with no name. <laughs> and it's more interesting because he travels into the future. Oh dear. Oh no, fucking bots. I hate it. Movie sounds. Whoa! What is this? <laughs> Movie sounds continue. From the town of A4 Paper wrote a stranger one fine day. He finds himself traveling into the 21st century. Some stupid delinquent kid is spray painting an S on a wall. It's time for the law to, to put an end to this shit. <laughs> Botcon. Haha, <laughs> what a card. Oh my god, what is this? No, don't do it! <laughs> Take a dirt nap there, kid! Movie sounds. Oh wow, I didn't see that coming. Mind blow. <laughs> Sketchy, you're reading into this too much. The movie finally ended. And as the credits rolled, we realized we had been holding hands the whole time. We pulled away, suddenly, once looking at each other. Heh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that was the best movie ever, I love it. Unbreakable with Bruce Willis. Oh dear, wow, that was some Academy material right there. Oh, I missed a link as well. There's a linky over here. Oh, it's a waifu thing. What is she doing? What is she doing? What is it? Touch Bubba. <laughs> she doesn't seem like she's not enjoying herself. <laughs> I mean, sure. Oh, God. That was some Academy Award material right there. I can't believe you made that. <laughs> I did not draw her. I did not. <laughs> oh, dear. I've drawn damn near everything in my life. Women, children, I've drawn them all, and I'm here to draw you. <laughs> Uh, neither can I. So, what did you think? What was your favourite part? The comedy, the drama, the action, when it was over with. I love the action. I love the part where the kid gets shot. I like the part where they narrowly escape the explosion. Wow, that's my favourite part too. I like movies. You must be lucky to be able to see them so often in your world. Yeah, but I feel even luckier being here. Oh, why is that? Because I'm here with you. Sketchy blushed and then drew clo and then drew closer. <laughs> I get that pun. That's great. Holding my hand in theirs. Is that so? Y yeah. Sketchy suddenly gave me a small peck on the cheek before pulling away. And now I've got fucking lead pencil on my cheek and everything. Well, good. <laughs> what is going on? Oh God's sake. The dates continued on throughout the coming weeks. More movies, more dinners, etc. Each time we grew a little closer. As the weeks turned into months, I came to realize that I didn't want to leave this place. There was no future I could imagine that didn't involve Sketchy. I had to let Sketchy know how I felt. Oh my god. Here we go. <laughs> ah, isn't this a- isn't it beautiful today? Anywhere is beautiful as long as you're there. No, oh, stop it. So, why did you want to come here today? You can do this, I thought to myself as I tried to dislodge the frog in my throat. <clears throat> um, Sketchy, I... I love you. <laughs> it's, it's all the bubbers. It's just throwing me off every time. Oh, more than I love... Uh, more than love you, in fact. I think I've been thinking about it for a while, and uh, I don't think I ever want you out of my life. I'm willing to stay here forever, Sketchy, if... If... Go on. Sketchy, will you marry me? We haven't even fucked her yet. What's going on? Oh no, draw an engagement ring. Alright, hang on. Uh, I want to draw a ring that's got like a Chaos Emerald on it. There we go. It's just fucking huge Chaos Emerald on it. There we go. You just sort of... Eh, 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 eh. There we go. And then you just sort of go... Eh, eh. Here we, eh, 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 eh. Yeah, that's good enough. Why, why not? And then uh, ring. Ring, ring, ring. There we go. Oh my god, that's how you marry Sonic the Hedgehog. You get a gold ring. There you go. That's how you do it. And done. There we go. Oh my. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Where are you? Oh, it's right here. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Oh my. Uh, that. That's a big ring. <laughs> a very big, pretty ring. I. I don't know what to say. Yes, my heart began to tremble. I mean, if you. I'm. 
are you? I was hoping the ring itself would be disproportionately small. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm hoping the game actually puts the ring onto her little hand or something. I don't know how, I don't think that would be possible though. But we'll see. I mean, if you, I'm, are you, oh heck, why not? Yes, yes I will. I slid the ring on Sketchy's finger and we embraced. I couldn't believe it. This was real. I was getting married to a fucking sketch girl. <laughs> Why? The day had finally come. I was sweating like a maniac in my nervously doodled tuxedo, which was starting to smear. <laughs> Shit! I quickly erased the smeared lines and hastily redrew them back on. You can do this. You've prepared for this day. Just fucking relax. Oh no, she's back again and she's still angry. Oh, why? Why are you so upset, Waifu? What are you doing? What are you doing? Not in the bus! No, no, no! Move it over there! Hey, dear, is everything okay? Everything all good? Yes? N no, I don't know. Move it over there, I said. There, not there. Yes, there! <laughs> God damn, these decorators! I'll draw better ones next time. <laughs> anyway, uh, yes, yes, everything's fine. I'm just a little nervous as all. It's okay, I am too. The guests are arriving in two minutes and the cake still isn't here! Everything's gonna be okay, dear. It's fine. I know, I know. I, it, it's just, I don't want our day, I, I want our day to be perfect, you know. It will be, because you and I will be married by the end of it. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow, I scrolled a thing. Uh, something happened. Eh. Now I've got extra text and stuff. I leaned over and kissed Sketchy. Now go put yourself together. I'll greet our guests and then I'll meet you under the archway. I want that to go away, though. Can that go away? Oh, God. Well, that's now with us for life now. That's great. <laughs> Okay, thanks. See you there. I could see our first guests arriving in the distance. I walked over to greet them, only to find a face I hadn't seen in a long time. Hey, it's Claire. Hey. Oh. Uh, hey, long time no see. I'm already regretting not uh, taking you up on your offer. Yeah, figured I'd leave you two lovebirds alone for a while. I mean, that's a long while. Yeah. I mean, I'm glad you came. Yeah, well, I felt like I had to. There's, uh, there's something I need you to know before you get married. Uh, what you asked me, uh, what you asked me all those months ago, I, I know I never gave you a straight answer, but I've always had feelings for you right from the start. Oh God, no. The dots. Oh, maybe it's the dots. Uh, no, I think that's just auto. There's also a mute button and there's, I think, fast forward as well. That's why they, that's why I brought you here to begin with. Okay. Don't know what you mean by that, but sure. When you drew me all those years ago, idly doodling while staring at your teacher, I felt a special bond with you. Ever since I knew I had to bring you here so I could tell you how I felt. Oh, I see. So if I may ask, why did you have me draw Sketchy then? Why encourage me to date someone else? I... I'm not sure. I suppose that when I asked you to draw your dream date, some part of me was hoping that... that you'd draw me. <laughs> but it would be a clone of you, wouldn't it? It'd be like your twin sister. A marriage to a... to a sketch girl ain't worth the paper she's drawn on. I'm sure someone's done this in Japan. I, I'm sure they have. Oh dear. That maybe, just maybe, you'd felt our bond all this time too. But when you drew Sketchy, I, I couldn't bear to try and take you away from the newfound love you had created for yourself. Guess what I'm trying to say is, I love you. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Okay, uh, ultimate question. Should we break things off with Sketchy? That's sweet, but I love Sketchy. I kind of want to create some drama and controversy here. I want someone to stab me to death by the end of this game. I think I love you too. I think I love- no, don't. Just don't say anything back. My heart can't take it either way. I'm not here to crash a wedding. That's not who I am. I just needed to be honest with you. This is just something I had to do for myself. Now go marry the love of your life. <laughs> Claire, and with that, Claire was gone. Lost in the sea of incoming scribbles, symbols, and margin notes. All who had arrived for the wedding. Even the, uh, the S. The graffiti S. <laughs> Hi, I'm here too. It's time. Oh, here we go. Oh, the waiter is marrying us. Do you, most shapely and handsome creator, take Sketchy as your lawful drawing for life? Two sketchy girls, literally. <laughs> I know. Is Claire not wearing a bra or panties behind her clothes? Uh, I. She might be. She might not be. If she isn't, I'm going to be very sad that she she's now gone now forever, probably. I have to, uh, to have and to hold uh, from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health. Do get on with it. 
Till love, until cherish, until death do you part. Uh, no options here. I do. And do you, Sketchy, take your creator as your lawful creator for life, etc., etc.? Same thing, isn't it? Uh, emphasis on poor would be good, because I don't have any money here. Oh, wait, I can make myself a millionaire here, can't I? There we go. Can I just get rid of this? I want it to go away. There we go. I, I do. Then with the power invested in me and my culinary and table-serving knowledge, I now pronounce you spouse and s uh, spouse. <laughs> you may kiss each other. Go nuts! Yay, I held Sketchy by the waist and kissed him passionately. The scribbles cheered wildly as they convulsed around the page. What, do they laugh like Peppa Pig and her friends? Because they always laugh and then collapse on the ground like they're dying of something. <laughs> they all have the plague. Oh dear. Oh, the fucking thing is still like this. Go away! After the ceremony, I carried my newfound partner into the bedroom of our newly drawn house. Oh my god, we're on the bed and everything. This is gonna get... this is gonna get sexy. Can you go away? God damn it. Alright, never mind then. So... So... Shall we consummate our union? I... I suppose so. <laughs> what do you mean? I... I don't know. I've never done anything like this before. I mean... Neither have I. <laughs> this is gross. It's Peppa Pig with money. I love it. I don't know. Something feels wrong about it. I kind of want to play uh, uh, the the Peppa Pig game on Steam. I, it sounds like a disaster and I feel like I should do it. Wrong? What could be wrong about it? We love each other. We're married. What more could we have? It's just... I don't know. <sighs> Babe, can I ask you something? Of course. If we don't tonight, will you be upset? I... <laughs> it's like it's like JC Denton from Day Sex. I I I mean of course not. <laughs> I love you after all. If you really feel strongly about not doing it tonight, then yeah, I guess that's fine. I I <laughs> you seem kind of upset already. No, 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 not at all. I'm just surprised as all. That's a lie. I would think you would have wanted this too. I do want it, just not right now. It doesn't feel right yet. Could you at least tell me why? I just... I just want you to trust me on this. I'd rather not talk about it. Okay, okay, that's fine then. I love you. I love you too. This is all lies, isn't it? Nine months later, the patter of tiny pencils. I'm not so sure about that, actually. Oh, look, there's an X. You can get rid of it. Months went by, and married life went on as to be expected. With neither of us having or needing jobs, what with everything being at the tip of our fingers, we just spent our days in the house. We'd while away the hours of every day eating, talking, and watching reruns of my own movies on the Doodle Vision channel. We even whipped up some internet and video games last night. We created the internet. This is great. Oh, it's so sentimental of me to bring a pie. Oh dear. She's a drawn trap. Oh no, it turns out she was a drawn trap all along. Why did I draw my 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 perfect date waifu with a penis? Why did I do that? I was just doing it for laughs and now it's just it's just my life now. <laughs> I was just bored, maybe I was slightly drunk, I drew a dick on her, and now look what's happened. I can't rightly erase it off again. But that was just it. Passing the time every night. We would try again to consummate our union, and every night it didn't happen. I don't like to consider myself superficial or sexually driven, but I must admit, I, it, it started getting to me. Was, was I just not cut out for married life? <laughs> I have a feeling that uh, me from the game is uh, kind of a fucking loser. Hey dear, figure out what we're go going to, to do for dinner tonight. Ah, uh, no, I don't have, uh, I, I haven't thought of that yet. Well, would you think up something soon? I'm getting kind of hungry. I mean, theoretically, I don't need to eat as long as I have a digestive tract, uh, as I don't have a digestive tract, but some food would be, would sure be nice. I don't suppose you could whip something up. Ah, uh, excuse me? Fucking Daddy, the mother! You know, maybe I don't have to make us something every night, you know? Well, I'm not the one who can magically draw us up meals. I mean, does cooking not exist here? Anything you want exists here, that's the point. So if, if I want you to make me dinner, you can. Okay, not having it with this attitude you got here, you need a minute, because I can give you a few days on your own if that's what you want. I want you to contribute to our little home here every once in a while, you stupid pencil dickhead waifu thing. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not contributing. I'm not spending every day of my existence with you talking about you watching things you make. This whole world is about you. I know, so make me fucking dinner! <laughs> this is bullshit! 
Your HB was an SB. <laughs> oh dear, I mean, I suppose. Yeah, you ever stop to think that maybe I don't like that I don't have a background? Wants and desires, no history or taste to call my own? All I am is something meant to physically suit you. No desires, no wants. Well, you sure desire to never have sex every night, you stupid woman! Oh, so we're, we're going there, huh? What, our lives together aren't good enough if you can't get off on me? Is this that what I am to you? Someone to fool around with? Yes! Thank you! No, but it wouldn't kill you to try, would it? Maybe, just maybe, if you stopped to consider anyone but yourself for a moment, you'd realise why that is. Oh, I never drew, drew a vag on you. That's right. That's the reason. Yeah, well, you should have just said that at the beginning, really. Would you just tell me? I'm not trying to push anything on you. I just want to know what's wrong. You, you want to know what's wrong? Me. Nothing about me is real, and nothing about me is my... Why is she having an existential crisis here? You've been around me since the day I've existed, and everything I've done has revolved around you in one way or another. Except for one thing. One thing I have to call my own. The body you gave me. And that's one thing I don't know if I'm willing to give up. <sighs> this sucks. I've never thought about it like that. Look, I'm just going to draw a new wife, one that's like really into me. Yeah, saying it out loud for the first time kind of helps me see what it, it is, what it is I really want in life. Look, I'm, uh... Don't. I think I've realised something. This whole relationship, this whole spontaneous event we've gone through together, it's been fun. Man, who would have thought drawing a sketch wife would get so complicated? I know, this sucks. Nothing ever works out. But I'm realising now that I need more than fun in my life. I need to... I need to do something for myself. I need to find out who I am. What are you talking about, babe? I know there's never a good time to say it, but babe... I want a divorce. We've been married for like a month, right? What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? Uh, from that day on, Sketchy's mind was set. Although many discussions, arguments, and repeated pleadings followed, I was never able to change Sketchy's mind. Sketchy moved out soon after, and in the month that followed, I soon found myself in a doodle law firm. <laughs> Do doodle, uh, doodle and doodlet uh, attorneys at law. Oh, it's the waiter again. Wow, this guy is multi-talented with his career, I'm telling you. Well, everything appears to be an elder here. Your ex didn't ask for much in the agreement, so the paperwork was fairly simple. That's right, I didn't draw anything for her. She, everything, I, I just drew my name on all of the things and made them mine. Like buying an inflatable Ingrid, but it has a headache every night, I know. <laughs> Since when do inflatable women have headaches? This is not what I expected. Why did I buy one with AI? <laughs> This is just a simple statement saying you agree with to the, di the divorce, leaving with 100% of your current assets. With the exception of your ownership over your ex as a physical drawing, should you return to the real world, you are not to disturb or alter this drawing in any way. I'm gonna fucking burn this world once I get out of here. I'm just gonna burn it. I'm just gonna put it in a bin and burn all of you. This has been a shit experience. Sound good, gorgeous? Why is he always coming on to me? This isn't right. Yeah, sounds good. All right. Well, I just need you to say here. Then the divorce will be final. Oh, <laughs> sign your divorce papers. I'm just going to put an X and a smiley face. That's what I'm going to put in there. <laughs> also, fuck you. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> there we go. Spouse signature number two, sketchy. Hang on, wait, 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 wait. There we go. <laughs> I did it! I saved my marriage! Alright. I See, I didn't get a divorce with you. Uh, you, you didn't uh, get a divorce with me. I got a divorce with you because you suck. <laughs> oh dear, it's lovely. Thank you! Alright, it looks like you're on. You, you are all official. My assistant will be sending you, you our bill shortly. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Fuck you! Well, that was that, I guess. I returned to our house, now empty. A box sat on our table with a note. I wanted you to have this back. I couldn't bear to keep it. I hope you'll eventually be able to give this to someone else you can be happy with. Sincerely, Sketchy. What is it? Oh, it's the fucking Chaos Emerald ring I made for her. I would have thought it would end this way. Divorce, I know. I suck even when I'm making my own perfect waifu. Knock, knock, knock. FBI open up. There was a knock at the door. Okay, feels good, man. I'm gonna go to jail. This is great. Hello? <laughs> what? Hey, wait! It's my pair! 
Where's my favorite fruit? Hey, how's it going? <laughs> this is the first time we've seen the pear, actually, I think. Because we didn't see it at the restaurant. Hey, how's it going? It's me, pear. Am I going to get to fuck a pear? <laughs> I know it's been a long time, but I can't stand to be away from you any longer, my love. When you ordered me at the restaurant, I was out back longing and waiting to be in your loving mouth. But then I realized something. I don't just want to be in your mouth, I want to be in your heart. Forever. So, what do you say? Well, will you give me a chance? The chance to truly know what it means to love someone? You call me your favorite, but to me, you're my destiny. I know this is all happening fast, but I've got to take the chance to snag my soul bait while you are single again. I won't let you slip through this time. I... I... <laughs> I'd like that. <laughs> I'd like that very much. What is this? Is it, what's, ah, <laughs> okay, all right, yeah, that's the that's the game. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I ended up with a pair at the end of the fucking game. <laughs> Goodness gracious me, I, I, I don't even know what that was. Can we get alternate endings, do you think? Do you think we can get alternate endings in this? <laughs> the fuck was this? Oh, gosh, okay. Ah, uh, you know what, let's see if we can, uh, I'll skip through some dialogue, maybe, but let's, let's go for a round two. I'm hooked, I'm already hooked, I want to see where this goes. I have to redraw everything, of course, but still. Summer vacation, there we go, we'll just keep going until we have an option. Hey! Oh, maybe we can hook up with Claire. It, like, when she appears in the bedroom the first time. I almost left with her before I got I got married. Almost went off with her and that would have been great. Okay. I don't think she's saying anything new. Uh, draw your favorite fruit. You know what? I... I... Oh, hang on. Trash it. There we go. Draw favorite fruit. It's going to be cherries this time. So I'm going to have cherry A, cherry B, and... Uh, why? No! Okay, let's try that again. Here we go. It's hard to draw with this. It's a mouse. There we go. A pair of cherries there. Why is that one always bigger? It just looks like a nutsack. There we go. And then you just draw a little one on the side. There we go. And then and then you just go... Yeah, there we go. A pair of cherries. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, it's fine. I'll give one of them a face. It's a member cherry. Hi, I'm a member cherry. So am I. <laughs> it's member cherries. There we go. <laughs> wow, that looks delicious. <laughs> Look at it like a butt, I know. Oh god, you wanted the perfect drawn wife and you end up with a fucking drawn pear, I know. <laughs> well, that's why you gotta draw your, your, your fruit really, really good. It's your favorite fruit, remember that. You sure know how to draw. Oh, maybe favorite fruit was meant to be like a euphemism, like I was supposed to draw my favorite homosexual man. Uh... Who would be my favorite homosexual man? Uh, well, I guess technically George Michael. I mean, he is he is basically providing the theme song for the stream, so I guess we'll go with that. Hair pie! <laughs> hair pie! Oh, no, I don't want to eat hair pie! Ah, uh, no! Uh, oh, I miss those videos. They were, they were great. Oh, jeez. Hair pie was the best. No, it was hair cake, wasn't it? But I'll take hair pie as well. Sure know how to draw. Not very lively though, is it? It's it's literally two living cherries. Why don't we try creating a person we can talk to? Make sure it's a cute one. Uh alright. Oh. I'm not implying anything. Our relationship is purely purely oh god professional, except in this playthrough. Okay. Eh, I I'll just keep it the same as before. Sad, shy. Sultry, and I didn't draw any boobies on her last time when she was angry. That's that's that was a faux pas. Fucking can't draw on this shit. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, creator, that is simply stunning. Okay, what are we waiting for? I'll let you get to, to know each other a little better. I'm just gonna lie to her. Here we go. I don't hate you at all. Okay. Oh, darling, no barker, etc. We're gonna go on a date, I guess. Should I stay? Uh, no. I just can't. I have to get back to my world. I, I, I just have to. For all I know, I might be trapped inside this notebook forever. Would that be such a terrible thing? Think about it. You, you're a god in this world. Anything you, dr you draw becomes reality. God, you gotta have those angry boobers. Those are the best ones. I mean, look, what are the best boobies? Um, 
Uh, well, coked out boobies, obviously, are the top tier, but also angry boobies are pretty good as well. Uh, let's see what else. There's also worried boobies, like like really scared. Those are the, those are pretty good. Um, hmm, uh, oh, passed out boobies. They're good. Don't ask me how I know that though, because I don't want to go to jail again. <laughs> I'm reality. <laughs> I am reality. You and I could be all of reality. I am. Uh, I know where this is going, so I'm, I don't like you, Sketchy. I'm not interested in you anymore, Sketchy. I don't want pizza. I just want to. I just want to die alone now because I know that's. I just want to get. Rather get it over with now. Here we are. Uh, hopefully, I get to draw something new if I divert from the path that I've got now. Here we go. Oops! I accidentally drew something there. There we go. Same way. So why not? It's got one strand of curly hair. I love it. Okay. Uh, good looking. <laughs> it's got angry boobies. There we go. The angry boobies are the best part, though. <laughs> I, I I didn't mean to draw this guy so attractive. You you know that. Fucking. Uh. <laughs> sure. Just like you didn't mean to make me gorgeous. Well, you know. Uh, we would like a moment alone, please. <laughs> As you wish. Call me anytime. I'm just picking alternate dialogue options this time around to see if we get anything. Sketchy, everything okay? You know I don't control the personalities of my creations, so I don't even know how this works, I just draw things. Uh, oh, she just skips right to this part again, so it's the same stuff. Okay. I go to bed, I wake up, things are fine. Oh. Oh, there she is! I wonder if I can... Can I, can I, can I get her attention? Here we go. I have to draw something. I probably have to draw something new, or... No, wait, no, I don't. This is not... Well, I guess we'll see. We'll have to find out. Okay. Doodle Park. And there's the, the banana hammock again. Why not? There we go. It only hides the crotch, really. Wow, those look like shit. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely not wearing those. Oh, dear. Oh, dearie me. All right. Have fun, you two. I, I want to see if I can hook up with Claire, though, because she's... She's, a, she's got better proportions than Sketchy does. I took that pear and I threw it on the ground! <laughs> I'm not part of this system. We're going to go on a walk this time. Maybe she'll get eaten by a chipmunk. I suppose we could go on a walk, view the uh, natural beauty of this place. Uh, the nature and all that bollocks. That sounds nice. We walked in silence for a long while, aimlessly stepping through pages, occasionally admiring stray flying scribbles that whizzed by, oh, by overhead. Finally, I broke the tension. So what things have you been doing lately? Okay, I think she's just gonna make out with us again. Uh, you are lovely, there you go. I think you're adorable, I mean, even though I drew you, I feel like you kind of brought a new light to your own appearance. You have a certain glow about you. Sketchy blushed, or at least I think they did. Well, shucks, that's awfully sweet of you to say. Sketchy's grip grew tighter as they leaned towards me. My heart began racing as their graphite lips drew closer to mine. So we make out with her again. This is the point where I think Claire shows up in our bedroom. All we have to do is just say, I don't love you, Sketch. Oh, I don't love Sketch anymore, but I want to get busy with those squiggles. There we go. Hello <laughs> again. Ah, you scared me. All right, here we go. Claire's better drawn than Sketchy, which is kind of depressing because the game implies I drew that. Uh, you do love Sketchy, don't you? But, but what if I love you? I mean, what if my true love is you, Claire? After all, you're the one who brought me here and... I don't know, things were sketchy, uh, kind of sketchy, you know. They aren't set in stone, we're still figuring out what we are. Hmm, huh. that's crazy talk, creator. Is it so crazy, Claire, after all? Do you, you do keep showing up in my room. Don't you feel the same way? I, I, oh, the hell with it. Claire suddenly threw herself upon me, kissing me passionately for a brief moment before pulling herself away. Yes, we got a proper waifu now. Oh my, I, I shouldn't have done that. No, Claire, you should have. Well, in that case... Hey, sexy face! I'm yours. Yes, let's go! I started to sweat as Claire lay down on my bed. Oh, so go ahead, draw me like one of your French girls, as they say. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> what am I gonna do? For God's sake, n knock oh, it was wank- I mean, busy. <laughs> draw sexy, Claire. I guess I could do that. I'm um, not very good at it, though. She's going to look more like Sketchy than than Claire, but that's all right. Here we go. She's got a unibrow, almost. There we go. Oh, this is bad. Let's start again. <laughs> this is terrible. There we go. Here we go. And please just... 
There we go. Give her, give her the face and the things and the. There we go. What was her hair? Her hair kind of is kind of stringy, isn't it? Kind of looks like, kind of like this. There we go. And she's got a little bit of a, a bit over her head as well. And there we go. She's got a very long chin. What's going on here? This is getting ridiculous. Her melons are getting bigger. I know. There we go. Draw sexy Claire. Well, let's let's go with oh, eh, like that. Almost swastika leg. Love it. And uh, eh, there we go. Come here, buddy. Let's fucking go. Oh yeah, boobies very important. Yeah, there we go. Let's fucking go. All right, <laughs> this is gonna be a fucking disaster. Let's fucking go. Draw sexy Claire. Oh my god! <laughs> Why is this? I stood back and looked at Claire's newfound body. I shuddered and dropped a sweat of uh, and 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 a drop of sweat dripped down my forehead. She's not as attractive as she was before, but I. It was so hot. <laughs> really? Oh dear, for a moment I was wondering uh, what what was dangling between her legs. <laughs> I jumped onto the bed with Claire and we began to touch one another's bodies in ways I'd never experienced before. My hands, my lips, my body. All shared with Claire's, interchanging, intermingling. This is getting really gross. Because she's just a graphite pencil, pencil marking, it's great. It was both thrilling and terrifying, but throughout the night of our explorations continued. Oh. Was I doing the right thing? <laughs> I had no idea, but I didn't care. There you go, fuck it. I don't remember when we fell asleep, but eventually I woke up the next morning to the sound of Claire's voice. There we go, Wi-Fi link. I'll check that in a sec. Good morning, sunshine. Ah, good morning, what time is it? At least I got fucking laid in this game. At least that finally happened. You sure asked that a lot. It's worth noting that there's no real scale for time here. The night and day with experience is entirely a construct you brought with you when you arrived. But according to your construct, it's noon. Huh? So if there's no, t if there's no time here, I guess I'm not missing anything in the outside world, huh? I could stay here living forever. Oh no, not at all. <laughs> your body will still age in your world, even faster in fact. Um, fucking what? Uh, I have no idea. A Wi-Fi link. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll check it now. Why not? Oh, okay, that's a Wi-Fi link. <laughs> Why the hell not? There we go. Yeah, that's what Claire probably should have looked like when when I drew her, but I'm just so awful at it. But still, it's great. Oh my. Oh goodness me. Oh, that's good stuff. <laughs> it's good stuff. Ooh, it's like a ghost. Oh God, help me. God help me. Wait, what? Oh, before I forget, uh, I made you breakfast. Claire presented uh, presented me uh, to me a large plate of doodled eggs, sausages, bacon, and waffles. The aroma was intoxicating, so they can draw, or they can just take things that have already been drawn and just give them to me. Oh, baby, that smells heavenly. Thank you. Anything for you, my love. Suddenly, a knock at the door. I knew this was coming. Oh, I'll uh, I'll I'll let you get that. <laughs> no, you get it, Claire. I want a cat fight. Please. I opened the door to find a familiar face. Hey. Oh, now I feel bad because Sketchy's gonna- You know what? Fuck her. She was gonna divorce us anyway. Hey. So, uh, I was wondering what you wanted to do today. I could feel a pit in my stomach. I knew I had to tell Sketchy the truth. I couldn't lead them on any longer in good conscience. Ah, uh, about that. I, um, I don't think we can go out anymore. Oh, I see. But what happened? Didn't you enjoy our time together yesterday? Was it something I did? No, no, not at all. It's, uh, it's me. What? What about you? I just, I just think I might have feelings for someone is all. Ah, you think that's, what, well, you, you think, you think to you, f fucking think you f fucking like somebody, you fucking idiot. <laughs> oh God, it's getting really upset now. Where's that thing? I'm gonna need it. Uh, where is the lum? Uh, there it is, fuck. Daddy, the fuck Two sketchy girls and one guy. You think? Well, that's interesting, because based on our kiss yesterday, I would think you had feelings for me! It's... it's complicated as all. Isn't it always? <sighs> ah, so that's it then, you're throwing me to the wayside. Someone else catches your attention, so we're just done. That's a harsh way of phrasing it, I mean, I think... I, I, I was thinking we could still be friends. Yeah, don't feed me that shit, I wasn't born yesterday. You don't draw friends. <laughs> I mean, I was born a day before yesterday, but that's beside the point. Enjoy your new life, or at least until you get bored and draw someone else to tend to your needs. Asshole. 
Wait, Sketchy slammed the door in my face. And that was the last we ever saw of her. She jumped off the bridge shortly after. Boy, that was rough. You okay? Yeah, I think so. I suppose that's never an easy process. That's the first time I've had to break up with anyone. Well, with any luck, it'll be the last time. So shall we eat? Yay, Claire is the best. <laughs> Lifesavers fruit juice. Those are delicious. Days went by, and Claire and I never never left the apartment. Anything we wanted was at the palm of our hands. As days became weeks, the passion and connection between us never let up. I realized what it was to feel at home with someone, especially someone you have frequent sex with. That's a plus. <laughs> but as the weeks became months, something strange started to happen. Like what? What's happening, bro? Hey, darling, can I ask you something? Sure, what about? Do I, uh, do I look different to you? Oh boy, here it comes. <laughs> Does my tummy look a bit bigger? Uh, I don't think so, I don't notice anything different. Yeah, neither do I. On the outside, anyway. What do you mean? Well, I took Dr. Doodle's Dapper Doddler test, <laughs> and it came up positive. Uh, come again? I'm Pregante. Oh. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, I see. I didn't want to tell you until I was sure. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I understand. I guess I didn't realize that it was possible. I mean, we're not exactly biologically similar. So, I'll draw a coat hanger real quick. Um, <laughs> oh dear, extra flavor. <laughs> Add the extra flavor to the day. The rules are complicated. Oh god. <coughs> oh god, I'm already dying from the thought of this. The rules are complicated, but it can happen. And it did. But I mean, you're a drawing and I'm a human, so what does that mean? I don't know, we'll create some kind of abomination here. Half flesh, half paper and lead. Let me just draw a noose real quick. Look, I'm sorry. Disappointed! Uh, disappointed! <laughs> Nothing ever works out for me, Jesus Christ. Nothing ever works out. Look, I'm sorry, I'm just a little stressed out about the whole situation. I mean, I never said I had a problem with it. I've always wanted to be a dad, I just didn't think it would happen so soon. I know. It wasn't supposed to happen this way. I should never have come on to you like that. This is all just a big mistake. Look, this is a shock, but I, I'm kind of excited. Happy even. I love you, Clara. And if there's anything, anyone I'd, I'd be okay with a ch having a child with, it'd be you. Yay, that's sweet. <laughs> but, frankly, I'm scared. Nothing like this has ever happened before. There's no telling how this kid could come out, or even in what form. It may be lost on you, but the ramifications of a doodle-mortal hybrid are too steep to take lightly. Mortal? Yeah, <laughs> sorry, human, I mean. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, Claire's getting a bit weird. Your drawn condoms had, ga had a gap in the lines! <laughs> in this game, that's entirely possible because of how shit the drawing is. <laughs> no, I left gaps in it! Ah! Oh my god, fucking hell, just, oh, everything about this is the worst. I've ruined my life, it's horrible. Oh my god! Uh, I mean, the possibilities are endless, but they are all equally terrifying. I don't know, maybe if we could predict- Oh, <gasps> That's it! We don't have to wait to find out, you can draw it! Wait, what? Draw our baby? How will that help? I don't even know what they look like. You don't understand. Your imagination is what got me pregnant in the first place. I would never imagine such an absurd thing, Claire. I think something else is happening here. Is somebody else writing this in my journal? What's going on? This is like fucking Silent Hill Book of Memories, which is a piece of shit. I hate it. I'm not sure I'm following. Point is, we can find out what our baby will be through your mind. We need, we need you to draw our baby. Don't think, just draw. If you do that, we'll know what we're getting ourselves into and can decide from whether whether we can have the child there, whether we have the child. Whoa, that's a lot of pressure to put on this drawing. Can't we talk about this first? Shut up, I don't have time to explain the mechanics of our world to you, but unless you draw our baby right the fuck now, we could all be in danger so long as this thing is brewing inside me. Just do it. Just fucking do it, draw your baby. Yes, I get to draw a mutant baby. <laughs> oh, I'll be back later, I gotta go now. Oh, shower thing. Okay, I gotta draw a baby. Um, here we go. Draw a freakish baby. Here we go. I'm gonna draw a Pepe-like baby. Here we go. Da, 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 da. There we go. Pop a little... There we go. A little mutant baby on the way. Fucking fill in the gap. Thank you. And then... Uh, there we are. There we go. Make a peepo. Let, let's get the mouth going first. There we go. Oh, actually no, he's gotta look- he's gotta look like he's in pain. He can't be happy. 
he's gotta look like he's in abject fucking pain and agony. Here we go. Here we go. Fantastic. Just draw a little wobbly head bit there. There we go. There we go. Some tears in his eyes, maybe. Why do you not love me, Mummy and Daddy? Why? <laughs> give him a body. Here we go. And give him, like, sort of, like, weird fucking joints. Here we go. Eh, there we go. Eh. Eh. Kill me. Eh. Kill me, Mum. Why did you not have an abortion, Mummy? Eh. Eh. Why? Uh, <laughs> uh, there's my arm. Oh, uh, <laughs> draw your baby. There we go. Oh god, draw an alien chestburster. Claire is um not too happy. Yeah, get your wigglies out. This is gonna be great. Oh dear. Well, what do you think? You told me to draw our baby, so here it is. No. What? What's wrong? No, it's not possible. You drew it wrong. Yeah, that's it. You drew it wrong. I thought you said it, it wouldn't be wrong because of my imaginative- Shut up! Shut up! I'm thinking! Would- would you just tell me what's wrong? Nothing is wrong! Nothing, I tell you! The only thing that's wrong is that it's 7pm construct time and we haven't had dinner yet. I'll get right on that. Claire wasn't thinking straight. Maybe the stress of pregnancy has just gotten to her. I decided to leave her to- to have some space. Okay. Well, um... While you make dinner, I think I'm going to just go and hang out in bed. I'll meet you there, okay? Sounds good, Sugar Plum. I'll bring you our dinner once it's ready. Oh. oh, but why, though? Hours passed, and Claire was still working away in the kitchen. I was starting to worry. Should I go talk to her? Comfort her, perhaps? But before I could get up, I heard Claire's footsteps approaching. Oh, darling. Dinner is ready! Oh, God, no. I made your favourite. Fruit, that is. Pear, yay. Now. Time to shove it down your goddamn throat. Oh god, Claire, why? It was then that I saw that what was in Claire's hand. She had a knife. Shit, shit, shit. I, I narrowly moved out of the way as she lunged and started stabbing at my spot in the bed. I'm sorry, darling. This is the only way. We've committed a crime against nature and this is the only solution. I had to think fast. Find something to defend myself. Or better yet, draw something to defend myself. Shit. Yay, everything's fine. Oh, draw a weapon. Okay, uh... Draw a weapon. Well, it's got to be a lightsaber, doesn't it? Here we go. I'll just get a little lightsaber going there. Oh, that's bollocks. Let's try again. There we go. <laughs> Here we go. Uh... Fuck it. I'm just gonna go re... Easiest way to draw this is just to start with that. There we go. And then you just go... Eh, fucking hold the line there. There we go. Eh. There we go. May the G-Force be with you. Pop a little ball on the end there, just to give it a bit of flair. Don't worry, I've got time. Just gonna draw a lightsaber. There we go. Looks a bit more like Kylo Ren's, but that's alright. Lightsaber time, baby! I can defend myself now! Here we go! And oh, shit! I stabbed her right in the boob! How could you? I feel so... So cold. As she passed out on the floor, I grabbed her and began weeping. I tried everything I could to save her that night, but no amount of drawn paramedics or medical supplies seemed to help. She seemed almost determined to die. Yay, she took the baby with her as well. Now I can marry the pear. Oh, sorry, the cherries. The cherries. The member cherries. I never did figure out how to leave this place, as no other doodle has uh, was as knowledgeable about the rules of this place. There was no one left to send me back. So basically, just this game is all about being miserable. I had accepted my fate and simply decided to live out the rest of my life in isolation. No one could replace Claire and I was damn near terrified to try. I don't know what she was so afraid of, but I didn't want to give myself an opportunity to find out. Until one day. Paper cut is pretty nasty, that is true. That's how we fucked her up in the end. Knock, knock, knock. Anybody home? <gasps> I didn't recognise that voice, but it sounded oddly familiar. I caved into my curiosity and opened the door. Is it sketchy? Sketchy here? Oh no, it's my mutant baby! Hello, father! <laughs> Hello! 
I couldn't believe my eyes. It was our baby. My eyes welled up as I immediately embraced my long lost child. Is it, is it really you? I thought, I thought she died horribly. Yes, father, it is me. Although my mother died before giving birth, Dr. Doodle was able to rescue me before it was too late. They thought it would be best if they didn't say anything given what you'd gone through. I... I... I can't believe it. It's okay, father. I'm here now. As I held my child in my arms, I suddenly felt a sharp pain in my back. I'm here. I'm here to take over the world. Oh! Oh! Shh, easy now. I'm here. I'm here. In horror, I looked behind me to see my child had plunged my own makeshift weapon into my backside. Ah, my lights! The lightsaber hit me in the back. This is for my mother, you son of a bitch. What? Why? Why indeed. Goodbye, father. <laughs> what a fucking asshole! He's just a baby. As I collapsed on the floor, darkness came over me. With what little vision I had left, the last thing I saw was my child lifting a pencil out of my pocket. Then silence. Nothing more but silence and darkness. Oh my god. Hey! <laughs> oh, this game is horrible! It's just unrelenting misery! Oh my god! Oh my god! That is just pain! This game is just pain! Why did you make this? <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Oh, God help me. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, that was Doodle Date. Um, <laughs> that was Doodle Date, a thing that exists, and uh, I guess I'm pretty happy that it does. I guess? I don't really know anymore. I'm frightened. Oh, God help me. All right, the music's... Welcome back to Valentine's Day Stream 2022. What a great start. <laughs> Revenge is a dish best drawn on paper. Oh god. Oh god, help me. Why did that game do that to me? But, oh well, we're moving on to a, a better game, question mark. And this one's a lot shorter, I promise you. We'll just rip this one. It's one we've already done, but we'll, uh, we're revisiting it in HD for the first time. So, uh, it's a game that you might have remembered from a previous year. It's called Beach Date. We're gonna go on a beach date. Who's ready for going on beach dates and shit? Will I leave the, uh, no, I think there's music in Beach State, so we'll, we'll launch the game. That game got very straight, I know. No, no, no misery but what we make for ourselves, honestly. But here we are, welcome to Beach State. It's, uh, it's a game by Nina Freeman and Jake Jeffries. Let's check the, the credits. Sound effects obtained from Zap Splash. Uh, songs obtained from Free Music Archive. There we go. Uh, font is that. Special thanks to Josh and some other person. Click anywhere to close. I'd love to. Let's begin, though. All right. So, <laughs> so here we are. Welcome to the, the beach date. There we go. I'm here on a date. I get to control the waifu arm. I'm on a date here with, like, a Dragon Ball Z fusion of Harry Potter and Ron Weasley. Be careful what you draw in this, is this uh, moral of that? I think, I think that's what the moral of that story was. Yeah, be careful what you draw. But, he, I mean, here, here we are, we're on a beach date. Um, oh, oh dear. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. Well, what is happening here? Can I touch him? Can I Okay, yeah, I can click on him and he does this. Just has a bit of a, bit of a mope. Oh dear. Oh, oh hey, I can pick up sand. There we go, that. This is attractive. <laughs> can I can I get some sun chips? I can get some sun chips. Do you want some sun chips? I need some sun chips. <laughs> I can eat some sun chips myself. Spell my finger, Harry. I know. Oh god, Hermione does a spell to combine both of the men in her life, and now she's just dating them on the beach. And it's a, it's it's okay, I guess. Oh look at all those sun chips. Can I do anything else? Let's see. I can just sort of caress his hand. It's like, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. <laughs> can I do anything? Oh, where is the icon? Here we go. I'm looking for my little cursor there and I can just... There we go. I can turn on some music. Let's listen to my shitty uh, phone playlist. Let's go. <laughs> it's not bad. Oh, can I please get... Hang on. There's something over here. Let's check the bag. Hang on. Um... Here we go. Yes! Got to, I'm gonna need this all day, I think. I'm gonna need this all fucking day. Here we go. Glug, glug. Let's get this going. Here we go. I can't quite give it to myself. That's alright. Um, I can pour it over my own body. Oh, you know. Oh, okay. No. That, oh. 
I don't really know what I'm doing anymore. I can I can pour it on your crotch though. I can do that. There we go. <laughs> and he's just sort of sitting there, just going like, I don't know how to feel about any of this. Any moment now, a million seagulls will dive on them. I know the sun ships was a bad idea. Do you want some more of this? Want some of this? No, I need more of this. I I definitely need more of this. Can I have more of this? There we go. Can I put that down? Yeah. All right. This is great. Is this the game? I've forgotten how this goes. Uh, oh, if we drop sand on him, he starts to get it. He, yeah, see, look, he's getting a bit randy there. He's starting to... It's like, whoa, easy there. Easy there, tiger. <laughs> Calm down. I'm just dropping sand on you to stop you from getting excited. You know what I mean? I'm trying to try and put an end to this before it gets a little out of hand. Here, eat, eat the sand. Eat the sand. <laughs> it's stuck on my hand. Help. Oh, God, what is this? What is Who made this? Whose idea with it? Yes, drop it on his dick. Here we go. I love it. I love it. Oh, oh, there. We, yep, we, we put enough sand on him, and now our eyes have locked. Sound effects are great. <laughs> sound effects are great. I kind of love this. Oh my god. It's. Oh, the sun's going down. It's, it's getting a bit exciting. Oh, oh, there's my phone. Oh, uh, oh. Well, this is awkward. Wait, <laughs> excuse me. I'm a little self conscious when I'm uh, touching myself. Could you uh, go away over there, please? <laughs> Off into the water with you. <laughs> Oh my god. Yep, I'm gonna, gonna need more of this. Here we go. Unlimited wellspring of wine. There we go. That's what I wanted. Sand up the snake eye. <laughs> Nasty, I know. That's apparently what this game is. She isn't surprisingly good spirits, even though she almost certainly has has sand in her vagina all... Well, well, since the beginning of this date, really. Here we go. Some more of that there. Definitely need more of it. Yeah, just get it all in your hair. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Hold on to that for me while I turn on some musics. Yeah, this is my favourite track. Reminds me of John Cena. <laughs> Where are the sunships? I need more sunships. There we go. You can have a few. There we go. But the rest are for me. <laughs> just eat them from the packet here. This is fucking ridiculous. Oh dear, aren't you glad we were revisiting this one in HD? Alright, let's get some sand on his dick. Um, here we go, he's getting very excited. Um, eh, oh god, except my hand just keeps breaking. There you go, there's some on your elbow there. And There we go. Oh, are you aroused yet? I know I certainly am. Have some sun chips as well. There we go, go just- oh, I feel like I'm just slapping myself every so often. I must be dreaming this! Oh. I do like the little sand sound effects where it just goes... D -d 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 -d. Doesn't sound like sand, but you know what? Fine. Sounds like I'm dropping Lego bricks onto him or something. Hey, there's a callback. There we go. Oh, I think we've excited him. There we go. <laughs> what a beach date on cocaine looks like. I know, they're definitely on something. They're definitely on something. Oh, okay. Okay, things have gotten exciting. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is my kind of beach date. Yeah. <laughs> Spank that. Do it. There we go. And also him as well. Don't leave him out. There we go. Hello. I know. I know. Hello. Oh, look. I feel like we're just trying to console him. It's like, it's all right. It's all right, Ron, Harry. Every, it's, it's fine. It's all right, Harry Weasley. Everything's going to be a-okay. Just calm down. See, look. See, look. I'm here. I'm here. You don't have to worry about your inevitable demise at the hands of the of the Dementors. It's all good. <laughs> have see, look, everything's fine. Let's just get some sand. There we go. See, everything's happy now. I got, I got, I got to lick myself up though. Um, there we go. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, yes. I'm just pouring it on my back now. Hey, look at me. I'm Kim Kardashian. I have a feeling this is what Kim Kardashian probably does in her spare time. Just like there we go. There we go. This is a vintage year right here. This is 1852. <laughs> it's it's good for the pores, I'm telling you. Uh, <laughs> just stop it. Just stop it, game. There we go. <laughs> Even he's digging it. I'm fine with this. Where are the sun ships? The sun ships are gone. Wait, are these the sun ships? Oh, here's... Uh, I think... Uh, what's this? I think, yeah, there's the sun ships. Yeah, get them on my back. That's it. Oh, fuck yes. Just call me the human nacho. Here we go. There you go. Some for you. If you can get some. There we go. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> we eat them together. <laughs> this game is fucking strange. 
Oh dear, I've got sand and sun chips on my ass. All right, great. Let's pop that there and oh, the wine's gone forever. That's all right. I'm just gonna just gonna get some sand now and end this end this horrid nightmare. <laughs> I feel like I feel like this is like post-apocalyptic somehow. It's like, well, I mean, you know, it's it's the internet has gone forever and the world societies are now gone, but um. I've got just enough battery on my phone to listen to some music on our date. Can't make any calls, but at least we've got each other and the sand. <laughs> oh dear. Anakin Skywalker has left the chat. It's not having any of this. Gonna be finding sand and some chips and a crack for days. I know. Oh, and they're gone. <laughs> they just they just evaporated. Look at that. They just left sun chips all over the fucking beach. God damn it, these are the worst kind of people. These are the worst kind of people. The end. Click to reset. So that's the game. All right, there you go. Beach date. It's a thing that exists. It was fun to revisit it, but I'm just reminded how fucking traumatizing the whole experience is. I don't want to go on a beach date if that's what they're like, but hey, what can you, what can you do? It's a game that exists. I'm glad that it does, I guess. Ugh. Oh, boy. More music. Yay, Valentine's Day stream 2022. We've been streaming for an hour and a half. It's crazy, I know. Yes, I want to shoot myself. Save the planet, you yobs. <laughs> Have you not heard that sun chips are the leading cause of fucking green, uh, uh, green greenhouse gas emissions, you fuck nuts? Also a waifu there, that's good. Think of the carbon that's emitted from sun ships alone. Fucking hell. And they're just wasting them, and they're just sitting on the beach, and the sun's cooking them, and the ozone layer depletes once again. You fuck stick. Oh dear, but we're back again with more Valentine's Day things. Christ almighty. Oh, I'm just trying to stall, aren't I? Because I know what's up next. It's Galaxy Angel Sim Date RPG. Now, last year, last year we did the Love Hina Sim Date. Uh, from the same developer, we've got one for Galaxy Angel as well, and that reminds me, I do need to get some cheats for it. Because we might do two runs. One with one waifu and one with a cheat run. So let's see. Uh, Galaxy Angel Cheats. Let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look. Let's see what's on the list. Here we go. Uh, oh, I didn't even get my list up. My list of stuff I was going to do. I should definitely do that. I'm surprised I didn't get it up earlier. Yeah, there we go. Um, oh, actually, yeah, before we move on. Oh, wait, what? That's not the next game we're playing? Oh, that's right. There's some things we have to do before Galaxy Angel Sim Date. Well, I got the cheats up, though, so I'm ready for, for doing that. Change of plans. Uh, go get something to drink. Have they ever seen a whale caught in a sunship? Not a pretty sun. I know. I know. The sunships, they just fuck up their metabolism and then they explode. Oh, it's just not done. It's just not done. Honestly. Alright, uh, change of plans. We're actually doing something else entirely. Um, uh, well, before we do that, though, we're basically we're doing, like, browser-based shit right now, and then we segue into Galaxy Angel Sim Date. So, browser-based shit. Let's go. First one that we've got here. Let's see if I can get this working. Browser games thingamabob. There we go. Hopefully this works. Actually, you know what I'll do first, before I do that? I will load up. Actually, fuck it. I'll just go new window now. There we go. Uh, oh, Jesus. Careful now. Um, okay, if we go to Google today, for whatever reason, they're doing a thing. They're doing a thing. Let's let's see what thing they're doing. Um, let's see. Browser games. Here we go. Let's see if I can get that going. Properties. And it's Firefox with Googler. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, there it is. Window title must match. There we go. So it's kind of full screeny, which is fine. Um, here we go. They've, they've got a they've got a thing here. I guess we can play. Oh, this shit. Oh, it's got music. I got to stop the music. Google's doing a thing. It's it's like a tiny little weird game thing where you pull levers and shit. Like, uh. Turn the thing. That ain't right. Do I have to? Oh, oh, you can look around a bit. Oh, oh, you turn it like that. There we go. Fucking hell! The the, the wizards at Google making these interactive things. They don't get paid enough for this. That was a joke. There we go. We've got a, we've got an O for the Googles. 
What else do I have to do? Oh, I have to align the G for that Google there, and then finally... There we go! And... Blah! Hooray! The hamsters can now make their way through the, the, the network of tunnels. And can now uh, procreate, I guess. Happy Valentine's Day! Oh... My God, yep. Yep. <laughs> That's the game. Why are they not fucking like crazy, though? I mean, they're like, the rodents. Tick-tock, you've only got a small amount of time before you expire. And you can do that as well. Thanks, Google. I feel so much better now. All right, but fuck it. Let's actually launch a proper game. And the first one is The Ratchelor from itch.io. Let's fucking go. All right. Um, let me just get rid of the Google -a thing. Here we go. Google have played lemmings, I see. Yes. Play as The Ratchelor, an eligible single rat looking for love. You'll get to know each of your 21 lovely contestants through intimate conversation. Round after round, you'll choose to who to eliminate, leaving only your most compatible rat suitors. Finally, at the end of your emotional journey, you will find your rat soulmate. Hopefully. <laughs> Jesus, hopefully. I, I, I don't know. Okay. Oh my goodness. This music. I have to play this in the browser, unfortunately. Oh. Music. Oh, look at that ring that was drawn so much better than the one I did. I feel sad now. All right, before I do anything else, though, properties, uh, Google, blah, 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 blah. Uh, the Ratchelor, there we go. Fantastic, and it's still on the screen. That's good. All right, I might need music of my own. I'm not sure. I think that's just sound effects. Let's embark on the Ratchelor journey. Oh. Okay. Meet yourself. You are the Ratchelor, a single rat looking for love. Why is there no music? There's no music in this. Shouldn't there be music in this? Let's try reloading the page. Oh. Okay. Ah, now there's music. Ah, oh, see, I can't say no to this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. Speaking of rodents fucking, the Ratchelor. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh god. Oh good god in heaven. Why is this happening to me? Alright, here we go. Because I, I do this to myself really, don't I? You are the Ratchelor, a single rat looking for love. You'll meet many rats and choose who to keep. Uh, round after round until you find true ratty love. Okay, which rat do you want to be? I can be this rat here. Oh, look at this Chad here. You can be a uh, ballerina... Uh, Rat? No. You can be sort of a uh, lazy asshole rat, um, or you can be diseased rat, or maybe those are... I don't know whether he's been rolling in shit, he's diseased, or he just has spots. Either way, let's just go for Chad Rat. Here we go. Onwards! Here we go. Meet your seven contestants. Oh my god! Oh! Here we go. Heinous Law. I've not played this game, by the way, so I don't know how long this will be, but I hope it's long. Migma... <laughs> Migma... Uh, we have, uh, Heinous Lore, uh, I'm not here to make friends. That's a good start. Mig Mouse, my dear rat partner is like Stuart Little. <laughs> He's fucking swole, look at him, fucking hell. What is this game? Oh dear, we got, uh, L'Artiste. Let's paint a beautiful future together, we? Oui? <laughs> we have Bora, uh, f uh 14. Uh, sorry, I was distracted by the moon. Oh no, she has a short attention span. That'll be dumb babies. Uh, Dr. Plagius, uh, you could say, I'm sick with love. Oh, he's got the plague and everything. A real rat, definitely a rat. <laughs> sure. Reggie, three, two, oh my God, there are stickers. Hang on, hang on. Apparently there are stickers. Oh my God, there's a, there's a fucking red bubble store. You can buy stickers. You could just draw these fucking rats on, on sticker paper and just cut them out and make your own stickers. I'm fucking paying a do fucking a dollar fifty for this shit. No, <laughs> I'd rather just draw it myself or print it. Oh, you could do that too. All right, who are we on then? Oh yeah, Reggie uh, two three one. Just a robot looking to learn what love is. Um, I'm I'm more than a little concerned, but yeah, all right. Oh, Vim, you you just can't quit me. Uh, why do you have multiple baby rats with you though? Emacs, I'm complicated. It's complicated. <laughs> Jagadu, I won't- I don't slow down for anybody. He's winning me over, I'm telling you. Oh my god, it's O'Day. Never underestimate the importance of a joyful overcoat. Ooh. Okay, right off the bat. You're in. Select six more contestants. Oh my god, what is this? Slim Jim, put a little sparkle in your life. It's Hi Hibberdine, Glip. <laughs> Hempleton, blueberries are seasonal, but I eat them every day. 
Uh, Hottie Thespule. Every rose has its thorns. We got a winner there. Bear. I'm big. I'm a big rat with a big heart, I think is what it's trying to say, but it's cut off at the bottom. Egg salad. Who? Me? Yes, you. Manello. Hello. Fuck off. <laughs> Gerard. Do you like cheese? I'm a rat. What the fuck are you talking about? One ear. <laughs> One ear Jerio. Oh, hi. Hey. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Fucking dig Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Oh dear, we've got one ear Jerio, um, and, uh, Largathon. I like to think I'm reliable. <laughs> what even is this? More Felly? Oh, I guess it's time for a Felly, sure. There she is. There's a bit of Felly, that's great. <laughs> oh dear. I'm gonna put that over here, though. There we are. Back to the game, though. Um, I need to select three more contestants. Uh, not a lot of wifos. I was distracted by the moon. Ah, oh, that's fine. Why does she have like a long nose with a hand on the end? I, I'm just not going to ask questions anymore. Uh, cheese? Why not? Cheese person? Emacs? I'm complicated. It's complicated. Okay, Mr. Moneybags over here, maybe. Um, it's not a lot of waifus here. Oh, you know what? Robot. Why not? Here are our contestants. It's time to chit chat. Yeah! <laughs> oh, here we go. I used to live by the Westfield Centre with my brothers, but we always stayed in the community garden over the fence. One day we all got pretty bored and decided to wander over and see what all the fuss was about. Shops, clothes, a whole new world right in front of me. What? Wow! And wow! <laughs> I'm gonna go, wow! Oh, she liked that answer. Oh, here's Highness Law. Money, money, money. It's all anyone sees when they look at me, mostly because I'm usually holding money. Wow, interesting. Wow, you're so different. Oh, no, she doesn't like that. Okay. Um, hi, sorry, I'm a little nervous. I've never done anything like this before. It's just, well, I saw your profile and thought you were cute. That I had to come to, uh, had to come compete, so I hope that's not too embarrassing. Oh, wow. Oh, she loves that one. Egg salad might be the waifu for me. Get out of my way! I'm not here to make friends. Oh, it's you. Sorry, I thought you were one of the... Actually, no, I stand by my words. I'm not here to make friends. Please get out of my way. Very interesting. No, <laughs> Potty Thespool is not having me. Oh, what's this little yellow ribbon for? Oh, what's this little yellow ribbon for? Never you mind, Winky Face. That's nice. Yeah, she, she thought that was okay, Winky Face. I applied to this show because I dared to dream that someone else could love cheese as much as I do. Wow. <laughs> What is this game? Ah, he's a robot! <laughs> Imagine there's no heaven and no religion too, nothing to live or die for, and above us only sky grew my first b b begonias last year and they changed my life. I value you. Beep boop beep, I value you too. <laughs> Who gets a rose? Oh, <gasps> okay, who's it gonna be? Who gets a rose? Choose five contestants to continue. Okay, who do I not like? Who do I not care for? Uh, you know, you're all right. Uh, Robert's fine. This is getting really intense. Hottie is an asshole. Egg, Egg Salad really liked me, didn't she? Uh, two more contestants. Uh, you're alright. Should I give it to Cheesy McGee? Uh, right, Cheesy McGee it is. Continue finding love. <laughs> this game show is getting kind of intense, man. My ma had me and the rest of the litter in some sweet old lady's kitchen cupboard. But turns out her nephew wasn't so sweet. Put out a lot of no-kill traps, and then he, he sent us up to the lab for a paycheck that we didn't even get to cash out. I was in there for six months. That's 84.23% 8, of my life. <laughs> I'm so I'm so glad you're here. There we go. I, th I think we might end up fucking the, the cyborg any, any second now, I think. Anyways, yeah, so after I went into the main showroom, I said, Wow, after a couple of times visiting, I found a toy store and some pretty cool tiny clothes that fit. Taught myself how to sew after that, though. So many styles, fabrics to feel, things to try on. Lovely. Every outfit an adventure. Yikes. Yeah, you're, you're so different. Wow. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, God, Excel, why do you have a hand on your nose? Hi again, I really enjoyed talking to you last time, and I was thinking, I was hoping maybe we could keep talking? Maybe that sounds too obvious? I don't know, I just really love, I mean like you, the, the, the sound of your voice. Oh wow. Oh wow. <laughs> Why do the rats look like roadkills? Um, maybe they are, maybe this is purgatory for rats. 
I've been told these violent eyes of mine are more purple than all the lavender in the world, and I certainly smell better too. That's nice. <laughs> Poor, I don't, I don't really care much for you. Ever since I was, don't stand on the couch. Ever since I was a baby, I had a special connection to cheese. I can't even imagine a world without it. I'm so thankful for the dairy industry, for the cows, the goats, all of them. If any of you are watching The Ratchelor out there and help make cheese, I want to say thank you. I can't imagine what that's like. I value you. Yuck. I can't imagine what that's like. Oh, I'm disappointed. Who gets a rose? Four contestants get a rose. Okay, robot's good. You're good. You're good. Cheese person can fuck right off. There we go. Continue finding love. I'm sorry, cheese man, but you're out of here. So last month I was volunteering with this local youth organization and one of the kids taught me how to crochet and ever since I haven't been able to stop crocheting. So I'm I'm working on crocheting a special hat for you. I hope you don't mind. Very interesting. Oh, I think egg salad might be the one we lock into, even though she does have a hand for a nose. But then again, there's Reggie. At around uh, month five in the lab, I met uh, Franceride 449, medium-sized rat, normal build, robot arm, and I said, Whoa! <laughs> Whoa there, where'd you get that? I'm so glad you're here. Oh my god, Reggie likes that. I brought you this, it's a pair of gloves. Where are the gloves? A pair of gloves for my love. You. Sewed it from a swatch of fabric I got from Dolly Parton's mansion. It will grant you amazing singing abilities when you wear them. Wow. There you go, that's pretty cool. <laughs> when I see you, I see all the stars in the world. A constellation of thought and love and joy. You talk a lot. Oh, <laughs> Bora. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Bora. Who gets a rose? Three contestants, okay. You're still good, you're great. You're good. Uh, Bora, can I take- yeah, I can take flowers away. Bora, you're out. Fuck you. Alright. It's coming down to the wire. Honestly, as much as I enjoy being here on the Ratchelor, I can't wait to get back home so I can keep teaching my baking class at the local youth centre. The kids are so sweet. Next up, I'm teaching them all to bake cheesecake. I hope you come with me. I could bake you a cheesecake and the kids would love you. Oh, that music though. That's sexy, I like that. <laughs> wow, in an oven, Owen Wilson voice, yes, wow. Wait a minute, I've got that, hang on. I, I do have that, come on, it's, it's right here, why aren't I using it? Wow, wow. <laughs> okay, the kids would love you, wow, that's nice. Wow, that's nice, oh my god. Egg salad likes it when I say nice things. Oh, I sewed us matching overcoats. Can't wait for the newest winter storm to come and blow us away. You blow me away every day with your wonderful heart and welcoming so. That's nice. There we go. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I just remembered you never finished Live Alive. Maybe do that before the remaster comes out. No, I did finish it. I got to the very end. Oh, turns out Frank44 got a paper cut while filing some documents and he didn't bleed. So he looked at the, the cut and turned out a whole robo leg was hiding in there. He did some digging and it turns out he wasn't the only one. Ended up being my dad was, uh, ended up being my dad was a robot mouse and my mum was a, a normal mouse, a normal house mouse. They fell in love and had me. Oh, still have head plucker and death prophet to beat. Oh, so there's extra stuff? Eh, I, I saw the credits. I'm fine to leave it at that, I think. Uh, I value you, robot. Oh my god, Reggie appreciates us. Who gets a rose? Okay, two contestants. It's coming down to the wire. I oh, know. Oh, I feel like we've had a better reputation with that, and obviously egg salad for sure. Continue finding love. It's chit-chat time. You're so funny. Yeah, you beat the weapons in Final Fantasy VII. Oh yeah, but I've already done that a million times though. And you do that before the end of the game. You're so funny. Honestly, you make me feel like I haven't felt... Uh, you make me feel like I haven't felt before. There's something about you that just makes me feel recharged. At peace. Maybe even in love. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. There we go. Oh, she likes that a lot. Egg salad. Yummy, yummy. Oh, Dad was an experiment and I had no idea it, he wasn't real. Anyways, 44 helped me get out of there after he realised the truth, but not before he and JOJ098 figured out how to disable the tracking software running uh, running in our wires. He rewrote it with some Bitcoin miners so we make a small sum as long as we don't skip out on our sleep. It's not a lot, but it's enough to live off of. I value you. There we go. Although you're getting a bit weird now. 
Who gets a rose? I think I'm going to have to give it to you. Oh my god, it's night time. Egg salad. You are Winra. Give her a ring. <gasps> oh, wow. Is that the game? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, there's the hair pie. Hope this doesn't sound too cheesy, but I wish I was a cat so I could spend all nine of my lives with you. I love you. I want to be with you forever. I want to bake you endless cakes and pies forever, and I don't care who knows. I'll shout it from the rooftops. I love you. Oh my god, is this going to get sexual? I mean, it might be. Look at that face. Epilogue time. Where are they now? <laughs> I don't know. These are pictures from everyone. Uh, oh, uh, there we go. Hottie, Thespial, and Heinous Law really hit it off. Oh, so they ended up together. O'Day opens a successful clothing store for rats. Uh, Bora fulfills their dream of becoming one with the ocean. <laughs> it's a mermaid rat. Gerot makes a house that is also breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And, uh, they are both not rats. <laughs> what the fuck is this? They are both not rats. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh, God. Uh, you make me feel like a rat to a woman. <laughs> and that, you make me feel like a rat to a woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, that was fantastic. That was the best thing. Oh, oh dear. We needed more rat puns, didn't we? Because I think that's the game, and I don't know if there's really anything else really to it. Unless, I guess you could pick, like, different contestants and different things happen, but I don't know. I think that's just the gist of the game, I think. Or oh, you can mute it all together, but hey, that's that's the game, I guess. Um, the, the, the Ratchula, I mean, fuck, what the fuck, what the actual fuck, oh dear, that's what we experienced, I suppose, oh hello Mark, you've joined us at the best time, we, uh, we went on a dating show and, uh, met the rat of our dreams and the Ratchula, a real Ratchula, Ratchula woman, I guess, ah, <sighs> Fucking, what are, what are we even supposed to say to this? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh god, why am I even playing music? Because that's the end of the game. So, uh, there you have it, I guess. That was, uh, the Ratchula. It's a thing that exists, and I guess I'm happy that it does. Sure, why the fuck not, I guess. Oh god's sake. Oh dear. Well, at least it was short and sweet. Welcome back to Valentine's Day Street 2022. Um, it's been traumatizing so far. It has. We've done some things. We've done some things. Uh, we learnt that drawing waifus is hard in Doodle Date. We went on a beach date again. It was just as horrific as I remember it. We did the Google Valentine's Day thingamajig and we just did the Ratchula. Um, oh, but you know what's up next? It's the best thing. It's the best fucking thing. Oh, it opened in the wrong thing, though. No, no, I want you over here. Yeah, we, we've got another game to play, if you can believe that. We've got a game coming up. It's called... It's it's called My Boyfriend is Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> it's a game. It's a thing. It's fine. Let's get that up, if we can. Uh, yeah, yeah, the game's up. It's ready to go. All right. <laughs> Gonna take a while to get over that first game. I know, that first game kind of fucked me up a bit, honestly. That kind of fucked me up, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but yeah, here we are. Uh, it's uh, I don't know if we need music or not, but I'll leave this going if we need it. Let's run the game. Uh, y here it is. <laughs> what did I miss uh, on the first game? Um, you missed the, the... we Well, we had to draw our own girlfriend and she wouldn't put out, so she pissed off. And then we tried to date an older girlfriend that we drew years ago and she tried to kill us and then the baby we had actually did kill us. It was wild, man. It was... A lot happened. A lot happened. I just... I can't get over it. Oh, jeez. But we are we are definitely gonna date Jeff Goldblum now. I mean, we've, we've had... It, we've struck out pretty bad all day. Who have we tried to date? Uh, I've tried to date a girl we drew, a girl we... Two girls that we've drawn. Uh, that was a disaster. We witnessed a beach date. We didn't even have to go on that date. Just they went on a beach date and then evaporated into thin air. Uh, we we put two hamsters together to fuck on the Google thing. Um, and then the Ratchula, we went on a date. And I guess we ended up with a pretty decent rat at the end of the day. 
But now we're going to try and date Jeff Goldblum if we can. Chapter 1, The New Student. You are a new student at an elite private school. Your family is poor, but you are an exceptionally talented student and have won a full scholarship. Today's your first day and you're running late. You rush into class. The teacher looks at you disapprovingly. Let's apologize because it's the only thing we can do. I know, sun ships everywhere. What a fucking disaster that was. I hate it when couples do that. You just, oh, you just left the, the fucking Mountain Dew and sun ships all over the beach. God damn it. I'm sorry I'm late, my mum's car broke down. No excuses, the teacher interrupts. She pulls out a detention slip from her desk. At this school we expect excellence from our students. Lateness will not be tolerated. You have detention after school, now take your seat. Take the detention slip. Argue, let's argue. You stay where you are. That isn't fair, you say. I can't help it if my mum's car is broken. Why? It's, it's a fucking fiat. Why am I being punished for something that isn't my fault? The teacher's eyes narrow behind her horn-rimmed glasses. Talk to me like that again and you'll have detention all week. Now take your seat. Fine, I'll sit down. You angrily take your seat. It's not my fault. I'm poor, you mutter. As the teacher continues with her lesson, you become uncomfortably aware that you are being stared at. <laughs> that is my Jeff Goldblum. I love it. The student in the seat next to you is staring at you. It looks an awful lot like Jeff Goldblum as Ian Malcolm in the film Jurassic Park 1993. Look away. No, stare back. You've got to. You stare right back at the student. He grins and looks away. Continuing, <laughs> continue listening to the teacher. The lesson is very boring, but eventually you break for lunch. You oh shit, I, I forgot to switch my chats over. That's something I should do. There we go. That's much better. That looks much tidier. All right. We didn't cut off anything anyway. <laughs> I love how the uh, author comments down at the bottom of the page. I made this instead of doing my homework. <laughs> I've got to make a dating sim of my own one of these days. I swear I have to do it. And of course, uh, just a reminder, everybody, that we will be streaming again on Thursday um, with the uh, Yabai R-rated super sexy version exclusively on YouTube. And the only way you can see it is if you get my link on the Discord. I'll be linking it in the announcements page. Uh, so if you're not on the Discord, I recommend it. Be sure it. to follow Give Gaming on other social media platforms. I highly recommend you uh, join the Discord, or maybe even just uh, try out my Twitter. I might also announce it to Twitter as well. But those are the only ways that you'll be able to see those streams, because I'll be linking it directly from those pages, and it'll be a uh, an unlisted stream, so you won't be able to see it unless you have the link. And we'll be doing some more Honey Pop 3, uh, of course some Super Seducer 3, because you can't do it on this site anymore, sadly. All of it uncensored, of course. As well as I might get a tablet out and start drawing proper waifus on that uh, doodle date game. I might do that again. Uh, but there might not be other endings, so maybe I won't do that. But still, definitely something to check out. Jeff Goldblum, I know. This, things are going to get exciting, though. The lesson is very boring, but eventually you break for lunch. You are too poor to buy food from the dining hall, so your, so your mum packed you a bag lunch. When you get to the dining hall, you panic for a minute. Oh, where are you gonna sit? The dining hall is very big and you don't have many- you don't have any friends at all. You feel a little overwhelmed. You see the weird guy from class, he waves at you. The weird guy? Sit with him. Sit alone and- no, sit with him. Relieved to see your face. Uh, relieved to see a face you recognise, you sit down at this- at his table. Are you, uh, uh, new here? He says. You nod. My name's Ian, what's yours? He says. Tell him your name. Laughing, he smiles. That's uh, that's a real pretty name. <laughs> you blush. Hey, let me let me uh, introduce you to the gang. He says. You notice for the first time that there are other students at the table. Meet the gang. Here we go. <laughs> Ian points to each of the boys at the table. This is Seth. <laughs> from the from yeah from the fly yeah okay. This is Jack. Uh, was that that movie? No. Um, what's the movie where he plays a scientist? I can't remember. The one where he's like talking about particle physics and stuff, not like when he's in Jurassic Park. He's a different kind of scientist in that one. Hi, Jack. This is Alistair. <laughs> hi, Alistair. And David. Is it David? Oh, hi, David. We don't even get to see a picture of David. That's all right. There is something odd about this group of boys, but you can't quite place your finger on it. I mean, they're friendly enough, and you spend a pleasant half hour with them before going back to class, but they're all Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> It's only when you come home that it hits you. All of them are Jeff Goldblum. End of chapter one. Chapter two coming soon. Oh, come on. You can't tell me that that's it. You can't just leave me hanging like that. You've only just started. Oh, come on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, who made this fucking thing? I gotta look at their collection of shit. Good game, yeah. I mean, short and sweet, but I'll take it. Uh... 
how do I access their other things? More information. Uh, status author. Okay, Bubblegum Scout. Let's have a look and see. Reflection of Loneliness. You can't solo a dragon. Portfolio. Wait, where's the Jeff Goldblum one then? Stuff I worked on. Uh, okay. But where's all the stuff? Wait, where's Jeff? Uh, wait, is the Jeff Goldblum game just a dream that we never actually experienced it? It's possible. Huh. Okay. That's kind of interdasting, I suppose. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. The Jeff Go Goldblum game. <laughs> it is quicker than me. I mean, uh, I know. It was over and done with in, like, like five minutes. All right. Well, uh, <laughs> what is going on? So, uh, yeah, that was, uh, Jeff Goldblum, my... What was it called again? My boyfriend is Jeff Goldblum. We didn't even... That's not even a, an, an accurate title. Our, our boyfriend is not Jeff Goldblum. We didn't even get to... We didn't get anywhere with that. Holy shit. I need a part two in my life, but oh well, there you go. 100 out of 10 would recommend uh, Jeff has my heart, so does Ian. Um, yeah. Uh, my boyfriend is Jeff Goldblum. A thing that exists, and I'm glad that it does, because, uh, why not? <laughs> oh, good God. Welcome back to Valentine's Strange 22. I know, this is getting ridiculous. You don't even have to tell me, I know. Um, we've got another browser game. Hopefully this one's also short. I mean, we're just ripping through these games. That might be a blessing in disguise. I mean, why not? Uh, we got another one. It's called Nothing to Say. And... I... Yeah, I can feel you there, game. I feel you. Definitely nothing to say here. So let's get the game up. Uh, where is it? It should be here. There we go. That's nice. That's good. That's acceptable, I suppose. Is that the right... Oh, wait. That's the wrong one. There we go. That's better. That looks much better. I mean, it looks shit, but it's fine. Uh, why are there multiple thingamabobs? There we go. Let's get rid of that one there. Alrighty. Fantastic. Nothing to say. A tongue-tied dating sim. Let's read more about it. You're on a date with a cute girl, but you're feeling tongue-tied. Can you puzzle out how to confess your feelings? In this dating sim, your dialogue options are limited by what letters you've unlocked. To unlock more letters, earn hearts by getting to know Zoe. Note that you can't score a heart from a line you've already scored, so keep exploring the conversation if you want to unlock more letters and let Zoe know how you feel. An unofficial uh, sequel is not. I'll oh, we'll say that some other time, maybe. Created in 72 hours for Ludum Dare number 45, blah, 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 etc. Who made this? Who made this? Who made this fucking thing? Author Celia Rose. I, I think those are two people, though. Wait, Chose, did you insult me? Oh, wait, no, I didn't yet. Hang on. Uh, insult me, please. Okay, uh. Complete that. <laughs> Alright, I, I can insult you. You're, uh. You're, uh. Your hair is made of string cheese, and your flesh is of the consistency of uh, endless pustules. And I, I hope the sun kills us faster as a result. <laughs> oh boy, that's that's gonna that's gonna run out of fun ideas soon enough, isn't it? Jesus Christ! Oh God, nothing to say. Oh nice, <laughs> nothing to say. Um, is oh, okay. We'll see how this goes. It could be a disaster. Maybe. Maybe some, some different music, though. Let's go with different music. How about, um... Here we go. Fantastic. I hope the sun kills us faster as well. I know. <laughs> After this stream, I mean, you know, that's just how I feel, generally speaking. Wait, where's my mouse cursor at? Oh, no, don't start yet. I'm not ready. There we go. There's mouse cursor. Nothing to say. All right. Uh, by Rose Abernathy and etc. Celia. Okay. All right, let's play the game. Oh, there's Zoe. She looks okay. No boobies, but we can work with it. I'm so nervous about this date, I wanted to let her know how much I like her. But... It feels like I have nothing to say. Nothing at all. Oh, now I can't say anything with these letters in it, I guess. Uh, yeah, I can work with that. Oh, hey, it's nice to see you. Okay, so what did you think? Isn't this place fun? Uh, it's not my thing. I like it. So I just have to say nothing, I guess. Um, okay. <laughs> well, uh, what should we order? Okay, so far we've been playing games where our dates have been a disaster. Maybe this one might be okay. Just get your top off. Well, what should we order? Uh, I'm trying to decide if I should get a milkshake. They're so good, what do you think? That's up to you, I'm gonna get one too. Oh, it's a shame I can't just say this with the missing letters. Let's... Two... Oh... I... Going to... 
on to uh, nothing. Yeah, maybe a milkshake would be too much. Anyway, happy Friday. It's not Friday. I'm so glad the week is over. Do you have anything fun going on this weekend? Uh, th the hang he ha hanging out ha nothing, huh? You've barely said a single word so far. Am I boring you? Yes, yes, no. I can't even say yes, no. Okay. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, we might have gotten a letter back. Oh, I can actually grab the letters. Wait. Oh, hey, thanks for this. I got one heart. I know small talk isn't your favourite thing. I really appreciate your making the effort, though. Well, that's something. And she's got the blushy face on. This is good. This is good. Well, that's something. But I really want to get to know her better. Wish I brought up some new topics of conversation. I'll just have to keep trying. Okay. Click letters to unlock them. Each costs a heart. Okay, I can unlock two letters. Okay, uh, we already have S. I'm thinking O would be a good idea. Let's just buy some vowels. Uh, let us to unlock them. Uh, each costs a heart. Wait, what? Oh, oh, these are the letters I need to unlock. Oh, well, in that case, I want an S. Uh, we got to get some col common letters in here. S and E is probably good as well. Zoe, shall we order? Joe's, yeah, take your top off. That's pretty much it. <laughs> That's pretty much all my dates. <laughs> Shall we order something to eat? Yeah, take your fucking kit off. Let's play again. Oh, there's Zoe again. She's gonna give us another chance. I'm so nervous about this date. All right, let's get to know her, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to say it. Uh, oh, hey, it's nice to see you. So what did you think? This is, isn't this place fun? I like it, not my thing. Uh, fuck, I can't say anything. Um, okay, well, what should we order then? Trying to decide if we should get a milkshake. Fuck your milkshake. Ah, oh, that's up to you. Fuck, I still can't say anything. Maybe a milkshake would be too much. Anyway, happy Friday. Why do you keep blinking in and out of existence? Does it work? I wish it worked. I really wish it did. <laughs> it's just I've never tried it before. I should, though. Uh, do you have anything fun going on this weekend? Uh, this? Haha, <laughs> yeah. I'm happy you feel that way. Never say that. Never say, like, the only thing I've had to do this weekend is go out with you, because it makes it sound like you've got nothing better to do but hang out with a girl, and surprisingly, that's not what she wants to hear. She wants to hear you say, oh yeah, I do all kinds of shit all the time, and you're just like a, just a last minute thing, frankly, honestly. I, I, I could be, I could be doing anything. I could be jumping off the Empire State Building with a parachute and then dropping into Trump Tower and buying a cheeseburger. You know, it's just, I could be doing all the things. That's 100% a super seducer wrong choice right there. <laughs> oh yeah, that's why I'm really sad I didn't get to be in the last one and there's not gonna be any more super seducer games. I'm so sad that Richard has given up on it and we won't even get to see horror seducer either. Now that, that is a real disappointment right there. I'm happy you feel that way. I'll admit, I've been looking forward to this a lot. It's been a long week. Uh, same, oh why, nothing, okay. Yep. Well, hey, thanks for this. I'm glad we got the chance to talk a little. She, she, she would have left a long time ago if we said nothing. I'm having a lot of fun. That is a lie, but she's wearing a nice earring so she doesn't want to waste her time. Hey, Zoe, I have something to tell you. <laughs> I've killed 50 men. <laughs> They're all underneath my floorboards. You're gonna be... Waifu number 51. <laughs> oh, this isn't going too badly. I just wish I could manage to tell her how much I like her. Okay. Oh, I've got three hearts. I'd love a horror game in the vein of Super Zeus. I know. Why not? I, why does he... I, I, I wish I could finance it. If I could bankroll that shit, I would do it. Oh, how is getting waifu while avoiding getting a lolly day? Um, it's going all right. Um, we, we've we played a lot of dating sims and they've all ended in disaster in one way, shape or form, sadly. But um, we're hoping we're hoping things work out with this girl, though. We're, we're talking to Zoe. Uh, unfortunately, we've lost like letters to use. So we have to like earn these hearts so we can add letters to our repertoire <laughs> and more effectively talk to her. Okay, I'm thinking M for I'm, maybe, and, I mean, X is useless, um, may, oh yeah, let's get A going in, let's just get all the vowels, so yeah, oh, I can get U in as well, okay, let's try again, oh, there's Zoe, okay, let's try this again, uh, but, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to say anything, and we have to say new things as well if we need, uh, new hearts, okay, uh, I, oh, I still can't talk, I need a Y, damn it. 
Um, okay. Well, what should we order then? I'm trying to decide if I should get a milkshake. They're so good. What do you think? Um, I'm going to get one too. Oh, yay. I'm so excited. Yay. She's all excited. <laughs> she's so excited. <laughs> Hopefully downstairs too. This will be a nice time. Okay. Do you want to know my one weakness? Is it, is it dick or is it chocolate? It's one of those two. Do I have to say mine? Yeah, I can't say anything. Hmm. Anyway, happy Friday. I'm glad the week is over. Etc, etc. Um, hanging out at home is what I've been doing. Oh, that sounds nice and relaxing. Z z I'm s seriously, Zoe is like the most understanding waifu of all time. Like, half the shit I've been saying is super boring and she would never be into it. So what are you going to be up to? Uh, board games, chilling with my dog. Nothing, because I can't talk properly. Uh... Well, hey, thanks for this. I'm glad we got the chance to talk a little. I'm having a lot of fun. Oh dear, let's change up the music a bit, maybe. Let's see. There uh, we go. Oh. oh, it's the one from Honeycam this time. There we go. <laughs> okay, uh, me too. Hey, Zoe, I have to tell you something. I have AIDS. I'm so glad. It's, it's always nice to get to do something fun, right? Hmm, this isn't going too badly. Okay, we are getting there. I've got four hearts now, so let's see. Y is a good idea. Uh, let's see. A, E, I, O, U. Uh, yes. Okay, we've got all the vowels down. Hmm. I can unlock a lot of letters, too. Let's maybe try and get an R going. Maybe a K and a B. We'll go with that. Try that. It's Zoe again. She's giving me- uh, giving us multiple chances, which is the best. <laughs> okay, I'm so nervous, but I'm- I'm learning how to letter again. Everything's fine. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to say it. Oh, hey, it's nice to see you. So what do you think? This place is fun. Uh, not my thing? I like it. Okay, I'm gonna go not my thing. Oh, really? You know what that means? If we go out again, you have to- uh, you will have to pick where we go. A picnic somewhere fancy? Dot, dot, dot. Uh, but I guess we'll see. But for now, what should we order? I'm trying to decide if I should get a milkshake. They're so good. What do you think? Uh, that's up to you. Okay, we should get a P next time. Get some more options here. Oh, yay, I'm so excited. Okay, uh, do you want to know what my one weakness is? Uh, yeah? My one weakness is sweets. Naturally. See, I told you, it was either going to be dick or chocolate. I mean, if they're, if they're honest, it was going to be dick or chocolate. I'm always up for second helpings of dessert, and I can definitely be bribed with candy. <laughs> I'm entrusting you with this dangerous knowledge of how to manipulate me. I know, and I'm a psychopath, so I, I will use it for, for evil, not good. <laughs> I trust you'll use it well. I won't. <laughs> I fucking won't. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, unlocking the power of Gib all day. I love it. I'm working on getting some, like, sound redeems as well with channel points. I just don't know which sounds to pick. I've got the ones that you can- I, I've got ones that you can play with, uh, channel bits, but not with channel points. I would like to get that going. I just have to figure out how to do it, and what sounds I might want to add. Because I'm thinking, like, the, uh, the, the bit ones have got to be, like, the good ones, and the channel point ones are the ones just to piss me off. <laughs> I was like, I was eating those but Yeah, we should definitely add that one. <laughs> I was eating those beans! Where, where is that? I'm sure I've got that. I think it's just Frank Beans. Here we go, I can play it manually for now, I suppose. Here we go. That's... I was eating those bees! <laughs> He's the best character, I swear. Um, oh dear. Oh dear. I should probably add this one too. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Oh dear. Yeah, I gotta add that one too. I should make that one a channel redeem so that people can just spam that all day and ruin my life. I trust we use it well. Anyway, happy Friday. I'm so glad the week is over. How long did this take? 72 hours. 72 hours to make this game. Frank was underrated. He was the best character in the entire game, let's be real. <laughs> Poor guy. You could have shot him dead. Oh dear. Do you have anything fun going on this weekend? Uh, this? I can answer both of those questions now. Um, not that this is terribly interesting. Oh, I'll admit I've been looking forward to this a lot. It's been a long week. Same. Really? Really? What a pain, right? At least we can complain to each other. That always helps. Yay! Expressing- mis Misery is the thing that brings us all together. Oh, this is bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. That should be another soundbite. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. I do have that somewhere. What is that? Uh, oh, I've got- 
got that. Uh, where is it though? God, I've got so many of these. Oh, well, hi, Mark. I've just got so many sound bites. They, they just get lost in the list. I wish there was a more convenient way of doing this, but hey, at least we've got this too. Wow. Wow. Oh. Oh, and we got this. This is very important too. Oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. I still feel like the devs try way too hard to make David seem like a total jackass. Until the second game. <laughs> that's true. Until the second game came along and everything was better again. Because he's a okay. Although I don't know. I don't want to get too lost in negativity. Maybe we should focus on the positive. What do you think? It's best to be honest. Yeah, you're probably right. In that case, I have plenty of work, uh, plenty of work stuff to complain about. I'm sure you do too. I'm listening. If you ever want to go into it, I do not. And by that I mean I don't want to listen to you whinge all day. But no pressure. So hey, thanks for this. I'm glad we got the chance to, to talk a little. We, we've been on like, what, six, seven dates now and I still she hasn't taken her top off? What is this? This is not realistic. I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, me too. I want to I want to say something horrible to her though. I'm so glad. It's always nice to, to, to get to do something fun, right? Is this going to get existential like last year's Save the Date? I hope so. I hope something terrible happens. I really want something awful and terrible. I mean, we already got that with Doodle Date, didn't we? That was that was a fucking nightmare. Alrighty. Um, what letters? Let's get a P in. Oh, that's the only thing we can select. Okay, we're in trouble now. Wait, can we actually get stuck if we pick like bad letters? I don't know. Here's Zoe. Uh, I th but I think P is good. Or should I have picked a K? Uh. I like- oh, I should have gotten an L. Not my thing. Uh, okay, a picnic somewhere fancy. Shit! We've got nothing to work with here. Okay, we should order some food. Um, oh, that's up to you, maybe? Oh, but I'm so indecisive. It's a real problem. I spent 15 minutes trying on different earrings today. And you went with those? You went with those fucking things? Those look nice. Try flipping a coin. Okay. Kind of silly, I guess. Oh god, I have no hearts. Happy Friday, uh, etc, etc. Come on, uh, try, uh, this is fun, etc. Oh, I'm not getting any more points. Uh, it's been a long week, same. I needed at least one point, didn't I? I might have already lost this game. Positivity is good. Oh god, am I dating Olivia Monroe? What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> You're probably right. In this case, I have plenty of work stuff to complain about. I'm sure you do too. I'm Come on, give me something to work with. I need a heart. I really appreciate you making the effort. Oh, I got a, I got a freebie. Well, that's something. <laughs> Yay, she gave me a freebie. You can't lose this game, I think. At least you're trying. It's pathetic, but you're trying. I'll just keep trying. Uh, let's get an L in here, because we can get at least one new prompt. Yay, pity points. Zoe is very patient, I will say. She's giving me a chance. She definitely wants the D, but she's not going there until I can talk to her properly. I don't want retard babies, she says. All right, here we go. She is nice, though. Uh, no boobers, but that's fine. Um, I guess I guess I'll suffer a flatty. If she keeps the earrings on, that'll be nice. Uh, this place is fun. Oh, I like it. See, now we can, we can say that. Yeah, I agree. Oh, we got three for that. It must be fun to own a place like this. Get to decorate it the way you want, design the menu. Of course, running a restaurant is also a ton of work. So I guess I won't switch careers just yet. Okay, so what should we order? If we open up a restaurant, it's gonna be like Amy's Baking Company, isn't it? This is the origin story of this. I'm that weirdo guy that's married to Amy from Amy's Baking Company. Oh God. Oh god. Oh no! <laughs> I'm trying to decide if I should get a milkshake. Have you seen the animation, animated version where she melts? That's great. Actually, no, the uh, the girl who animated that. We, we go back way, way the fuck back. I met her ages ago on a forum. Oh dear. Uh, Jackson Moto. Well, she just, she's Jackson Moto with her husband, so, but you know, I've, I've, I know her. I know her. <laughs> Amy's Baking Company. What a wild time that was. <laughs> Goat scream. Oh yeah, I should add goat screen. That should be a sound effect too. I'm trying to decide if I should get a milkshake. They're so good. Uh, that's up to you. I'm gonna get one too. That's up to you. Indecisive, etc., etc. Those ones look nice. Try flipping a coin. Shit. Okay, so C is probably a good idea, as well as F. F is good. F and C. F and C. Didn't Gordon actually react to that video? Oh, if he did, that's hilarious. I hope he did. <laughs> 
right, this is the best animation I've ever seen. And yes, she is just like that in real life. What a fucking disaster. What a, what a creepy idiot sandwich. Kind of silly, I guess. Anyway, happy Friday, which reminds me, if I get time, uh, there is a Valentine's Day update to uh, Cooking Simulator. So maybe we might get to see that today, too. Happy Friday. I'm glad the week is over, etc., etc. Hanging, this is good. I like waifu. Um, same. I can say why at some point. Okay, but she's running out of letters. Uh, positive is good. Let's just be honest, etc., etc. I got three letters to use, so that's good. Let's get. S well, we need C and F, don't we? Uh, me too. Okay. Bye bye, waifu. This isn't going too badly. I need a C and an F. There we go. C and an F. Give her the D. No, we'll save that for later. Actually, I will give her the D. Fuck it. There we go. Give her the D. That leaves us with just J, Q, V, W, and X. Uh, o and Z as well. I guess there's that too. I believe one of them got arrested. Oh, I hope it was the waifu, but honestly, I don't care. If it was Amy, I hope- I hope- I hope it was Amy. I hope it was Amy, but if it's her husband, I'm fine. Fucking holding- holding, uh, tips for, from employees like that. No, you fucking do that. Oh, there's Zoe again. Alright. We have most of the letters now. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to say it. Um... Uh... What do you think? Isn't this place fun? Um... I like it. Okay. Do, 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 decorating shit, etc. She's saying the same stuff and she's boring me. Uh, I'm going to get one too. Oh yay, I'm so excited. When you were my one weakness? Oh, I don't have the V yet. Yeah, my one weakness is sweets. I gotta get a V though. V for Valentine's Day and also vaginal orifice. I love it. Okay, I will manipulate you with your weakness of sweets. How else are we supposed to fucking get anywhere with women if we don't know their, their weaknesses? Okay, uh, we've been- yeah, this is good. I like Dayton, it's good. I don't really, it's a lie. Uh, oh, I'm gonna need a W for sure. What a pain, right? At least we can complain to each other, that always helps. Okay, focus on the positive. Uh, let's just be honest. Uh, okay. Wait, I really appreciate you making the effort. Wait, we didn't get any- oh, I must have picked the wrong, like, dialogue branch. Because we've got other options, but okay, I will grab a a V. Absolutely, I'll grab a V. Yeah, I'll do that. That's that's. I mean, why wouldn't I grab a V? <laughs> Jesus Christ, is there? Oh my God! Uh, there's Zoe. Let's try this again. I grabbed a V this time. Okay, survey says uh, I like it. Okay, hopefully this this wheel of fortune date is going to work out for us here. Um, I'm gonna get one two and then. Do I have to say mine? Oh, yes, definitely. So what's your weakness? Uh, girls just like you, I can't say. Dot, dot, dot. Hey, don't tease me like that. Anyway, uh, do you have anything fun going on this weekend? This is pretty cool. Long week, oh why, uh, same, okay. A W might be good. At least we can complain to each other, That's that helps. Although I don't know. I don't want to get too lost in negativity. Uh, stay- Positivity is good. Yay, one point. Yeah, I like that attitude. Then we agree. Let's do our best to be positive. The world seems nicer that way, doesn't it? So, hey, thanks for this. Uh, I'm glad we had the chance to talk a little. I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, oh, I kind of want to say this to her, whatever it is. Um, me too? I think the last letter should be Z for Zoe, don't you think? Okay. Uh, what did we want to get again? Was it W? Or J? Fuck it, I'll just grab a J and we'll just slowly whittle this down until we get everything we need. It's kind of annoying we have to unlock letters and pay attention to the shit she says and pick the right dialogue options. Okay. Not my thing. Oh, really? You know what that means. When we go again, you have to pick where we go. Ah, oh, I should have gotten a W. Picnic? Oh, hey, there we go. I haven't selected that option yet. That would be so fun. I would love to do that. The weather's nice and cool right now, and the leaves are so pretty. Oh, are you volunteering to make food for the picnic? What, do you cook? I try. Oh, good for you. I'm impressed. I'm not much of a cook myself. But for now, what should we order? Uh, milkshake. Uh, I'm gonna get a milkshake. That make her happy. Why the fuck not? Do I have to say mine? Oh, yes, definitely. So what's your one weakness? Uh, girls just like you? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Well, that's a sweet thing to say. She's just patronizing us. She's, she's not turned on by this at all. 
Why do we have to pick letters? Uh, because we started the game with a whole ton of missing letters because we can't talk properly. This game is called Nothing to Say. And the whole point of the game is you have to try and eventually earn enough hearts to buy more letters so that you can answer more dialogue prompts and get more hearts and buy more letters. It's a, it's a vicious cycle, but at least we're kind of getting there. Basically, I have to learn how to talk properly again. <laughs> you're on a date with a cute girl, but you're feeling tongue-tied. Can you puzzle out how to confess your feelings? Anyway, happy Friday. I'm so glad this week is over. I've got seven now, so basically the game's finished. Do you have anything fun going on this weekend? Uh, this? Okay. I'll admit looking f I've been looking forward to this a lot. We've been on many dates. Oh, why? Oh, I don't have the W. Same. Okay. Claim to each other, etc, etc. Positivity and all that shit. It's best to be honest. You're probably right. Okay, I've got enough hearts to complete the game now, so that should be good. Hopefully she gets a top off. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the Z for last, aren't I? Okay, so we've been chatting a lot. This isn't going too badly. We've been on like two dozen dates now, maybe even more than that. But yeah, at least now I have enough hearts. I have like three in reserve, but there we go. Okay. Oh, there's Zoe, and I've got a full complement of letters this time around. Okay. I want to tell her how much I like her, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to say it. Oh, you can say anything you want now, friend. Tell her to get her top off! You've got the letters for it! <laughs> this place is fun. I like it. Yeah, I agree. It must be fun to own a place like this. You get to decorate it the way you want, design the menu. Of course, running a restaurant is also a ton of work. So I guess I won't switch character careers just yet. Okay, so uh, what should we order? Uh, I'm gonna get a thing. There we go. I'm so excited. Okay, do you want to know my one weakness? Do I have to say mine? Oh yes, definitely. So what's your weakness? Uh, pizza with extra cheese. Haha, <laughs> that's great. Yay, extra hearts I don't need. I think that's a weakness of mine too. <gasps> she lied, because she said something different on previous dates. I can't believe this. Anyway, happy Friday. I'm glad the week is over. Do you have anything fun going on this weekend? Uh, this? Haha, <laughs> yeah, I feel- I, I, I'm happy you feel that way. I'll admit I've been looking forward to this a lot. It's been a long week. Oh, why? Work's been really crazy. There's been a bunch of admin stuff to wrap up when it's close to the end of the year. And we have this new guy who never finishes anything on time. But hey, I, I shouldn't go on about work. It's the weekend. I do appreciate you listening, though. Dot, dot, dot. So hey, thanks for this. I'm glad we got the chance to talk a little. I'm having a lot of fun. Hey, Zoe, I have to tell you something to tell you. Yeah? I know I'm kind of quiet and I can be hard to talk to. Huh? But I just wanted to say that I'm really excited about this. I think you're pretty great. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, get it out. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you're pretty poggers, Zoe. That's so nice of you to say. I'm happy you feel that way. And I know you, that probably wasn't e easy for you to say, so thank you. You know, I think you're pretty great too. I hope we can spend more time together. The end. Are you fucking serious? She doesn't get her top off. Oh, fucking hate it. Disappointed. Fucking. Uh. Ah, oh, disappointed. Where is my Sorbo disappointed? There we go. I, I want both of them. I want the sinister one even. Fucking hell. That was terrible. Disappointed. Oh, just. Disappointed. Oh, I hate you, Zoe. I hate you so. So much. I feel like I've been cock-blocked these last few games. We didn't get to date Jeff Goldblum because the game wasn't finished, and now this! Now this! I'm not happy. I'm not happy about this at all. Oh, God. All right. Well, that's... Yeah, that's just spiffy, isn't it? So there you have it. There you have it. That was... No confidence. No confidence. I know. That was nothing to say. I wish I had nothing to say. So, yeah, that was nothing to say. A thing that exists and, uh, oh boy, I guess I'm alright that it does. Sure, why not? Oh, good God, where's the music set? I need it. I need it in my life. Oh, my God. Welcome back to Valentine's Day stream 2022. It's been, uh, I mean, it's been the nightmare I've hoped it would be, so I'm not really all that disappointed. Frankly, I'm fine. I'm fine with it, sure. Oh, jeez. But can you believe what's up next? So, last year we did the Love Heater Sim Date RPG game. Now, there's another Sim Date RPG from the same guy, or same pair of guys, actually. It's Galaxy Angel Sim Date. 
Um, so that could be good. Let's do it. Galaxy Angel Sim Day. Let's do this thing. I don't know if I need music or not. Probably not. So let me just get that up. There we go. Let's play the game. It's Galaxy Angel Sim Date RPG. Yay! <laughs> oh, Jesus. I got the cheats ready in case I need them. Yep, they're just over here. I will use them on a second playthrough, though. On a first playthrough, I think we'll do it legit. Here we go. Let's actually make this look nicer, shall we? There we go. Just look at as sexy as you possibly can. There we go. All right. Galaxy Angel Sim Date RPG. Bored waiting for this to load? Read about the authors, click the icons below. Here we go. Uh, Classic programmer, game designer, and dialogue. Comments, I programmed and scripted this pile of shit. Enjoy. We also have Tent, aka Anthony Hurrell. I remember these people. Uh, artwork, game designer, dialogue, and tester. Comments, I love doing the artwork in this game. I bet you did. <laughs> we got a quality option here. I uh, don't know which is the best one. We want high quality, of course. Yes, high it is. Oh, we can go all the way to 8x8 and 16x16. Fuck it, let's go maximum. Oh, God, no, that actually looks worse. We're going to go high quality. All right, there we go. Okay, let's begin. It's Galaxy Angel. Oh, my God, it's waifus. So cubed ink and metal, metal animation productions presents Galaxy Angel Sim Date RPG. Press space bar to start. We got waifus. Okay, enter stats. Uh, name. Okay, we've got plenty of characters and players. That's a that's a waifu, isn't it? I have no idea what's going on. Ah! Why are all these characters looking guys? Kind of I guess I'll play as tax. Space! Space! We're gonna go to space and get a waifu at the same time, hopefully. Uh, we've not had great luck, have we, really? Alright, I'm gonna be Barry Gibb. There we go. Oh, just a one name is probably fine. Now, let's uh, set our stats. Uh, will we just go full balance, do you think? I think we'll just go full balance, really. So that would be 10, another 10, another 10. Oh, wait, I've got a bit more to spend. I've got 13 left. Um, all right, hang on. Uh, maybe five, another... Oh, hang on. Uh, I don't even think we can have a fully balanced character. Okay, we'll have... One more in power. 15 power, 14 intellect, and 14 magic. That seems alright. Alright. I wonder if we'll get some Naru clones in. Love Hina Naru clones for, for life. It could be good. Okay. Oh, we got difficulty options. We got easy with no time limit, standard 100 days, hard 50 days. Let's just go no limit. Fuck it. Why not? And then I'll set it to hard 50 days, but with cheats, and we'll see how we go. Okay. Let's begin. Here we go. Profile is Barry with all this money, 200 space bucks, HP 100, level easy. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Let's do it. Let's fucking go! <laughs> in deep space, far in the future, the final frontier. <laughs> Waifu's the final frontier. You travel in hibernation in your life pot. It sounds like that meat and fuck space adventure game as well. <laughs> I, I, I know of that. I can't play it. Maybe I'll play it uh, on Thursday when we stream later on in the week. Galaxy Angel Sim Date RPG. We can skip it, but let's watch it. Why not? Starring... Uh, Milf Fuele Sakurabra. Mint Blanc, Blanc March Vanilla. Vanilla H. Oh my goodness. Fort Stolen. <laughs> she certainly has. Ranfer Franboise. It's the, God, these names are terrible. I have to get going home. Have fun avoiding the lollies. I'll do my best, but I think there might be some lollies in this game. I don't know. I'm frightened, but uh, see you soon, hopefully. Imagination Arts, have a good travel home now. Oh, God. Oh, God. You begin to come to. All right. Ah, what's that? <laughs> Strange thing. Oh, God. What is this? Oh, you're awake at last. What? Where am I? Uh, I guess I better explain a few things to you. You're aboard the Angel base. We found you drifting in space. Hang on, don't tell me they put a fucking puppet in charge to explain to me what's going on. Tutorial puppet. Look, fuck you and put up with it. I have far greater intelligence than anyone on this ship. In my last life, I was a missile. I have a processing speed of 10,000 gigahertz. I, uh, what? You're a what now? Okay. Don't piss me off or I'll poison you in your sleep, you stupid fuck. Okay, well, if you put it that way, sure. Fine, just tell me what's going on and what your name is. My name is Normat. <laughs> Normat. <laughs> yeah, what kind of stupid name is Normat? Oh, God, for fuck's sake, shut the hell up, you bitch. Or maybe, maybe you don't want to hear about the beautiful girls on board this ship. All right, I'll listen, quietly mutters you 
bitch. This ship is for five girls together known as Galaxy Angel, who have who are assigned missions to find the lost technology. Every girl is different and has different tastes and attitudes. Each girl likes different gifts and stats, so you have to pay attention to what they want and like. Oh no. <laughs> what a stupid bitch. You have as much time as you want, so take it easy, aka easy mode. So make sure you, uh, while you're here, to increase your stat points, power, intellect, and magic through various ways to be able to impress the girls. Yeah, because they love magic and smarts and strengths. That is fine water, though. You can fight nearly anyone in the game, sometimes for fun, or sometimes if you really piss someone off. Yeah, sometimes I'll just straight up challenge you to fights in these games. <laughs> if we remember last year's Love Hina Sim date RPG. To help you keep track of your stats, the bottom right hand button can be used to open the stats menu. Anyway, that's enough explaining from me. Captain Volcott is waiting in the ship's bridge to explain more. Okay, I remember this. Yes, I, I remember playing this a long time ago. I think I played Love Hina Sim Date significantly more than this, but this is still great. I remember this vaguely. I would, but I think you're an asshole and I don't like you. Go down the hall to the main area and take a right to the bridge. Normad teleports away. Oh, there's music in this game. All right, uh, we're in the medical center. Let's check the map. Uh, Angel base is pretty big. All right, what are we doing? Medical trip, 10 HP plus time. So this is basically the hot springs from Lapina, right? This had the dress up mini game that had something special that couldn't be put on Twitch at the time. Oh. Oh, yeah, no, wasn't there nudity in Love Hina Sim Date as well? In the dress-up games? And I was like, well, shit, I just narrowly avoid a disaster there. Okay, let's have a look around. Oh, yeah, I wonder if there's Easter eggs in this game. Oh, there must be, surely. Medical center, central area, maintenance room. This is taking up time, isn't it? Yeah, five minutes go by every time I move somewhere. All right. Oh, shit, I just came from there. Southern Corridor, Ship Bridge, that's where I need to go. Hey! Oh, hello, you must be the person we found in space. I was waiting for you. Oh, wow, there's actual lip sync this time around. All right. From the information we've gathered from your ship, we found you were a survivor of some colony that disappeared a while ago. Do you remember what happened? Uh, no, I don't. All I remember is my name is Barry. I guess the hibernation caused you to have memory loss about your past. Fuck! Don't worry, we'll give you a chance to work on the ship helping the Galaxy Angel Squad. We'll give you as much time as you want to fit in. Yeah, that fucking stupid puppet thing told me about that. If you fuck it up, the girls on this ship will stab you. <laughs> Which reminds me, do you want me to tell you about the girls and their missions? Hell yes. No, I just want to start doing shit. No, no, I want to hear about why, folks. All right. Well, firstly, each girl here has a mission to do on a chosen day of the week. If you help out an angel on a day they have a mission, they will like they will like you very much for it. So remember to keep that in mind. Oh, boring. Shut the fuck up and listen, cunts. I'm not wasting my time telling you again. Ranfur is our first girl. She likes wrestling, getting off her face with vodka, and playing sim dates. So basically the best girl in this game by the sound of it. Jesus Christ. She also deals in cannabis. I mean, does she get any better? Don't ever make a late payment or she'll stab you in the head and neck. Another girl is Mint. She has a stunted height because she smoked too much pot at a young age. She likes cosplay, money, and pornographic film. Right. Uh, next is Milfuel. She is the, the biggest dumb shit in the whole universe. She Often she will smash her, her hand just for fun. She is very lucky also and enjoys making food for everyone, especially dope cookies. Hey, hash cookies. I love it. Hash bickies. Fort is another angel. She likes guns and killing people with them. Sometimes she kills people for no reason, too. She also likes drinking games and forcing people to drink. <laughs> Your first mission is to help the girls with their bikini tryouts. Yes, I hope so. Your first mission is Brazilian Wax. Oh my goodness. All right. And last there is Vanilla. She'll just freak you out. No shit. She freaks the shit out of me. She might, uh, she might also, uh, she, she might be also into bondage, but I, I know for sure she collects fish heads. The angels, <laughs> fish heads, fucking hell. The angels' mission days that they have, uh, their missions are posted here in the bridge, so come in any time to check when it's, when it is, uh, for each of them. You can also finish, uh, visit other planets with the ship in the ship dock to increase stats, obtain items, and help with missions. And that's it. 
Remember to recover your health by sleeping in your room, as well as boosting all your stats, power, intellect, and magic. Okay, so we can view their schedules. Let's see. Uh, the weekend they're all free. Uh, Monday, Milfoil is on a uh, on a mission. Tuesday, Mint's on a mission. Wednesday, Vanilla's on a mission. Thursday, it's Ranfer, and Friday, it's Fort. Okay, I can't. Ranfer sounds like she's a good fun though. She's a good time. So. Uh, what is today? It's Monday, so if we want to help her out on a mission, we have to wait till Thursday. Plus, also, stats probably need to be improved as well. Alright, uh, so what do we do now, then? I guess I'll just fuck around the corridors a bit. Just have a look around, see if there's anything to do. Nothing really. Don't know if there's any Easter eggs or anything in this game. There probably is, but I just, I don't remember any of them. I remember the ones from Love Hina. Oh, hang on, whoa, whoa, what's this? What's this? Ah, it's Mitsumi from Love Hina. I've heard that there's a secret somewhere that turns the Galaxy Angel Girls into the Love Hina Girls. That's intriguing. And I'm not one of them, apparently. I feel insulted, soil self. I think I might go eat some chocolate cake. Okay, thanks. That was... I mean, that was a thing. Uh, let me check my stats and things. How many secrets are there? Do they tell you in this... No. No, I wish they did. So, oh, here we go. Secrets found one. Can hold an item. There's also waifus here all day. I'm co-workers with all of them for now. Help! There is no help. There is no help for you. Uh, items, I've got nothing, but it looks like we can have a phone, uh, an old snizz, uh, a frying pan, a, a ruby thing. I have no idea what that is. Uh, we got some bananas, a, a handgun, sure, a purse, a bottle of nondescript alcoholic liquid, I'm sure, a ring, a a chicken, and a watch, and flowers, of course, typical things you give to a wife. Of course you do! Of course you give them this shit. We can buy bananas, flowers, vodka? Wait a minute, Ranfer loves her vodka, fuck it, I'm gonna buy a vodka. Automated vending machine, you just bought some vodka. I uh, don't know how much money I have, so I'll just buy a couple of them for now. Let's check our items here. Uh, oh, I guess I check menu for- oh, here we go, I've got 80 dollars. Well, that might be enough for something. Oh, I can go to sleep here. Uh, is there anything in my room to check? Yep. Oh, it's Ray. It's a Ray clone. Have you seen my original around? I hear she's going around giving out cheats like the whore she is. I hate Jew. Fun sim date RPG facts. The Jew is actually pronounced with a J. <laughs> okay, that was, that was fun. Uh, how am I doing for stats? Oh, my health points are fine. I haven't talked to anyone yet. No waifus or anything. Oh, oh, that's not a secret. You think it would be though? There's got to be a secret around. Fuck it. I'm going to use the tab method. Here we go. Can I see any Easter egg -y things? No, I don't think so. Would have would have been very annoying if it was. Um, okay. Wait, I've got to hold an item. Uh, items. Vodka. Oh, I don't. Item held. Vo I can't hold the vodka? That's alright, I guess. I don't need to hold vodka. I would like to hold a gun, though. Uh, ship's archives. That's there. Uh, that's my room. I'll remember that. There's the kitchen. Central area. Southern corridor. Eastern corridor. That's where we were. Another one. What the fuck is this? Yay, secret! It's a cat girl! We found a cat girl, everybody. Everything's gonna be fine. Standard angry cat girl with a gun. Hmm. I think I need a new name. It's too short. <laughs> well, that scored I suck ass on the lame meter <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that. This is the hologram room. We go to the train center. We can increase our power. 50 HP. Fuck it. Why not? Your power is increased by five. What else can we do? Increase magic. Fuck it. Power. There we go. Is there anything else to do here, I wonder? Because there's always Easter eggs. Uh, hmm. Well, I don't have any HP. So I oh, God. It's best girl. I, I got to talk to her. Hang on. Uh. You need at least 30 HP to talk shit. I just have to walk away. Midriff for days, though. I'm so excited. Uh, angel room. Oh, God, I can go to their rooms and everything. I love it. I love it. Okay. Oh, the exit button. Here we go. Oh, shit. It's Karika. Have you seen my watch? If you don't have it, I will kill you. Oh, oh wait. I left it up my... <laughs> okay. All right. She left her watch up, up her hole, of course. That's right. Ah, vanilla. That's a lolly. Uh, I can't even fight her. You need at least 20 HP to fight. I can't fight this lolly. I gotta go to bed. Hologram room, Eastern Corridor. Oh, go to bed. There we go. Wow, this ship is weird to navigate, but we'll get through it, I think. Okay, I gotta talk to waifus, though. Uh, today is Tuesday. Right, we have to go on a mission on Thursday, don't we? 
Uh, I got to find- Ah, oh my god, it's mint! I don't want to talk to you though, because you're probably a lolly. Okay. Gotta find- Oh, okay, here's a study room. We can learn things, increase your knowledge. Uh, don't think I need to do that though, so I'm gonna bugger off. I haven't played this game nearly enough to know everything about it, sadly. I have beaten it, but I don't remember much about it at all. Is there an easter egg here, maybe? Find some secrets. Nope, alright. Ship's bridge, uh, some corridor, where are you? Oh, she's in her room. Hello? Hey! This is my room, and I was busy feeling myself. It's time to have your legs eaten by wolves that I'm about to unleash upon you. Oh yeah, take on Ranfa, here we go. Here are our options. We can headbutt, and we can kick Shin. That's better than throwing a shoe and shouting. Uh, yeah, let's kick her in the shin. Yeah, take that, waifu. Here we go, beat her up. Oh god, well, she crushes our arm. That's right, uh, let's try headbutt. Boom, boom. Oh no. Power to headbutt. That's a laser beam, that's not a headbutt. 69 HP left, we did it, everybody, we did it, yay. Oh my god. Ah. Okay, uh, uh, kick shin. That seems to be where it's at. Solid punch. Oh god, I'm not gonna get through this. Shin kick. Oh, we can do this. Uh. Oh, come on. Come on, we can do it. Ow! Oof. My mum fights better than you. <laughs> Shit. Oh, uh, yep. Serves me right, I suppose. That was- that was not good. Oh no, it's Milfil Flower. At least I'm pretty sure she's not a lolly, because she's got boobies. Oh god, uh, how do I get back to my room? I just want to go home. Eastern corridor. Yes, okay, sleep time. I'm going to need to train myself. Or just have a conversation with one of them, I guess. It's funny how they're just not around. Oh, there's the spaceship. Oh, we can go to other planets. Where, how do we even get here? Ship dock. Okay, it's over there. Um, oh boy. Travel to other planets. Uh, what kind of planets? We can go to Transvaal, Cockadoodle, Jungle Planet, Resort Planet, Area Enigma, Ancient Planet, Ocean Planet, and Chicklean. Well, I gotta go to Chicklean, obviously. <laughs> wow, it's looking pretty empty. There's the outer forest of Chicklean. Uh, oh, there's a secret. Hey, it's Slutty McSlut from the. I forgot what the series is called, but yeah. Oh, I remember you. You're good times. Hey there, you sexy looking fuck ass. <laughs> You should try this new cheat I found. I have to shit. I have to go because I I, I have to fuck something. Okay, bye. <laughs> best waifu though, honestly. Jesus Christ, best girl. Uh, no more secrets. Let's keep going in the forest some. There's probably some things to see here. There we go. Any secrets here? Oh, there's something in the bushes. Oh no, it's Ritsko again. I woke up from this really weird dream. I was this psycho stalker and I wouldn't leave this guy's home. Oh yeah, a a before. I love it. Uh, it was great. Strange. Anyway, I have to be off because my foot is bleeding. Okay, yeah, you get that looked at. Looked at. Yeah, you do that. Alright, Chicklean was fun. Uh, gotta go home now. <laughs> Let's just explore planets. Fuck it. Let's go to Transvaal. And, ooh, okay, it's a city. Okay, I like this. Any secrets I should be aware of? No? Alright. Pressing tab is the best way to find secrets. I don't think there's any secrets here, so let's keep moving on and go east. Oh, there's got to be something here. What's this? <gasps> Fighting contest! Well, now I'm excited. Let's go to the south. Oh, there's got to be something here, surely. No, there's a red car and everything. There's got to be something here. Ooh, I can buy a gun. I can buy a, a frying pan or a handbag if I want here. I guess I'd like all of those things. I'm surprised there are no easter eggs here. Alright, um... Let's go to Cockadoodle and see if there's anything else here. Okay. Looks like there's a ghost train. Um... Oh, it's gotta be... Yes, Whale Eye! Oh no, it's Rob on Matsu 2. Yay, I'm a robot that's gone completely insane! She kicks your ass. Have fun with the pudding that I put up your ass. Oh, uh, well it didn't reduce my health, so I guess I'm fine with that. Okay, nothing here, although this is- this looks like a, a weird place to be, just in general. Oh, there's gotta be- yeah, there's gotta be something there. Ah, it's Shinobu clone! Um, hi there! Uh, I was cloned with a lot of other people recently. Uh, you can also clone someone else with the cheap pointless jackal. Alright, thanks for that. Bye! <laughs> why does she- why does she exist, honestly? Uh, we can buy religious gem here for 300, a chicken soup for 300. 
or a video game for 60. Yeah, those are those are really, really apt prices you've got up there. Chicken Suit, 300. Religious M, 300. Ah, if you want a Super Nintendo, though, 60 bucks, that's fine. Okay, well, that's... that's something. That's <laughs> alright. It's nearly Thursday, though, so I'll go to the Jungle Planet. Um... See if there's any secrets here. I'm just checking for secrets now. There's nothing really to do in any of these plants by the look of it. Oh, it's Chi! How are you doing, Chi? Try this cheat. Enable... Ava 4. Oh, that sounds very Evangelionish. What the fuck? Chi? Oh dear, Chi. What is wrong with you and your stupid Persicom brain? Okay, yay, more forests. I'm pretty, more, pretty, pretty sure that's the one from the last uh, forest planet as well. Okay. Well, that was fun. Let's go somewhere else. Uh, resort planet. Okay. Here's- yes! Here's the compulsory beach episode planet. I love it. Alright. Uh, oh, cat bell. It's- it's Ruri. Who the hell is that? Do you want to see some stupid shit? Type the cheat. I hate your mum. Uh, see ya. <laughs> Bye. What the fuck is going on anymore? Alright. Definitely is a resort planet. I like it. Anything here? Nope. Alright. Just exploring for now. Not seeing anything else, so alright, that's that's that. Decent resort. Oh, let's go to Area Enigma. That sounds mysterious. Oh. And mysterious it is. I feel like I'm gonna get raped here. I feel very unsafe on this planet. Oh my god. Uh Yep. Alright. Outside school. Oh my god, what's this here? Oh, it's Kagura. Shit! I wonder how I got here. Somehow I woke up here after a party where I took speed and drank Jack Daniels all night. I wonder if me punching my own tits was real, too. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna go inside the school. Oh, wow. Mm. I don't think we should be here anymore. This is a good place to end up dead, I think. Uh, oh, there's a secret there. Oh, it's Sucky Funko from the same uh, game series as uh, like Slutty Fun Face, whatever her, face is, her name is. I don't know. Hi! Heard this cheat does some crazy shit. Classic made graphics. Okay. I gotta return now to my brothel. Farewell! Okay. <laughs> I just- I don't know anymore. Oh, there's a dumpster here. This is where I'm gonna end up, I think. This is- this is my future. Okay. Uh, we're doing good exploring, I guess. Oh, there's a right turn there. Bit creepy. I'm just gonna leave this planet now, because it's terrifying. It's still Wednesday, so let's go to the ancient planet. Uh, ooh. Oh, look at this fucking place. Oh, we can click the door here. Hey, it's Toji from Ava as well. I feel like a million dollars today. That's because I stole this suit from a homeless person. That is not a suit that a homeless person would have in their possession. I'm just saying. For fuck's sake, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> something wrong with you, buddy. Get help. For fuck's sake. All right, go outside building. Gla glass house, okay. Is there a secret at the glass house? I wish there was, but it doesn't look like there is. Still a nice place. God, they've made all of these areas, and I don't think any of them have any real purpose. Except for hiding secrets occasionally. It's Chidori, you look like nothing nothing more than a pervert. See, she's, she gets it. I can see right through you, Mr. Pervert, and your perverted ideas about me. If I wasn't so busy, I would kill you, pervert scum. But apparently she is, so she's off. Ooh, look at this fucking temple, though. Ooh, I'm liking the temple. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, look at everything in the temple here. This is great. Oh, this is great. What's this? Boop. It's Canty. Hey, I know of this secret that tells you all the codes, but I can't tell you unless I have my Phantom Crystal. The Phantom Crystal is actually found in the archives of the Galaxy Base, so if you can get the code, go there and get it for me. Huh. Come back any time once you've found it. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't know... I, I've got to get a Phantom Crystal. I don't know how to get that, though. Alright. Nice room here. Nothing really going on, though. Ooh, the observatory. Um, but there's nothing here either. Okay. I'm just gonna leave this temple now. It's starting to worry me a bit. Uh, alright. How are we doing for planets? Oh, we just have to go to the ocean planet and then we're done. Thank God for that. Oh, there's something here in the trees. Ah, it's Jason. Ah, oh, I'm going to kill you. Meh, been there, done that. Life is just not fun anymore. <laughs> Any buggers off. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, coconut. Here we go. It's Stevia, which I think is like a, a weird, like, sugar substitute as well. I wonder where Ranfar is. I like stalking that bitch because I have learning problems. Bye for now. <laughs> Goodbye. Let's go to the jungle and get some horrible disease. Uh, yep, that's a jungle. That's definitely a jungle. Nothing going on there, though. 
Let's go inside the resort and see if there's any- Oh, there's a thing. Ah, it's another cat girl. It's Dejiko. Hello, Nyo. Sometimes people throw rocks at me because I'm different, Nyo. Sounds like they were right to do that, though. But that might have something also to do with me with me calling them stupid cunts, Nyo. <laughs> please get help, cat girl. Please get help. All right. Let's head back home. Oh my god, it's a waifu. I guess I'll have a chat with her. Hi, Barry. Hey. I can see you're new, but um, that's not how you spell that. But I think um, we're going to be good friends. I want to fuck you. Yes, friends. I think so, too. Yay, Milfoelia hits her own hand with the hammer. I have to go now. Uh, she clearly has a nosebleed and blood drips onto her tits. <laughs> That's... I mean, why not? Okay, talking to waifus only takes away, let's say, 30% of your health by the look of it, so... Yeah? I just, I just, yeah, we finally found best girl and I can talk to her. What the fuck? I was training you out to bug me. I'm gonna plug your nipples into a PowerPoint. Oh god, we have to find her again. I'm not ready! Kick shin! Oh, I missed. Yep, this is going well. Ah! Oh, I don't like my chances. I've got to start training tomorrow. I really do. Or I could go on a mission. I guess there's that too. What is in her hair? It looks like maracas. It's got maracas in her hair. Ah, don't bite me. Haha, <laughs> you sucked. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed a defeated man. Oh god, that's where they live. Oh no, I oh, no, don't have enough HP to talk to waifus now. Okay. Slowly learning how the ship works. All right, um, I gotta go on a mission. How do I do that? Oh, mission time. Yo, today you need to do something for my mission. Okay. Take this item to the jungle planet. You'll have someone. Uh, uh, you will have someone pick it up for, uh, from you. Okay. Jungle planet. Got it. Let's go on a space adventure. Jungle planet. There we go. Fantastic. Someone will show up eventually. Oh god, it's you again! Yay! Crystal balls are the win, Nyo! I see that Ranfer is getting people to do emissions again like usual, Nyo. Tell her that you gave it to me safely. C can you get your top off though, cat girl? Oh no, she might be on a rage. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not, I don't know. It's hard to tell with cat girls. Ah, oh, it's Fort. Uh, not now, I've got to talk to Ranfar. She must- she might be waifu that I'm locking in. Okay. I won't go there though because she'll be training and she'll get pissed off and she'll kick me in the teeth. Okay. God, where is everyone here? There we go, finally! Hello! Good to see that you dropped it off. Ranford just became your new playmate. You can now talk to her in her room. Now... Now, what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean though? She's a playmate, quote unquote. What does that mean though? Hmm. Oh well, anyway, fuck it. Uh, you can now talk to her in her room without getting your face kicked in. That's good. Thanks and stuff. I will talk to you again soon. And at least we can now find her in the room, so we don't have to worry about hunting her down all over the place. I'm gonna get some training in. Where's that training center? Here we go. I need an increase in power. I don't have enough HP. Fuck you. Uh, all right, I'll talk to Mint. Probably shouldn't though, because I might uh, incur the wrath of uh, certain individuals, if you know what I mean. Uh, hello. After work, sometimes I really like to watch some porn. Yeah, it really makes me relaxed and all that. LOL. Uh, yeah, I guess that will release the tension. Uh, what the fuck? I mean, seriously, what the fuck? That's something I never thought you'd ever say. That's pretty good. You're the first person to understand me. The others think I'm really weird because that's the way I relax. Well, gotta run. Bye! <laughs> I don't know. I think I might die on this ship. I might die here, friends. I don't think I'm gonna last for much longer. Okay, but if I can go to the room and chat, I, I, although I want to train a bit, I wonder what her favourite stats are. I guess I'll find out from talking, won't I? Let's not devote time doing shit like that when we can just talk to her and figure out what's going on. Oh, maybe their rooms have secrets too. Uh, not your room though. Oh, here we go. Oh, why, why does Mint have a giant fucking safe in here? That's made me very suspicious. Hey, what the fuck is this? Yay, it's Naru clone. There are a hell of a lot of clones around the place these days. Our ultimate plan is to take over the universe. <laughs> also tits. This secret is now over. Fuck off now. <laughs> okay, bye. I don't want this thing sitting here while I'm while, while I'm taking uh, Milfarella to bed, honestly. Oh god, I wasn't doing anything, I swear, Mint. Just leave me alone. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's a secret, but you have to time it, I guess. That's right, the real one, though. 
Hey, do you like my new bikini? Yeah, it's alright. Oh, thanks, bitch head. I will reward you with this cheat. I got a bag of hair to put in a hair cake. Of course, naturally. Alright, that was fun. Uh, bye. <laughs> really interesting secrets, I know. Hey, there's Fort. I don't think I should talk to her, though. She might kill me. Hi, Fort. You still there? Yeah, you're still there. Bye. Now she's gone. Thank goodness. Uh, secret. It's Vash. I've been hiding in here to tell you one thing. Love and peace. Love and peace. You back away slowly. I'm not- I'm not- I'm not in it for the peace, man. I'm in it for the wife -o. Okay, let's see if she'll pop in. Oh my god. We're just co-workers, Lolly chan I- I didn't invite her into my van, I promise. <laughs> Hi, ever wear a trash bag? Uh, no, but I'm sure there's a character in this game that would. Honestly, it sounds like the kind of creepy shit some waifus might do in this. I mean, yeah, no, just look at them. They're just- they're all fucking crazy. Oh dear, but let's have a chat with you. Hello, Barry. Don't tell anyone I did some serious cannabis deals recently. Got me some crash. <laughs> I don't want you to do any more of them deals. Yeah, it sure is. It, sure, it's chill with me. That's it. I'm telling the commander. Nah, it's chill with me. Good. Yeah, just uh, just keep chilling and it'll all be chill. Getting some points for the ran for face. Let's do this. Let's keep talking to her. Get some more shit going. Hey. Hey, I have to ask you something. Do you like cannabis? Yeah, it's hell good, man. Smoking the weed is the shit. <laughs> nah, it's for losers, man. It's for losers. Weed. <laughs> weed. <laughs> right on, bitch. See you around. That's the that's the extent of the conversation. <laughs> oh. It not will you wear now. I I don't have any trash bags here. But if you've got any on hand, uh, feel free to wear it on on my account. You do that instead. Oh wow, she's always in here. That's good. Hey, when you help me on one of my missions, um, uh, you'll find whatever you do with me will be something really obscure. Once it was babysitting, then it was cleaning a pig pen. Sounds pretty insane, doesn't it? Yeah, well, gotta run. I'm off to increase my power. I think she's into power. Oh, and I've got to sleep now. Ah, no, I, I, have, I don't have 30 HP to talk to you, Lolly Chan. Just, just gotta get out of here. Shit, sleepy time. Oh, it's Saturday. All right, everyone has a day off on Saturday, so don't think that matters too much. So, no, she she just creeps me out the way she looks at me, although she might be waifu number two, maybe. Or maybe this one. I don't know. Should we go with lollies or should we go with uh, pink-haired bubblegum waifus next time? I don't know. I'm just locking in Ramfire for now because she's, uh, she's pretty poggers with the cannabis and all that. Hey, don't tell anyone I did some serious cannabis deals recently. Got me some crash. She already said that. It's fine with me. I want to level up our relationship, though, so we can go from playmates to, uh, you know, diddling under the table. Th those are the kind of friends I want now. I have to ask you something. Do you like cannabis? Yes. We are saying the same things here, though. I notice you've got a bit of a one-track mind here. Okay. okay. Do you think you can beat me at wrestling now? Uh, prepare yourself. I will destroy you. Then the words of a true opponent takes a swig of vodka. Let's rumble! Oh no! Oh no, I don't have a lot of health. That's alright, uh, I'll kick her in the shin. Ow! Angered punch down a go. Well, this is what you get for lying to me. Ah, uh, it hurts. Oh, go away, I don't have enough energy to talk to you, waifu-chan. Ah, uh, stop following me. Your tits are fine, but I can't, I can't deal with it right now. It's Sunday, it's 10am, let's talk to waifu some more. Uh, wherever the fuck that is. Yeah, there we go. All right, keep getting lost. Okay, I think she likes. I think she likes power. We should train for power. Hello. I smoked so much cannabis recently that I lit my face on fire. Smoking weed is so much fun. Agreed. Agreed. Weed is the shit, man. There we go. It's absolutely awesome. Fuck nuts. Weed. <laughs> and that's that's the that's how that conversation goes. Hey, Barry. When you help me on one of my missions, you'll find a babysitting, cleaning, pig baby. I know. Off to increase power. She's going to increase her power even more, and I'll be left behind in the dirt. Okay. Hey, don't tell anyone I did some serious. Yeah, I know. It's chill with me. We're at 135.3 points now. I still can't give her gifts yet. Hang on, I'm going to go to the med bay. Wherever it is. Is it in? No, that's the bridge. Northern corridor. Okay, boobies for days. Maintenance room, medical center. Here we go. I'm just gonna shoot up here. Your health is slightly revitalized, just slightly though. I'll have just enough to talk to Rand for one more time today. 
Uh, there we go. Hopefully we get somewhere with this. Okay. Hello. Have you been increasing your magic recently? Uh, yeah, it's pretty high now. Nah, it's fucking low. Oh, well, that makes it easy for me to kill you then. Oh, no, I've only got five HP too. Shit. Ow. That's bullshit. Don't you... Don't you ever want to beat me, or do you just want to get weaker? <laughs> this is not fair. All right, so uh, what does she like, I wonder? What stats does she like? Probably just, probably power and magic. I don't think she cares about my intellect at all. I'm fine with that. Become small Chad and magic Chad. Intelligence means nothing. Okay, let's go to the hologram room and train a bit here. There we go. Increase by four, increase by five, and just like that, I've used up all my energy for the day. I've got to go to bed. I should probably tr also work on my magic a bit, but right now, I'm going to focus on power. Yes, where am I at now? Um, Power's at 40. That's not too bad. I want to take on Ram for now. Oh, God. Ah, Jesus, that face. Ah, oh, my God. Ah. Oh, my God. Okay, Mint, you scared the shit out of me. Just don't... Just you punch her in the face. I can't. I need 20 HP to fight. My dick's gonna fall off. I don't wanna... Oh, my God. Oh, that's not a face you ever want to see. I kick it. Oh, no. Kick that face. Oh, God. Oh, that's... I'm gonna see that in my fucking nightmares tonight. Holy dick. That is horrifying. No. But no. Jesus Christ. I did not need that. I'm going to punch Ranfer in the face now. Oh, she's wearing a maid's outfit and she's doing stuff. Is she working? Is she working? I'm going to punch you. You're going to have an, a xylophone in you in a minute. We'll see about that. Kick her in the shin. Oh, yeah. 69. I love it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's headbutting me. That's not okay. Oh, keep attacking her. Yes, I'm winning. Ow, that headbutt can only take you so far, Ranfer. Fuck you. Victory. Hmm, you're not a bad fighter. All right, see, we kicked her ass, and that's probably what she likes. Um, oh, we can chat with her a bit as well, so might as well do that. Okay. I kicked your ass. Can we, can we make out now? <laughs> kicked her ass, I know, I'm so happy. I kicked her, I kicked her shin is what I did. I kicked her to death in the shin. Hey, Barry, do you think you can beat me at wrestling now? Uh, just fuck you. No, I will soon enough. Pushes you through a few walls. Hmm, seems you are still weak then. You keep at it. <laughs> ah, don't talk to me. This is like hard mode because she keeps kicking my ass. Oh, I don't have enough HP. Can I give her gifts? Uh, I don't want to accept anything yet. Fuck not. <laughs> Okay. Oh, you know what? I could go on a mission with her uh, tomorrow, so I guess I'll do that for some extra relationshipy points. So far, we're doing well. Do, 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 do. Um. Uh, Thursday. Yeah. Okay. I, I need to find her and then go on a mission. I, I just forgot how to go on a mission at first. Now I got to talk to her, don't I? No. No. You're an excellent waifu, but not now. Ugh, not now, please. Okay. Let's go on a mission. Hey, have you been increasing your power recently? Uh, yep, I've been getting stronger every day. I like people with heaps of power points. Having power really counts, you see. I guess she believed me, but uh, aren't we supposed to go on a mission and shit? Or is Thursday not her day? Let's go to the bridge. Uh, oh, Fri- Okay, so it swaps around. Okay, it's randomized. Okay, so Friday is going to be her mission then. Okay, alright. I didn't know they changed the schedule. Okay, that's all right. That's fine. I guess I'll just chat with you then. Hi, Barry. Do you think you can beat me at wrestling now? Uh, soon enough. <laughs> God, you suck. You just want to talk to me and get me get me killed while I'm, I'm so low in health. Hello. Hey, can I ask you something? Do you like cannabis? Fuck yeah. Weed every day. Yay, Ranford just became your good crony. You can buy her stuff now. Right on, bitch. Let's see you around. Okay. I can give her things now. This is good. This is good. Uh, sorry, Tits McGee. I've, I'm locking in Ranfer. I'm already regretting it. Lemon has four redeems. Oh my god, he totally does. 
I want the power of gear, but hey, how's it going? Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? I need to make that one louder. It's a bit quiet. Hi, how are you? Hi, hi. I gotta, I gotta hydrate. Now we gotta get some insults going. Well, hydrate first, then. Oh. And let's redeem some shit. I'm glad chat can see that other people have redeemed things, because I keep missing it all the time. Alright, insult me please. Um, uh, your face is a cabbage that was loved just a bit too much by a, a peasant in rural Jakarta. Haha! <laughs> there we go, that's the best I could do. <laughs> Enjoy it. Oh dear. Hi, how are you? I know, it's true. It's true. It's just all Spongebob all the day, that's what this has become. Okay, it's Friday. Oh, I gotta go to a mission. Uh, where's Ranfar at? Uh, I gotta go on a mission today. What mission will it be? Hello? Today I have a mission. Ah, okay, then you need to bring back for me the lost technology from the ancient planet's ruins. Oh, these slowly- these are slowly becoming more nonsensical, I know. That's why I love it. Okay, lost technology from the ancient planet's ruins. Okay, we've gotta go to the ancient planet and get some tech. Ah, go away, lolly. I'm not ready for you yet. Ancient Planet Tech. Okay. You pick up the lost technology. It was just on the ground. Okay, great. <laughs> Back to the station. That was good. Alright. And we are done, I think. There we go. Hello. Good work. That saves me having to get off my ass today. That gets you 50 points, too. Sure. I have to go now. I need to check my privates for ticks. Uh. Uh. What, mate? That's... You, uh, what? I, uh, oh, fuck! That's all, that's all I got to say to that. <laughs> uh, I might not want to put my dick in it after all. Uh, might not be a good idea. Uh, can we help? <laughs> I don't think I want to help, really. Let me get uh, Dr. House in. Uh, I could give her some vodka, though. Oh, what are you going to do with that there? Fort, what are you going to do with that? Don't want to know. Bye. Uh, I've got gifts for you. Uh, I've got vodka. Thanks. Oh, wow. That booster by 100 points, I think. We're close enough to it. Here we go. Let's see if we can give her another one of those. And boom. There we go. Thanks. Um, now, how do I make money? How do I, how do I make money in this game? Because I need to make some money. Uh, study room. Oh, God. Yeah, how do I make money in this game? I can't I got get a job going. There's the bridge, Southern Corridor. Um, oh, there's a secret here I missed. It's Midori. Hey, hi there, sexy. I think I come from the future, but I'm really from the past. I'm so fucking confused. <laughs> so that's a great trait for a waifu to have, honestly. I like it when they're confused. What's this here? Earn money by working. Okay. Ah, it's just no. Um, I want to go to the medical center. There we go. There's probably a secret in here. Yes, there is. There we go. Hey, it's Oscar. Best girl. Hey, I have been cloned from someone who lived in the past. I hope I can fuck something up. Bio. <laughs> I, I don't know anymore. Just give me a jab of happy juice so I can get a bit stronger. There we go. All right, let's get to work. Working maintenance. Oh, hi. Um, I want to get to work today. Can't you see I'm trying to work in here? I'm going to pour mercury into your eyes. Oh dear, oh she's got a gun, that's cheating. Just kick her in the shin! Ugh. There you go. Fuck her up. Oh, she missed, thank god. Alright, that's what you get for bringing a gun to a shin-kicking party. Ow! Okay, that one worked. Ugh, kick her ass! Oh, it's working, it's working. As long as oh, she's missing, I might win. There we go, shin-kick her in the boobies. Oh my god, Force just became your new playmate. You can now talk to her in her room. Okay, I must admit you show some skill, fuck nut. <laughs> I just want to go to work. Choose the job for today. Takes up 40 HP. Oh, repair ship power plus intelligence. Magic plus intelligence. Oh, I need some intellect. I've got plenty of power, though. I don't even have the HP for it. Can I? No, I probably can't. I better just go to bed. There we go. Let's catch some Zs, baby. Okay, it's Saturday. I'm gonna head to the bridge first. Ah, oh, it's Bubblegum Waifu. Oh, God, it's the other one. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Why is there a lolly on board the ship? Why are there multiple ones? Ranfra's still Friday, I think. I don't know. I don't know. This game's going a mile a minute. I don't know what to do anymore. Um, I gotta make some money to buy more gifts. Ship's archives. Ah! Uh, bye. Um, 
There's got to be some Rule 34 on these girls, surely. I don't- I've never seen Galaxy Angel, but there's got to be some Rule 34 on them. There must be. Come on now. There must be. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't check this room here. Anything here? No, alright. Northern Corridor. Okay, we'll see how much we can make, at least. Um, obviously I'm not gonna go magic, we've got power and intelligence. Repair ship. You've earned $57. That's not very much, but that's okay. There we go, I'll just earn a bit of money for today and then go to bed. Um, damn, there's so much grinding to do. I can't wait to play this again with cheats. <laughs> Everything will be fine once we get the cheats going. I'm gonna work out today. No, not today, pink waifu. I'm just gonna call her Princess Bubblegum because I can't pronounce her name. Let's get our intelligence up. Let's do that. Increase by four. Increase by three. Not bad, I still need to get a bit more intellect. Oh, you know what I didn't check? Let's see if there's any secrets in here. I don't think so. Oh yeah, how many secrets have I gotten? 22. Um, uh, I do wanna get all the secrets in one playthrough. So let me just check and see. Secrets. Okay, we've got sheets, but no secrets. I'll see if I can get some more going though. Hang on. Uh, Galaxy Angel Sim Date Secret. Oh, got secrets. Here we go. Where are the secrets? Let's have a look. Girls become white rectangle. Oh, those are cheats. Hang on. Locations, pink, grey, mug on the table in the kitchen. List of screen switch secrets. Oh, God. Okay. The angel room has one. Yeah, we got that one there. Fort's room has one. We got that. Hologram room, we got that. Kitchen, got that. Medical center, got that. Thingy, vanilla's room, your room. Uh, did I check my own room? I should probably check my own room. I'm heading that way anyway, so why not? Ah, God, wrong way. Sorry. Stop following me! Okay. Oh, yeah, it was the lamp, wasn't it? I got the lamp already. Uh, Ancient Planet Information Room. Ah, oh, fuck it. I guess I'll go exploring. Why the hell not? Let's go to space with my 2% HP. Not now. I've got to go on space adventures. The rest of planets. I, okay, let's go to Ancient Planet first, then. Okay, Ancient Planet Information Room. Outside building, building entrance. Oh, information room. Oh yeah, this one. Okay, I got that one already. Outside building as well. Enigma outside school. Town East. Hopefully this is a comprehensive list of secrets, otherwise I'm in trouble. Enigma area. Outside school and town east. Uh, Enigma. Okay. Uh, let's have a look. Town entrance. Uh, Town East. Dark Alley. Oh god, no. Uh, not seeing anything. Um, South Town. Main area. Town East. Oh uh, yeah, we've gotten this one already. Town East and also outside the school. Uh, yeah, okay, so we've got all these so far. How many six dollars? Maybe I should just count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Wait, I've got more than 20. I've got 22. Uh, so I've actually got more than what's listed here. Tamp, middle of fan and windmill, right eye, big teddy and thingy, big red ball moving window. Yeah, alright. It's probably not the most comprehensive list after all, then. Here we go. Uh, uh, secrets. I'm just going to get a couple of pages up just to see if there's anything a bit more comprehensive. Uh, that's not a full list, so I'll get rid of that. Um, and that's useless. Alright, right. Fantastic. Um, I'm just going to go with this, I guess. <laughs> Well, let's see if there's any uh, cheats we don't know of yet. Um, oh yeah, we're just gonna get them from uh, girls that we date anyway, so fuck it. Alright. Never mind. Uh, I don't know, have enough health for this, or time for that matter, as Sunday's nearly done. I'm just gonna go to bed. Or try to. There we go. Sleepy time. I need more money so that I can uh, buy more presents so I can make more money so I can... Oh, I have no idea what I'm doing anymore. Let's go to the bridge. 
Ranfer has some stuff to do on Tuesday, so all right, that's tomorrow. Oh, there she is. Uh, will I talk to her? Um, you know, what? I'll not bother. I'll just wait until I have more money for gifts. Let's get our intellect up a bit for a grand total of. 2743. My magic is bad, but that's okay. My intellect is pretty decent. My strength is also good. Okay, can't talk to waifus right now. I know. Sad face. All right, let's go to Ranfer and see what her mission is for today. If she pops up at all. Who the fuck are you? I love how everything here is just for training and shit. Okay. Hello. Can you go to the archives for me? It's my mission day today. Yeah, I suppose that will uh, kill some time. Type in the code 34DD and bring back whatever you find. 34DD. So that's like a brass size. 34DD. Where is the archives? Uh, 34DD. Okay. Enter archive code. There we are. You deposited your current item to get a student ID card. Huh. Shark tie. Is there a shark? Where's the shark at? I didn't see a shark. I mean, I like sharks, that's okay. <laughs> I like sharks, they're pretty good. Okay. Uh, wow, sharks. Wow. Wow. Alright, I just need to get this back to, to Ran for really, and we're good. Shark! Where was the shark? Did I, did I just miss a shark? Is that what I missed? Alright, good. I'm off to the pub. <laughs> okay, great. I can give you some gifts though. Oh, wait, I don't have any money. Uh, shit, alright. Can I- I've got 40% HP though, so I could probably go to work once. Wherever the fuck that is. Uh, ship bridge. Northern corridor. Here we go, let's go to work. There we go, it takes up 40 HP. Boom! You repaired the ship for $70. Let's see if I can buy some more of what uh, Ranfar likes. Uh, kitchen. Here we go, vodka for 60 bucks. How much do I have? I have 264, so yeah, okay. Let's just buy as much as we can get, actually, because I don't really need to buy anything else right now. We do not have enough money, but we've got four vodkas, so I'm happy with that. Let's just give them to Ran for now. Do, do, do. Who wants some um, sauce to get herself super drunk? Ran for does. Boom. Thanks. <laughs> buy weed. <laughs> I don't think you can. Maybe I can from Ran for, I don't know. What's this? Original song, Kelly It's a, it's a, the Kelly song. I feel like Gura doesn't do enough songs. She should do some more songs. Songs from sharks are great. Choose item to give. More. Get her sourced. That gets her excited. There we go. More of that. We are good cronies after all. There we go. Oh, she's getting excited. We're nearly at 700 with her. Here we go. Ta-da. All right, we're still just good cronies with her though, unfortunately. Alright, off to bed. Uh, tomorrow I need to work and buy more vodka so I can work and buy more vodka and work and buy more vodka. Uh, my brain just collapsed. Where do I go to work? Leave me alone. Northern Corridor. There we go. I uh, don't want to fight you though. There we go. Need all the health I can get so that I can get 70 bucks. There we go. There we go. That's not too bad. And then I could just go and buy more vodka, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a lovely little cycle I've gotten myself stuck into now. There we go, and that's, yep, that looks like I can work two times a day, get two vodkas, and then go see Ranfer and get her sourced for the day. It, it works out just fine, I guess. Eventually she's got to put out. There we go. More vodka for you, because you need to get nice and drunk. Here we go. Well, I'm pretty strong and reasonably smart now. There we go. I think once we get to a thousand, maybe we'll be become much closer friends. But let's go to bed now. Sleepy time. And back to work. Oh, there she is. I, we rarely see her outside of her room now, but hey. I don't know anything about this this anime at all. But Ranfa's pretty, pretty rad, so yeah. Does it have weed in it? Somehow I don't think so. Smoke weed every day. That's what we would do if we had the time. Which I guess technically we do. We have unlimited time on easy mode. Um, oh, I didn't buy anything. Ah, God, that face. No, stop it. This is a trap. This is a trap. Ah, no. I do not want to see that fucking, that fucking vanilla face. 
Or is she mint? I can't remember anymore. Oh, hello there, Lemon Stand. How are you doing? Uh, you joined us a great time. I'm uh, getting a Wi-Fi lick it up. What are you doing this Valentine's Day? If you Google come pumping out, pumping with uh, out moderation on Google, the fifth row of images will show a girl plowed by a real horse. This intrigues me, but I'm also kind of horrified to see what is there. <laughs> Choose the item to get. I'm going to get her sauce, though. After hearing that about the horse, I need a vodka. I need a vodka after that. Well, I mean, I'm going to have to look it, look it up now. Google come pumping. Okay, I'll do that. Google time. Let's see. Uh, I've got to get Google. Hang on, there we go. Google.com. Better not be lying to me, but I'll be very disappointed. There we go. Without moderation. Let's see. And then you type in... Oh, you got to images. Fifth row of images. Yeah, that's definitely a lot of that going on. Um, well, that is the weirdest shaped penis I think I've ever seen in my life. And then... Is that the horse? No, that's not it. You said fifth row. I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing any horses, though. Wait, here we go. That's that's is that a is that a doggo? That's not a horse. Uh, I don't know. Yep, that's a close-up of a dog dong pumping mummy's cum hole. Jesus H Christ. It's it's three. Sorry. <laughs> wait, what do you mean? I mean, I, I got something. I got something for my troubles there. I'll, I'll just settle for that, I think. <laughs> I'll just settle for that. And just uh, kill myself later. I'll do that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, do I have any... Wait, hang on. Do I have any... I do not have any vodka left. And she still won't put out. What's the deal? Can I talk to her one more time? Oh, I need 30 HP. Hang on. I'll go, I'll go to the med bay. Let's make the most of this day. Fuck Google. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I've got to go to the med plate. No, get out of the way. I've got to go to the medical center and pump myself full of happy juice. There we go. Just enough to talk to a wife -o. Here we go. Chat time. Hello. You should go to the planet Transvaal. I heard it's got some people that, re that really like to fight there. Oh, the contest. Hey, I'd be heaps impressed if you can beat one of them. Uh, beat one of them of them for me. They always kick the shit out of me. Sometimes they even go flying off the planet. Well, I've got some cannabis deals to do now, so I'll see you later. Yeah, see you, see you later. Fuck no. I don't think I'm ready for fighting contests, though. I'm pretty weak. But you know what? Fuck it. Let's go. Let's go to Transylvania or whatever it is. No. Get out of my way. I've got work to do. And by work, I mean I've got to kick the shit out of people on Transvaal. There it is. Okay, fighting contest. Let's go! Fighting contest. Unknown waifu thing. Welcome to the fighting contest of the Transvaal. I mean, all I wanted to see was some cream pies and now a horse. Oh, I got to see a doggo, which was surprisingly even worse, I think. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. My name is Mary. Please select what you want to do. Uh, explain what the fuck is going on. This is the contest for people who want to kick the absolute shit out of each other. I'm on board so far. Basically, it works exactly the same as when you normally fight someone, only a few rules apply. 1. You cannot exit a battle once it started. What's begun must be finished. 2. You must have a certain level of skill to go up against other experienced contenders. Number 3. To be able to fight in the harder contest, you must also complete the level or levels before it first. 4. You need full health to be up for the challenge. When you have beaten your opponent, you win a mystery prize. Okay, let's go! Um, I need 20 magic and 20 power to fight Creepy Doctor Man. Okay, sorry, don't have enough magic to face that challenge. God damn it. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna have to go back home and start, uh, working up on our magic skills a bit. I didn't think I would have to, but here we are. Okay, magic. Work on your magic. Increase by three. Increase by four. What are we at then? 24, yay! Okay, I can do it tomorrow. I can fight in that, uh, contest tomorrow, and I'm not gonna use my magic, of course. No, I can't talk to Ran for... Can't talk to anyone. Uh, that's all right. Question mark. Oh, that's just for talky again. Okay, uh, let's go to bed. I'll do some contest stuff. It's Saturday now. 
the ship, Doc. No, I don't want to talk to you, Mint. You look like you're underage, and you probably are. Oh, it's a toast card. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Oh, uh, where is it again? Transvaal. That's right. It's first place. Should be easy to see every time, honestly. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna fuck up Dr. Dr. Kill, Kill Face. Let's go. You've chosen con contest level one. Your opponent is the mad doctor. Get ready. Oh god, he's gonna go. He's gonna check my prostate. All right, here we go. Kick Shin. Glares in an evil way. Ow. Here we go. Shin kick. Fucking hell. We've so won this. He missed. Yes, here we go. Yeah. Fuck you, doctor. I'll kick you in the shin all day. Here we go. Kick him in the shin some more. Do it. Ah. Well done. Your prize is a mobile phone and $50. That's... I could make more money from working. Oh, well, I got a phone at least. Yay. It's a burner phone, hopefully, so I can start making some deals. In addition to winning, this center allows you to learn a new unique move. You learnt the move Thunder. Ooh, I've got Palpatine powers now. I might switch to... Uh, I might switch to... Hang on, let me check. Menu... I uh, don't know. Hang on. Help. Items uh, doesn't tell me anything about my skills, so I know I can use lightning though. Uh, that's probably that probably requires magic though, because it's lightning, and also possibly intellect. So I might have to learn some new things. Uh, Ranford, yeah, I already did her job on Tuesday. No more. Um, let's go shopping for things. Um, I should be able to buy at least one of these. I bought some vodka. Uh, Fifty-four dollars. How much does it cost? Sixty. Okay, if I work a bit. God, juggling things is so hard here. Uh, maintenance room. Let's get to work. There we go. Oh, I'm short one. Well, wait, no, I'm not short one HP. Here we go. Somehow I don't... I'm not short of it. Okay, that's good. Let's get some more vodka. Mint is actually older than Oscar. Oscar's 14, Mint is 16, 17. Oh my god, no, buddy. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. <laughs> Oh dear, that's lovely. That is just the loveliest thing. Let's go buy some vodka. <laughs> let's, let's celebrate with some vodka. No one here is underage. Well, technically, yes. Uh, same time, no. Uh, oh, I can afford one more vodka. Okay, I just gotta get my girlfriend lick it up. Everything will be fine. There we go. Except she's not in her room right now. Where are you at, Ranfer? Yay, Ranford just became your close ally, even though I didn't do anything. Oh, I guess I won the fight contest. You can now ask her out on dates. Well, shit, uh, I won't spend the vodka then. We'll just go on a date. Um, bye. I'll have to go tomorrow, though, because I'm absolutely fucking hammered here. Okay. Um, let's go on a date with our waifu thing. Here we go. She's our close ally now. Let's go on a date. Yeah, that sounds cool. Choose which date to go on. Oh god, I don't have enough money for a date! I'm broke as fuck! And it requires multiple days to go on. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Alright, hang on, we can't go on a date yet. I need to make some money. Yeah, it's fucking beautiful. Alright, let's make some money. Let's make some money and get some bitches. You know how it goes. You know how it be. You did it! You're dating Ranfor, I know, but we're not... We're, we haven't reached the, the, the optimum place with her just yet. I'm gonna have to make some more money, not not for vodka this time, but for uh, date potential, I guess. Now, I think I need to be at full HP to date a waifu, so what I'm gonna do is just shoot up for a while, and hopefully I'll get at 100% on a... Oh god, it's Nurse Mint! <laughs> what are you doing here? Get out of my way! <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm gonna put you in the oven at 480 degrees. Why? Oh god, she's gonna shoot me. Hang on, kill that waifu with thunder! Do it! Oh, I missed. <laughs> I missed. I'm so shit, I couldn't do it properly. Ow! Hang on. Hang on. Oh, I got this. Unlimited power. You should use this poison arrows. Oh, God. I keep missing with it. Fuck me. Just kick her in the shin. Yeah, Fuck her up. There we go. She's got 60 HP. Ow! Fuck. I'm just gonna go to sleep, I think. There we go. Fuck you! There we go. Oh, she's almost dead. If I can get an attack in. Oh, God. Down I go. She threw a costume at me. Hang on. I might still win this. Ah, lasers from eyes. You fight like a cunt. <laughs> Fuck you, Mint. Fuck you, Mint. I hate you. The game is mocking you. It's true. The game is mocking me. I, I just... Fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. This game, I hate it. All right, now we're going to go on a date. Fuck you. That sounds cool. Where are we going? Um... 
Let's go on a cheap date. Yeah, let's go to the beach. Oh, beach episode. Here we go. This is gonna be sweet. Compulsory beach episode. Yes! We did it, everybody. We did it. Oh, yeah. Fan service. I love it. This is great. Although, why is why are her hips so fucking narrow? Uh, she looks a bit strange, but at least boobers. Everything's gonna be okay. okay Let's chat with her. Beaches and shores, I know. Makes it even better. It's really good here, but I've had too much to drink. The fuck is my last name? Uh... Franboise. Oh, she's got a thing around her thigh as well. What is that? Uh, is it? Oh yeah, it is. Here we go. If you don't get me off by answering my question, I will hit you. What item I like the best? Uh... Vodka? Oh, it's not. Okay. Well, we fucked this up. This date's been really fun. Do you know what my favorite stats are? Power and magic? Yeah, all right. So, let's leave the date. <laughs> You're leaving? Really? No. Okay. Make out with her. No! How about- how about fuck you, cunt? How's about no, don't take a picture of me? Fuck you. You'll let, yeah, we fucked that up. To make dates more successful, we must increase your relationship points more than 120. Uh, what? 1,200? Wait, why? Why do I have to increase relationship points? And to remember to buy gifts before the date. Apparently, vodka isn't her favorite thing either. A magical anklet, but she's wearing it around her thigh. All right, I guess I'll just give her some vodka to get her uh, get her up to 1,200 uh, relationship points, I suppose. Thanks. Okay, we can get, we can get her quite a few things at least. God, it's getting warm here. It's 32 degrees! Oh, there she is. She's not looking very enthused, but maybe if I vodka her up a bit. There we go. Should have just enough vodka to get her by. Go. Oh, we've done we've done it. We've reached the threshold. Um, I'm gonna need how much money do I have? Uh just enough for one vodka. I'll I'll take it. There we go. Boom. Vodka time. I thought I thought for sure her favorite favorite thing would be vodka. I was I was disappointed. Wait, where am I going? Uh what was I going to do? Oh yeah, go to work, that's right. Get out of my way, waifu, that's not my girlfriend just yet. Here we go. I guess technically she is. Let's get some more money though, I need some more vodka. There we go. Also I need money to uh, actually go on dates in the first place, so yeah. Yeah, just, yeah. God, I hate my life. God, waifus are so difficult, this sucks. This sucks. I don't want to go on a date with anyone anymore, I just want to stay home. Why, why go on a date when you could wank for free, honestly? Fucking hell, let's go. Let's fucking go. Alright. Shit, 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 I'm so busy with my mission today. Can I help you with something? Yes, you can. Go to Area Enigma City and pick up an item for me. Area Enigma City. Oh god, we have to help her with her mission before we can go on a date. Uh, no! Space lolly, go away! Area Enigma. And go somewhere. I forgot where we're going. Oh god! It's Mac! I have been waiting ages to get this back. Keep it safe. It's a nondescript suitcase. Is that ticking I hear? <laughs> For fuck's sake. Alright. Oh god, that better be a waifu. That better be a waifu image or I'm gonna be very unhappy. Oh, here we go. Mint Bl Blanc Munch. Uh, 16 to 17. 21. Oh, thank god she grows up eventually. That's good. That's good. 21's legal. 123 centimeters, uh, hobby, candy tasting, and redacted. CV, Miyuki, Swish Hero, Emblem Flame, GA003, Trickmaster. Okay. <laughs> Okie dokie. Um, I've learned something about a waifu that I'm not going to even date in this game, so that's always good. Let's go see Ranfor and turn in our mission, I guess. Here we go. Uh, it's all done. Hi, thanks for getting that. It helps a lot. I gotta run now, boy. Now I don't have full health. I gotta go to the uh, med, med bay and get full health before I can go on a date. I swear to God, if mint shows up. I'll be very unhappy. There we go. All right, no mint this time. Everything's gonna be okay. Let's go on a date. Yeah, that sounds cool. Where do we go? The beach again, because fan service. Let's do it. Oh yeah. All right, let's chat. Hopefully, I remember a thing. This date's been really fun. Do you know what my favorite stats are? You like power and magic? Ass monkey. Ass monkey. If you don't get me off by answering my question, I'll hit you. What item do I like best? Uh, do you like a ring? Oh yeah, she likes rings. Okay, good. Let's see. It's really good here. I've had too much to drink. What's my last name? It's Framboy. 
Oh yeah, it is. Uh, let's give her gifts. Have some vodka. There we go. Thanks. Have another vodka. There we go. Now we just have to take a picture. Look at this photograph. Where is that? Fucking Chad Kroger. Where's he at? Where's he at today? Fucking Chad Kroger. I need it. <laughs> Thanks. And we're at 100%. Let's make out with her. We did it. I wonder if she likes guns. No, apparently not. She likes rings. Yay. We got a waifu thing. Everything's doing going great. Your date was successful. The beach. You gained 1,059 relationship points. That's pretty profitable. Done. Okay. Top stuff. Let's do it again soon. I'm going to need to buy some... I'm going to need to work. I need to make some more money. And I need to buy some more vodka. I use both my vodkas. This is ridiculous. Uh, how much money do I have, actually? 86. I still got some money. So let's just get one vodka for now. I just need two. And then the rest of it's just going to be like, let's go on dates and shit. Okay, I'm gonna work the rest of the day, so that I can buy some more vodka. Okay. Oh, fuck it, I'm gonna go to the med center and just bulk up a bit. Oh no, she's back! I would punch her in the face, but I'm kinda low on HP, hence why I'm here in the first place. Ah, she's back again. Uh, no, go away, I gotta work. There we go, just ignore her and don't say anything. Okay, um... That's a decent amount of money, which means I better buy some more vodka. I need s some money for the date as well. Uh, but I got a lot, so that doesn't matter. Um, ah, what are you doing in here? Did you make an octopus in here? What the fuck? Alright, I'm just gonna... Oh, no one interrupts me while I'm cooking. Fucking hell, you pissed me off now. Oh no, she's gonna shoot me. Hang on, I got this. Uh, kick her in the shin. Ow, throw a spoon. I hope I didn't hurt you. It was a spoon, so no, I'm fine. Okay, there's my vodka. Um, I'm gonna need some health and I'm gonna go on a date though, aren't I? So, let's go to Sleepy. Okay, we've also done a mission anyway, so we're good. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, where are we gonna go? Um, how much money do I have? Oh, I wish I could check. Uh, let's go to a restaurant. This is gonna be sweet! <laughs> Postal dude. Enters the chat. This is gonna be sweet. I am the law. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, let's have a chat with her. I've had too much to drink, last name. Uh, it's the same three questions every time. Once you've gotten it, you win, basically. Waifus are basically like this. Just say the same shit over and over again. They ask the same questions and you just have to give the right answers every time. Fantastic. Uh, gift time. Have a vodka. Have another vodka. We dated Jeff Goldblum. Well, we tried to earlier on today. There we go. Make out with the waifu face. This is the most success we've had all day, by the way. We've actually- at least we've actually gotten somewhere. As opposed to every other guy. well, I guess the- the rat- the rat, uh, date thing was pretty good. Yeah. We did- we- we, uh, yeah, what was the name of that game again? I've forgotten. The, uh... The Ratchula, that's right. Yeah, we did get uh, some rat pussy in the Ratchula, but that's about it. Restaurant date, a success. Top stuff, let's do it again. I think we should just stick to the cheaper dates. Because you don't make that much more from the more expensive dates, but still. Look at this graph. Oh, more videos. What are these? Yeah. Look at this photograph. Photo oh, it's going over and over again. Look at this photograph. Look at this It'd be, fun It'd be funny if it was higher pitched every time. Look at this photograph. Oh, that was a bad effect. <laughs> it's gotta be higher pitched. Look at this path. path. <laughs> Look at this path. <laughs> is it like Oh god. Uh. Look at this graph. Graph. I've got that. Look at this graph. <laughs> Didn't Super Seducer make a reference to the Ratchula? <gasps> did it? Giraffe. Look at this giraffe. If it if it did, I oh can uh, because we played it. I I have to know though. Look at this <laughs> Justin Fever. No love from Chad Kroger though. Uh. Look at this yeah. Look at this mouse! Ass! 
What's this say? Look at this ass! Ass! <laughs> it's Kim Kardashian. We mentioned her earlier on the stream as well. Look at this ass! That's the same thing. Somebody who makes me laugh. <laughs> somebody who makes me laugh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Uh, oh, it's gone too much. Oh, oh, oh. Every time I do, it makes me. Every time I do, it makes me. Oh dear, I've also got a random fact as well. I've got to do that. Um, I don't want to hear that sentence again. I didn't expect that. <laughs> oh dear. It's a pity we're done with Postal 2. That would have really come in handy for that. Oh, dearie me. And, oh, we got a fact here. Okay. Random Joe's fact, which has now been changed to just random facts, because it doesn't necessarily have to be about me anymore, because I think I've run out of facts about myself. Although, I think I will opt for a random Joe's fact today, and that is... What's gonna be the random Joe's fact for today? Oh, I know. My thumbs are so incredibly double jointed I can bend them uh, forward or backwards entirely in the same direction if that makes sense <laughs> like you know you can bend your thumb down forward like that well I can bend mine in the opposite direction uh, you can't even see it but still just just imagine it just imagine it just imagine it's like oh I can bend my thumb forwards down like that well I can bend it backwards it well as well and I'm surprised I have yet to actually use that to uh, to uh, do an insurance scam. Like, oh no, my thumb is broken. I, uh, this is the occupational health and safety of this place is dreadful. I'm going to sue you. Can you use it for Postal 4 when you get around to that? That's true. That's true. I can do that. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Oh shit, what was I doing? Now I've completely forgotten what I'm doing. Um, $62. Uh, um, what the fuck was I doing? I don't know what I was, uh, where I was going with this. What was I doing? I don't know. Where am I doing? Where am I doing? Uh, do, do, do. Oh. I've got 100% health. I'm guessing... Oh, hang on. I can check. Yeah, okay. I'm checking my, my items. Okay, yeah. I should go to work. There we go. I should go to work. Oh, God, no. I've got work to do. Go away. And you. Fuck off. There we go. Go and make some money so I can buy some vodka and get pictures. That's how that works. Yeah, how odd they jump from two to four, I know. I was thinking about that the other day, actually. I was reminded, oh yeah, like like Sega doesn't actually uh, uh, acknowledge the existence of Sonic 4 anymore. Because if you look at the, the Sonic Mania trailer, they've got the elevator that goes one, two, three, and Knuckles, and then it goes to Sonic Mania. So I don't even think Sega likes Sonic 4 anymore. And it just reminded me of, um, of yeah, the same thing with Running With Scissors' disdain for, for uh, Postal 3, of course. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just get a little bit more strength here. One more working day, why not? Hey, when all else fails and you're too tired to work, uh, just, just, just shoot up and get a little bit of extra energy in your day. There's, there's nothing wrong with that at all. All right, let's buy some vodka. Oh wait, I also need some. Uh, oh, she's gonna punch me though. Oh, go away. Shit, she's gonna be here all fucking day, isn't she? No, all right, she's gone. Okay, I need enough money for a date, so let's see, two, seven, 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 seven. I just need two vodkas though, don't I? There we go, and that leaves me with enough to go on a date, but I'll go on the cheaper dates, like I said, because it's a lot more cost effective. If only we could get Portal 3! I, I guess, they kind of finished it with Portal 2 though, didn't they? Uh, oh, I can't go on a date because I'm too tired. Uh, okay, apparently I can. Okay, fuck it, never mind then. Um, let's go to the theme park. This is gonna be sweet. <laughs> Too bad Valve seems to have an aversion to the number three, I know. Why are you wearing that at the theme park? I mean, I'm not complaining, but I mean, it seems a bit odd. This day's been really fun. Do you know what my favorite stats are? Power and magic. Is this just a dating attire? She didn't wear this at the restaurant, did she? There we go. Oh, we're a high enough level now where these questions are actually putting quite a dent in her happy area. There we go. Might even get away with just giving her one vodka one of these days. Yeah, we don't even really need photographs, but still, why not? Let's go. 
Oh dear. They're probably going to say, hey, you got uh, Half-Life 3. Yeah, we gave you a shitty VR game. You enjoy that. I was shocked to see Gabe at E3. Yeah, a thousand relationship points. Top stuff. We're still not ready to fuck her yet. I can't believe it. All right. Looks like I have to go to bed. Go to work. Get some more vodka. <laughs> no, go away, Lolly. I'm not ready for you yet. Okay. God damn it. I just need to work. Fuck off. There we go. Just a couple of rounds of work a day or to do. I know I could raise my stats, but what's the point? I don't think I really need to raise stats anymore. Okay. Where am I? Vodka ass. There we go. One vodka. Two vodka. I can't see anything anymore, vodka. There we go. Fantastic. Date. Go. Boom. Uh, any other cheap dates? I will just go to the beach all day. Why not? I thought he was afraid of the number three. <laughs> it's, but he went... You know what? He's working on his, on uh, conquering his fear. He went to E3 because he's like, Okay, if I can attend E3, then maybe I can make Half-Life 3. Alright. What's my last name? It's that stupid thing. There we go. What's... What's your next question? Favourite stats? Boom. And they don't shuffle the question answers either. It's just always in the same place. There we go. Have a vodka. Maybe I can get away with just one of them. I don't want to risk it this early on, though. There we go. Look at this photograph, and yay! All right. Waifu pantsu time. I mean, we're working on it. We are working on it. I'm shocked they just... that uh, they just portal on the Switch. Oh, they put portal on the Switch, have they? That's a bit odd. Okay. God, when are you going to get your pants off? This is ridiculous. Now I have to go to bed again. Okay. I mean, eventually she's going to warn us about a mission we have to do, right? Okay. God, why are you always in here? I got, I got work here too, you know. Okay, but at least this is, this is the grind now. This is officially the waifu grind. Make money, buy vodka. Maybe I can buy something cheaper. Let's see, vodka. Uh, we, well, we we can buy bananas or we can buy vodka. I mean, vodka. You know what? Let's fu fuck it. Let's get some bananas as well. Maybe we just have to plant the suggestion in her mind. I ascended that day. Live alive for a master. Which could be good. Oh, all right. I'll probably fuck it up though and just put it on Epic Game Store and then I have to wait a whole year before I can even play it. But oh well, that's fine, I guess. Date time. Let's go. Let's mix it up and go to the theme park again. She wears the same outfit anyway. What? Why'd you say no? I don't have enough money for this debt. Fuck you. How much money do I have? 46. Fuck. All right, hang on. Hang on. I can salvage this. I just need to go to the doctors. Get some of my uh, happy juice in. There we go. Yeah, we'll be fine. Gonna go to work. There we go. Get your money. Get your bitches. All right, fantastic. Not now, Mint. There we go. Go on date. Everything will be fine. Theme park time for you. Okay. Well, it's coming to the Switch. Mario Strikers is also returning. I didn't even play the first. The original Mario Strikers. That wasn't Mint. Oh, was that vanilla? Yeah, no. Mint. I'm so used to running into Mint in the corridors that, you know, it's just one of those things. If you don't get me, uh, get me off by answering my question. I mean, if, if only that's how it worked with waifus. Answer her questions correctly and she gets just a little bit more moist down there. Power and magic. And she likes that. Oh, that's her last name, so that is correct. Okay. Oh shit, I only have one vodka. I can get away with one vodka. Yeah, save more money. Oh, jeez. Come on, when am I going to get to be best girl's boyfriend already? This is ridiculous. We've had such bad luck today. There we go. Still not ready yet for yet for that yet. I don't know why. Uh, let's go to bed. Why does she only ask the same questions every time? Because programming for this game must have been a pain in the dick. <laughs> I assume that's the reason. Okay. Ooh. I know I could train my stats up to get, to make more money doing this, but why would I want to do that? <laughs> why would I want to do that? Let's go get some jabs of happy juice. I mean, this is the cycle we've gotten ourselves in now. Go. All good. Fantastic. All right. Let's head back. And how much money do we have in total? A reasonable amount. I do have to buy two vodkas, though, don't I? Is that enough for a date, though? 134. Yeah, that's enough for a date. We're good. 
We're good. We're fine. Okay. I only need one vodka anyway. I, I forgot about that. Yeah. I'm sick of going on dates with Ranfer. Why doesn't she just put out already? Okay. How old is Ranfer? Oh, probably above age, so I'm, I'm okay. She's got the boober, but I mean, that doesn't mean anything, does it really? Okay. Let's start chatting. I had too much to drink. Last name is Blit. And oh no, I fucked it up. That's alright. We can salvage it. Power and magic. Yeah. Let's get what item ring. Okay, uh, we might be able to salvage this date by giving her a couple of vodkas, maybe. Yes, I think we're alright. Look at this photograph. Yay. Plot twist. She's 12. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. One of these days, something like that is going to happen, and then, you know, you know what happens after that. Okay. We're still not ready to fuck her yet. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm going to have to go to bed now. Get out of the way, girl whose name I can't pronounce properly. It's turning into a grind. Waifus are just grinds. That's all they are. And then you grind onto them, and then that's the, the final grind, I suppose. Good times had by all. Um, Okay, get some of that juice into you so you can get one more working day in. There we go. One more working session. There we go, and that should be enough money to then... Oh god, I died. No, go away. Okay, buy some more vodka. Oh yeah, I've got bananas too. I didn't even use the bananas. Okay, but I should though. Let's go on a date. Uh, go in the park again. Fuck it, just go back in, back in time. Oh, here's... Uh, Here's Ranfer's little info card. Here we go. Let's see. Female, thank God. Uh, uh, 18 to 19 and then 23. Ambassador, fighting skills. Yeah, she's good at that. Alignment good, status alive, kung fu fighter. All right. So basically best girl all the time, that's good. Okay, that's about all we need to know about her, really. Just, you know, boobies and all that other good stuff. Okay. I don't think I'll bother with a, uh, with a, uh, a cheat run after all, since we're a bit low on time, aren't we? Oh, that's alright. We can do another playthrough at some other point in time, I suppose. Okay. Which I'm all like best. I, I've never seen a... I, I think... One of these planets, I think, has a ring on it, but I don't... I don't need one, do I, really? I don't need to give her a ring, I can just, you know, keep throwing vodka at her face. Power and magic. Let's let's throw the bananas. There we go. Shit, that was effective. Bananas are more effective than vodka, I think, maybe. Oh boy. I think bananas are giving her a banana is slightly more effective than a bottle of vodka. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Okay, maybe if we get this to 10,000, so maybe one more date is all we'll need. Okay. God, I hate the waifu grind. It's the worst one. Okay. Get out of the way, I gotta go work. Don't you dare bother me while I'm at work either. Okay. Oh god, this game is exhausting. Okay, now I just gotta stop following me. I gotta juice up. Gotta juice up so I can do more work. I wonder if there's anyone out there that does actually do this. It's like, oh, I've got to work more hours, I better juice up for it, so I've got the energy. If you do this game again, do vanilla Chris Hansen appears. Yes, Chris Hansen version. That's the Chris Hansen edition, I totally should do that. With cheats on, so it's like super easy lolly mode. Okay, I'm finding the bananas are a bit more effective actually, so... Just buy one of them. There we go, and then you can save money that way. Okay. Let's go. I could kick her ass. Oh! I, oh, she's got a job today. Why don't you take a seat? <laughs> sure, what do you have to find? Uh, it's a piece of ancient movie film. Bring it here once I really appreciate it. Uh, but where do I have to get it, though? Maybe I should ask her again. What the fuck? You haven't done anything yet. Bring the film back here when you find it from the ancient planet. Okay, ancient planet film. Thankfully, she said it again. You cannot travel to other planets at night, 6 p.m. to... Ah, oh, fuck off. The ships at this time go under repair. Fuck's sake, I didn't know that. All right, let's take a snooze. Okay. Oh, well, shit. Uh, then we can't do the job, then. Fuck you. All right, let's go on a date. Okay, we skipped out on that. That's fine. Hey, at least I didn't have to do a stupid task for her. Okay. 
Damn it, her task was- it was too late to do her task. It's probably because I took uh, too many shots, which takes time for some reason. Okay. Boom, and then fuck you. You like rings. I do have a phone as well if you really want it. Okay. Give her the gift of bananas. There we go. Look at this Kroger graph. Done. Please tell me we are done for real, though. I think you only have to do, like, one more task for her when she's your GF. And then everything will be okay. At least they better be. Yes! Ramford just became your liaison. Talk to her to find out what she wants. Okay. Top stuff. Let's do it again soon. Okay, we need to ask her some things, though. Okay. Hello. I think you've been a bunch of fun, Barry. Bunch of fun? Anyway, the last thing I'd like you to do for me is give you acceptance on this ship is to- Oh? Give you acceptance is to beat everyone at the contest of Transvale. Oh no. Looks like I'm training for the rest of the day. Okay, not now. I've got to work on my stuff. Uh, magic. And power is all that matters, so here we go. Oh god, it's Ranfer. Go away. I'm working on strength so I can beat people. Um, actually, yeah, I should check and see how much I need minimum. The minimum seems to be all I really need as well, so let's go to Transval and let's have a look. Welcome to the fighting contest. Start the fight. Okay, so we need... Let's just take it all the way up to 50 power and 50 magic. Let's just do that. Might take a while, but... Uh, there we go. You need full HP as well. So, let's take it to at least 50 and see what happens. Okay, power is nearly there anyway, so fuck it. We're half, half of the way there. I know Vanilla wants things. What do you want? Okay, I'm gonna take a nap. I'm gonna make sure my power is where it should be. Um, and then... Increase by three. Okay, there's that. 53 power. Okay, now the rest is just magic from here on out. Alright, off to bed. I'm not gonna bother wasting time uh, injecting myself with happy juice. That's not a good use of your time. Let's get that magic up. Okay, nine magic today. That's not too bad. Magic 37. We're nearly there. It's not quite taking as long as I thought it would be, so that's good. Oh god, boobies. Not ready for boobies now. Yeah, only three. Holy shit. Four. Uh, not items. Okay, 44. Okay, I think one more day should be... Should be enough. Should be. I guess we'll find out. Do, 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 do. Ah, God, that face every time. Fucking wrecks me. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, jeez. There we go. That should be enough. 53. Yeah, well, 53 across the board for power and magic. At least we'll be able to easily beat our next opponent. Not sure about the last lady, but we'll see how we go. Right, let's go to Transvaal and kick some fucking ass. The mint jump scares, I know. They're the worst every time. Okay, welcome to the fighting contest. What do we do? Let's fuck some shit up. Here we go. You've chosen contest level two. Your opponent is Kokomo. Get ready. I'll fuck you up, Kokomo. Kick you in the shin. Ow! She threw a steel plate, or he, rather. That could be a flat waifu. I don't know. Okay, we're a bit OP for Kokomo, though, so here we go. Ow, don't zap me. That's not fair. This is a child. I know. I know. I feel a bit bad about this. That's a lie. Oh, God, I missed. Uh, oh, we could still lose this. Oh, uh, okay. Child missed too. It's all right. Yes, fuck him up. Three. Throw a steel plate. I'm still winning this. Fuck you. I'm going to try and get some thunder in. Yes, unlimited power. Wow, your prize is a watch and $150. In addition to winning this, uh, this center allows you to learn a new, a unique move. You learn the move Psy Wave. Oh, cool. I can be like an Alakazam and shit. I'm gonna go home and uh, get some more contests going. Oh, well, I can talk to you once. Hey, I think you've been a bunch of fun. But we've got to beat everyone at Transvaal, though, so, all right. Got to impress the waifu by kicking ass, I guess. I think every girl has her own special thing that you have to do before she'll... She'll jump on your phallus. This is- you've just murdered a child. <laughs> I have, and now I'm gonna murder this waifu as well. Okay. Let us begin. I will fight you. For the final level, you will be up against me. I don't go easy, however. Prepare yourself. Here we go. Let's give her a sigh wave. Ow! She stabbed my face! You sigh wave. 
He's got a lot of health, though. Ooh, hey, that's pretty effective. Oh, God, I missed. Well, that's the end of me, I think. Oh, back kicks your face. I might have to strengthen myself a bit more. Sigh wave. Brett. There we go. If she misses a bunch of times, it might be all right. Oh, God, no. Okay, she, she, we're still in this. Ah, scratch his face. Too bad. Better luck next time. Fuck, I need to become even more powerful, I think. Jesus Christ. And I'm just dead. No, go away. I'm dying. Fuck off. There we go. I'm going to train just a bit more, I think. One of each. There we go. Increase that power. Increase that magic. Go to bed. Rinse and repeat. Oh, God, Ranfer. Shouldn't have picked you, honestly. You're a difficult lady to impress, my God. All right. She's training, too. I don't know what for. Okay. Bed time. Okay. I think I might be ready now. Ranfer looks a bit tired. That's good. She's lethargic. I can just uh, avoid her. Okay, let's go. I'm a little bit stronger now. I have 63 power and 61 magic. So I like my chances here. I am now even further beyond you. Fuck you, Mary. Okay. Let's fuck Mary up. Let's do this. Ah, back kicks the face. Training for, for your uh, private one-on-one -on -one lesson with her. I know. I know, we're trying- Oh, I'm doing more damage than she is. And if I can get these initiatives in... Oh, yes, here we go. Minus 78. Minus 30. I mean, I'm doing more damage to her than she is to me. But she has more, more health, so I have to take that into account. Throws a mirror! Oh, God. Sigh wave. It doesn't miss for some reason. Yes! I congratulate you on beating me. I hereby award you a special ring and $1,000. Oh, that's how you get rings. I get it now. I get it now. We did it, though. It's victory. It's victory for us. <laughs> Fuck you. I love it. Fuck you. Okay. In addition to winning, this center allows you to learn a unique move. You learn Slash. I probably won't ever use it. All right. Can't talk to Rand for, though, because I'm too tired. Let's go to bed first. There we go. Oh, no. Let's go to bed first. There we go. Don't know how many uh, lives this is. Uh, how many days we've taken at this point. Hello. You know what you'll get if you don't take me on a date? Snakes in my bed, a slap on the wrist, an angel base will get blown up. Snakes in my bed? Yep, so you better take me on one date. I guess I can do that. I've got lots of money now. I'm drowning in cash after all the fights. Okay, let's go on a big date. Let's go on the city date. This is going to be sweet. Yay, I can afford the most expensive date. Here we go. Let's have a chat with her. Okay, it's a stupid last name she can't remember. There we go. Oh, boys, we in. We in. There we go. I've got a ring. I might as well just give her the ring, really, shouldn't I? I'll give you the ring, all right. Here we go. Give her the ring. Wow, thanks a lot. Wow. <laughs> thanks a lot. Wow. Where's wow? Wow. Wow. All right, and I'll give you one vodka. That's all you're getting. I don't even need to take your Kroger graph, but I will anyway. Wow. Also take a Kroger graph. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Wow. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Oh, let's just make out with her. Yay! It's my brand new ability, making out Carter. It's great. It's a fantastic technique. <laughs> or so I've been told. Okay. There we go. Whoa! 4,135 relationship points. Top stuff. Let's do it again. And we're not done with you yet? Hi, Barry. You know what you'll get if you don't take me on a date? I still have to... I have to go take her out on more dates? How much money do I have? Oh, shit. I've got a lot of money, actually. We, yeah, we can go on dates. Yeah. Let's go on dates. And No, don't go. I was going to take you on a date. Come back. Come back, waifu. I thought that was the last one. Come back here. All right, here we go. Let's uh, go on a regular date, then. We'll go to the ancient ruins. Fairly expensive, but it's okay. It's not over yet, apparently. I wish it was. Let's have a chat. This date's been really fun. Do you know what my favorite stats are? Power and magic. At least she's wearing clothes today. There we go. At least I know all of her shit at this point. There we go. Do you want a gift? I, I can give you something. Uh, what about a phone? There we go. Take a picture graph. There we go. Oh, boy. How many more dates do I have to go on here? This is ridiculous. She should have put out on the second one, or the third one, honestly. That's how most of my dates go. 
Oh boy, 2,122 relationship points. Still not got her wet yet. I can't believe it. Come on, she is not impressed with this at all. Okay, let's go on a uh, forest planet date. This is gonna be sweet. <laughs> I am the law. Okay, I might as well make money with fighting because that's like the, the most lucrative actually. What's my last name? I can't remember anymore. I'm too drunk. I'm too think to drunk. Oh, Jesus Christ. Here we go. Boom. And then give her the gift of a watch. There we go. It's been up someone's ass. Maybe up a chicken's ass. I don't know. Ugh. Why would she wear that in the forest? I know it's a good way to get something bad. Maybe she's just had all of her shots. This is the future after all, I guess. Do, 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 do. Oh God, she's still not done yet. Do I really have to get her like 20,000 or something? All right, I, I, I guess I better do some more fighting then. Uh, which means I am going to have to go to sleep first. Uh, no, this is not bed. This is uh, uh, praying for waifu's area. No, oh God, no. The lollies are coming out in force. Okay. Um, do, do, do. I'm going to need to do some fighting. I'm just going to take on Mary again. I think we can take Mary. Sure, why not? We did it once. We can do it again. Oh, shit. It's all right. Eh. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Here we go. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Sorry. Slash. Let's try slash out. Ow! Stop punching my face. Okay. Oh, I missed. That's not good. That is not good. You hate to see it. Let's slash again. Sword swish. There we go. Sword slash. Too bad. Better luck next time. What the fuck are you talking about? Did the slash kill me or what? That's bullshit. Just... I... Fuck you. You piece of shit. Just fuck you. I can't believe that happened. What the hell was that? What the fucking hell was that? Where's my fuck you? Where's my fuck you? I'm gonna need it. Where's my fuck you? Fuck you! Jesus Christ. You get another one. Fuck you. Fuck you! Oh dear. That could... That could have gone better. Um, I'm gonna use my Psy Wave from here on out. That's what I used last time and it worked pretty well. Psy Wave. It's Psy Wave time. I'm gonna fuck you up this time. Ooh. There we go. Alright, Mary, I'm gonna fuck you up. Psy Wave for days. Seems to be pretty effective, actually. Ah! 78. And that does 30. So yeah, as long as I just keep... Using the side wave. Apparently, side wave doesn't miss. There we go. That's maybe it's got a low ev uh, evasion rate for the enemy. Here we go. Oh, she's still punching me. Nice side wave to finish you off, though. Fuck you. Bleh! I got a thousand dollars for that too, so I'm actually pretty happy with that. Which means I should be able to take her on like multiple dates that that are expensive. Oh god. Let's hope it's nearly over. I'll just get some bananas here as well. Why not? How much money do I have? Just a fuck ton. That's great. Okay, let's go! Let's go. We're gonna go on an expensive city date because it get, yields the most experience. Really superficial like that. I mean, this is the best place to go on a date, apparently. Right here in the middle of the fucking road. Okay. I'm always in the same place every time. See, it's the, it's the two top answers now. I'm not even looking at the questions or anything. There we go. Certainly not looking at the answers either. Um, bananas, photomograph. Phew, well, at least the dates are easy now. Oh, it's past snacky time. I want to eat my LCM. There we go. Kiss that waifu face. Suck it off. 4001. Yes! Ranford just became your super amazing life partner, aka slave. Yay! We've got a slave waifu. Top stuff. Let's do it again. Here we go. Oh, I don't have enough HP to talk to Ran for... Okay, um... Yeah, I'll just go to bed, really. There we go. Let's hope she's not working today. If she's got a mission today, I'm gonna be pissed off. Here we go. Oh, she's not here at all, though. Where's Waifu at? She's my slave. She's supposed to be with me all the time, isn't she? Here we go. Hey, I just heard from the captain that you've been accepted onto the ship. Let's celebrate. I want to wear my bikini now at some kind of inappropriate place like an observatory. Here we are. That was so quick how we got here without any means of transport. Anyway, you had it easy to get on the ship with infinite time. Next time, give yourself a time limit and standard, and you'll also get a cheat. Click to see results. 
Results? Ran for. <laughs> you did it. You did a thing. Oh, I can't believe we did it. Finally. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can I get some applause for that? That would be great. Here we go. Okay, we finally beat the game. We got a waifu. Everything's good. Wow. Wow. It only took us 129 days. Well, here's our stats in the end. Intelligence 27, power 67, magic 63, HP 110, money 866, secrets 22, dates 13, missions 4, relationship points 22,180.4, total score is 237,034. There we go. Thanks for playing. To watch the end credits, copy the cheat code. Fuck the credits. <laughs> How ironic. Copy that. Oh, but it's gonna play it anyway. Yay! There's a wife. I don't, I don't remember seeing her before. Or that one. Don't remember any of these. Oh god, they're singing it! They're singing the tune! <laughs> they're singing the fucking song. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, dear. This is, this is fucking insane. I love it. <laughs> oh, god. <laughs> I love shopping. There'll always be new stuff to buy for waifus. <laughs> oh god, copyright infringement, here we come. Hey, it's it's Princess Bubblegum in her skivvies, I love it. Hey! It's old slutty McFuckstick, whatever her name is. Oh dear. Some of the- oh my god, it's Masato from Neon Genesis. I don't remember seeing her at all. Oh, I think the Ava code maybe adds them in. Probably missed some secrets, though. I, I, I don't know. I got 22. I remember I got 22. I don't know. I think these characters are randomized as well every time you watch the credits. So that's kind of cool. You can randomize these credits every single time. And they have it. It's Galaxy Angel Sim Date RPG. It's a thing. Oh my god. It really is a thing. And we did it. Why didn't she use her spike club on me ever? Well, I'd be cheating, I guess. So, there you have it. Uh, Galaxy Angels Sim Date RPG by uh, So Cube Dink and Metal Animation. It's a thing that exists, and I am super duper glad that it does. I mean, you know, what can I say? That was just some crazy fun times. It's, just, it's great. Oh boy, where's my music? Oh wait, I got, it's, it's snacky time, isn't it? I'm going to switch the chats over now because I don't think I need 4x3 chat anymore. It is time for snacky time, let's do it. Yay, it's LCM time, thank god. Thank god I'm dying in here. I haven't eaten anything today. Oh wait, didn't I eat something this morning? I did, I had some cucumber sandwiches and a muffin that I made myself. Not the muffin though. I didn't make the muffin myself. <laughs> oh, God. Opening this pack is gonna be hard in this fucking heat. No. Yay! Chocolate chip marshmallowy goodness with Rice Krispies. Oh, so good. Oh, my God. You got this, I know. Oh, I'll down it, don't you worry about that. I will demolish this fucking thing. I'm starving. So yeah, apparently, um, I'm glad we got Super Seducer 1 and 2 done before all the games got shit canned on Steam. I mean, uh, not Steam, uh, well, yes, yeah, Steam, but also, uh, Twitch. I don't even think you play the first two games anymore. And the, the uh, even the censored, uh, third game is not enough, I don't think. Well, this is bullshit. That's some bullshit right there. I feel bad for Richard, but that's okay. The important thing is we got the trilogy done. He got the trilogy done. And that's all that matters. I just wish horror... Horror Seducer was a... was a thing. But alas, no Horror Seducer for us. He has had to cancel. I wish I could, um... I wish I could find a way, I wish we could find a way, collectively, to, uh, convince him to resurrect the idea. At least Richard didn't bow to Epic. Um, uh, maybe he did, he, he could have possibly gone to Epic and they just said no anyway. 
so I don't know the story there. Only one store I can think of. Let me look into that, actually. Oh, that's fine water. Twitch mods got offended, the advice didn't work. <laughs> Twitch mods got offended, the advice didn't work for them. Bloody simps. Um, let me look into that. I'm sure it's on PC Game Wiki. PC Gaming Wiki. Snooper Seducer. Super Seducer 3. Here we are. Um, Super Seducer 3. Well, first I want to have a look at the second one and see. They came out in the same year, 1 and 2. Oh yeah, that explains why when I got to got to the first game, I'm like, what? There's already a second one. Um, I'm just looking for the storefronts. Yeah, it's it's still on Steam. Green Man Gaming, Humble Store, Steam, and uh, Game Games Planet. But what about the third game, which is definitely not on Steam? Well, that's a Games Planet exclusive still. No DRM at least. Good on you, Games Planet, for being okay with selling Super Seducer 3. Fucking legends. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bloody legends. I'm glad they actually did it. Oh dear. But hey, guess what, everybody? It's that time again for the Gib Shopping Network. Now, I know it didn't work out too well last week, um, but I had a word from me in the future, and... Um, you yeah, know, he's, um, I've had some words with him, and, um, I think he's learned his lesson. It's time for the Gibbs Shopping Network to come back. I mean, we're just swimming in brand new products. Basically, I just got a whole bunch of junk on my, uh, in the warehouse now. And, uh, yeah, so, me from the past, can you do everyone a favour and sell some people some of that shit, please? That would be great. Oh, whatever, me. Today on the newly restocked Gibbs Shopping Network, we have something great for those of you out there that need some practice for the big day you finally stop being a lonely hack. Check out the preposterously practical My First Kiss Practice Lips. Your kissing tutor Brent is here to assist you with learning the art of making out with his oh-so-soft latex lips. Don't be shy, the exciting of love is in your hands to do with as you see fit. It is the whole face, we swear, so you need never fret that you are getting the full experience. And for only 13 balls of cotton wool, you can train yourself at home or amidst a horrified public too. Now you can will be pro at pashing with your own My First Kiss practice lips. Teeth, tongue and dignity not included. Back to you, me! Oh, uh, thanks very much, me, and, uh, yep, it's good to see we're starting with a fantastic and, uh, theme-appropriate, uh, products. My First Kiss practice lips. Ah, that's, uh, uh it's, uh, yeah, alright. I'm sure someone would enjoy that. <laughs> Fucking hell. Alright, yep, so, uh, buy it, or don't, I don't know, it's, it's a thing you can buy. Uh, now back to our regularly scheduled programming with more Valentine's Day Stream 2022. It's, it's a thing! Oh, goodness gracious me, let's get some musics going, of course, here we go. Alrighty, we are back once again. With more Valentine's Day Stream 2022, we're pretty much at the halfway point. Maybe a little bit over, yeah, by about 25 minutes or so. But that's okay. That's okay. We've still got plenty of stuff left to do. Let me get my list up and see what's next. Oh my god, it's Giraffe Town. Now, this is a game that's made by the, the uh, lovely folk who brought us Potato Thriller. Do you remember that one? Do you remember Potato Thriller? I can't even remember, like, what that... Hang on, what that quote was. Was it quote... 98? Knockout. Yeah. <laughs> Potato Man wins by Potato Man. You remember that one? 18 10 2020. Remember that one? I remember that one. It was it was painful. Oh dear. Live a life character trailer. I've I've already seen that, I think. I think I've already seen that. So alright, let's get into this. Uh Giraffe Town. Um ma yep, made by the same guy who made Potato Thriller. It's a romantic story about a clumsy giraffe, apparently. So let's let's dive right in. Why not? Let's dive right on in and see what the fuck we're getting ourselves into. Snow Cone Solid Productions presents. Waiting for it to pop up on the stream, though. There it is. All right. Same Khatib, who was behind. Yeah, I, I recognise the little plushy guy. That was, it was like an inflatable guy in Potato Man's bedroom, wasn't he? That little thing. Warning, this game contains bright flashing lights and imagery which may not be suitable for everyone. Yay! Alright, epileptic seizures, ahoy! I'm gonna enjoy this. Oh dear. 
Oh dear, my poor brain's not going to be able to handle it. There was something in my TV. A door to another world. Uh. Oh, it's reading it out. That's unnerving. Oh, oh uh, there you go. <laughs> the game's uh, begun. A same Katib game, Giraffe Town. Okay. Game audio might be a bit loud, so I'll just I'll just uh, deal with that. Here we go. Pop that down a bit. Are you winning, son? Oh, I don't think anyone's winning today, Floppy Bacon. I don't think anyone is. But welcome to Giraffe Town. Now, see, now everyone wins. That's flat out an Animal Crossing character model. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. I'm frightened. Starting a new game all over it. Yeah, that's fine. We've never played this before. And so begins Giraffe Town. Now, look, we've played Potato Thriller. I... I know what I'm getting myself into. But then again, at the same time, I don't. I just... I'm, I'm a bit worried. <laughs> oh, dear. See, you don't win a game like this, Floppy. You don't win... A, you don't win a game like this. You play a game like this, everyone loses. Everyone just loses. Oh, God. Am I supposed to be doing something? Oh. Oh, God. Yep, that's expected. Yeah, so far this is par for the course for Potato Thriller's developer. This is all this is all normal so far. <laughs> We've got oh, silly animal hats. Yep, that's everything's fine. Who is that? And why are they looking at a fence? Reading a a love for oh, it's it's on it's reversed on the back of it though. Look at that, e evil. My name is Giraffe. Look at that film grain, though. Holy shit. I was born with slippery feet. <laughs> oh, okay. I see where this is going. Excuse me, mister. Hey, mister. Oh. Huh? Uh -huh. So I play as a boy giraffe, then. He looks like he's... He looks like he's just had it. Who said that? But presumably the kid facing the fence. Over here, behind you. The one not looking in your general direction. <laughs> what is this? Uh, uh, yeah, I'll bite. This game looks like it's wonderfully horrible. I'll take it. What do you want, kid? Uh, I'm trying to do the intro for the game here, and I oh, can't stand up straight. Intro? For the game? Yeah, you know, like, give some backstory about my character, and try and stand up with that fool, and... Huh? Never mind. Why are you looking at the fence? Can you just get out of here? You're in the shot. Uh. Can you please help me with something, mister? It's kind of unnerving how good the animations are. <laughs> okay, fine. Make it quick. Oh. Can you get my ball for me? Uh. I kicked it all the way over there. Got his dick stuck in the fence. Yeah, we should probably be nice to the kid. I mean, he's obviously got his... He's got something stuck. Oh, I kicked it all the way over there. All right. Um, I'm too afraid to get it myself. I'm afraid to get it. Why? Where are we? We're in this sort of like, empty void. What does this have to do with Valentine's Day? I don't know, but we're going to find out. Why are you even out here at the park this late at night? It's just I, I, I saw the, the games. I was going to do this for crap game stream. Wait, this is a park? But I read in the dis game's description, it's a, it's a giraffe trying to find love. And why are you standing over there looking at the fence? Turn around and face me! Ugh. Um, no thanks, I'm fine like this. He's just gonna have a gaping hole for a, ma for a face, isn't he? Alright kid, you're being very rude. If you want me to get your ball, turn around and talk to me. Oh, turn around and do a screamer. Okay, okay, sheesh. Not quite as terrifying as I expected. Ah! <laughs> Where the hell is your face? Oh god. Oh fuck. Well, um, well. Uh, I'm not really an important character in the game, you see. So my face wasn't designed. This is really just a tutorial level. Oh fuck! <laughs> what? It's a love story. Rude giraffe. Rude. Just go get my ball. Okay. I guess I'll do that. Anything to just get out of this nightmare situation we've got ourselves into. And so the game begins proper, I think. Oh yeah, totally does. Gently push the analog stick forward to carefully move your feet. 
I'm using a mouse and keyboard though, so that ain't happening. Oh my god! Just gotta wait over here while you get my ball. Can I hold a button and- ah! I- I don't exist anymore. Okay, there we go. Okay, I guess I have to tap it ever so slightly. Yeah, that's kind of working. I got slippery feet. Oh, all right, you can do this. No big deal. No big deal. Just don't push the the movement button for any extended period of time, and you'll be fine. Easy, easy. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. Easy does it. I got slippery feet. Slow and steady now. There's no jumping in this game. Almost there. Oh ha ha ha! Take soccer ball. Yes. Okay, now I have to carry it with me. <laughs> he died. He fell into the abyss. Where he belongs. I mean, he's obviously a very, very butter, butter-footed giraffe here. Oh, doing fine. Ah, oh, come on! Super giraffe ball. It, it kind of is that. Oh, thank God for checkpoints. Game's gonna give me checkpoints. Ah! <laughs> All right. Are we gonna get a potato head cameo? That would be the best thing, by the way. I want some cameos. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I was gonna see if I could just rush it. Let's see if I can just rush through it. If I can. Oh, okay, no. <laughs> Speaking of no jumping, I started playing Metal Gear Solid 2. There's no jumping in that game. No jumping allowed at all. Oh, but you can get your grip strength up. Oh. Uh, uh, oh, I've got a slippy slidiness. Shit! So far, so good. Uh, easy does it. Easy does it. I've got slippy feet. Okay. Oh, last mad dash. We did it. I knew I could do it. Oh god, it's gonna be more of that, isn't it? Hey kid, I got you. Whoa! What the fuck is happening now? Whoa! What the fuck? Oh fuck! Oh fuck! <laughs> My ball! Oh, fuck you, you lost it. Oh, fuck. Oh, dear. Oh, it's time to stop. It's time to stop. Holy <laughs> shit. Oh, there it goes. It's gone forever now. Oh, that's a disappointment, isn't it? That's a disappointment situation there. <laughs> Will you hate me forever now, child? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, God. No, he's he's, he's not going to be very happy at all. Um, yeah. Way to go, jackass. It wasn't my fault. I got slippy feet. And possibly slippy hands as well. Oh, no. I, I are sad now. I is the sadness. Oh. I is to sad giraffe. Oh my god, I really am. Poor giraffe. No one was his friends. Oh my god, it's just started. Snow Cone Solid Productions presents a game that's not the potato thriller. Did you get the Jackass PS2 game I linked to you? I did not, but that would be a good thing to try, I think. I, d I didn't even know there was a game, honestly. Is it any good? Oh. Oh, what's with the road with multiple giraffe heads? There are giraffes in Animal Crossing, so I'm guessing this is like the, the an Animal Crossing story gone wrong. A same Akati game. Look at this fucking miserable house I live in. It's just depressing. Oh. And the film grain is really giving me a headache. Can I get up? No, but I can just watch my television that isn't turned on. He's so depressed, he can't even bother to turn the TV on. Giraffe Town! What an opening! What an opening to a game! <laughs> Depends on your preferences. Oh, yeah, Lord knows I have particular preferences. Neither couch is facing the TV well, that's that's true. It's not really conducive to watching things properly. Here I am. Just sitting at home, watching TV. Doing the thing. This is all I would do every day. Boring, I know. It's not like anything exciting ever happens anyway. 
message it to you again. Just check your Discord messages after the stream. Okie dokie. And I can't really do much with these stupid slippery feet either. I should have maybe like glossed them up a bit to make them look like they were like covered in oil or something. I can't go anywhere without failing or falling. Well, <laughs> both go hand in hand really. <sighs> On my ass. <laughs> I love how he just looks to the camera to say that. <sighs> but I can, at least I can watch telly all day. I can just watch telly all day. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. What? What is that? Singing her new song live from Samer Hills. Oh. What is it? Ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause for world famous pop musician. Oh, who's it gonna be? Love! Oh Christ! How my freaking eyes! Thank you, thank you. It's a waifu giraffe. Do I, do I get to fuck it by the end of this, do you think? Thank you. Oh, oh God, my poor eyes. Hi everyone, I'm Love the Giraffe. I'm very excited to sing my newest song, Get Back Up. What? This is for all those people who have been feeling down in their lives. <laughs> yes, he want to smash. When you're feeling down. Yeah. God, this is terrifying. All you gotta do is... Get back up. Yeah, get back up. Get back up, yeah, get back up. It's okay to fall. It's okay to fail. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> shoot the giraffe, shoot it. All you gotta do is try again. All you gotta do is get back up, yeah, get back up. Love is my favorite singer ever. Her song spoke to me. What is this? Love's music was the only thing that made me happy. <laughs> I'm all sad now. Get back up, yeah, get back up. <laughs> this fucking dance. These are the only lyrics to the song. <laughs> get back up, yeah, get back up. Someone animated this. Someone, someone animated that sexy giraffe dance. I just want to remind you all of that. I want to remind you all of that. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm here all week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's clapping. Is she going to point through the TV now? Tonight I'll be available at the other side of town. I'll be signing autographs, taking photos, meeting fans, and just having fun. The other side of town. Huh. That's just down the road from me. Don't be shy, come and meet me. I'll be here at the other side of town for tonight only. I'm very excited to hang out with all my wonderful fans. All right, this is our chance. We're in, we're in boys. See you soon. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Love is coming here. Too bad I can't go. Why not? Why can't you go? Dumb feet, all oh, right. I know if I like Caroni's cover of the Fire Emblem theme. Oh, I wish I could go. This might be the only chance I'll ever get to meet her. Hmm. I guess I'll do it then. Wait. You know what? What? Why not? <laughs> Why can't I go? What's holding me back? Sure, I got slippery feet. If I fall, all I gotta do is... Get back up. <laughs> Just get back up. Too many times have I said no to life. All because I was always afraid of falling on my slippery ass. Well, you know what? These slippery feet aren't going to hold me back anymore. Imagine living with, like, really slippery feet your whole life. I'm going to walk down that road, meet love, and get her autograph. And she's going to be... She's not even going to be nice either. I'm going to meet her and you know what they say, don't meet your hero. She's going to be just a massive cunt. This is Octodad, but instead of Dad Octopus, it's a depressed giraffe, I know. All right, here we go. Oh my God. 
I'm glad the game runs like a piece of shit as well. I didn't check my messages. Oh god, is this- this looks like fucking Silent Hill. Hang on, I gotta- I gotta answer my phone. Oh yeah, I can't. I can go through doors magically though. Oh god. Oh god, oh this is just Silent Hill. This is just fucking Silent Hill. Ah! <laughs> okay, so far so good. God, I got such slippery feet. Hang on, oh. Yeah. Yeah, what's- Oh, yep, that's- that's the author of the game. Hello. Yep, that's great. Um, is there anything I need in my own backyard? No. What even are the controls? I don't know, I don't think I need to know anything other than slippy feet and going to destination. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, and dead. Oh, shit, I've got lives. Okay, game suddenly got a hell of a lot more difficult. Easy does it. The phone is ringing. I could go back and answer. Or I could stay on the on the road. You know what? I will go back and answer the call. Eh. Hello? Oh. Answer phone? Hello? 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 Is anyone there? Hello, hello, hello? We're outside. What? Who is this? Hello? We're watching you. Very funny. I don't have time for this. Bye. Don't. Who is this? Shut up. You will do as we say. Right now. It will- you, you want inside- you will wait inside of your house until midnight. If you try to leave your house, we will kill you. Uh, guys, what the fuck? There isn't a potato cam cameo, I'll be sad. I will be too. Why are there death pits in a supposedly quiet populated town? Uh, because? If you try calling the police, we will kill you. We will call you back in three hours for further instructions. Portal to the Beast opens at midnight. Uh, what? Sacrifice. Oh no, I'm, I'm gonna leave the house now, fuck it. I don't want to be a sacrifice to the Satan. It's 9pm, fuck it, I'm go- oh, oh my god. Uh, yeah? I think I'm leaving my house, oh. Someone's here in a van. Ah! <laughs> Alright, should've just stayed on the road, really, shouldn't I? You cannot- Stop me. Oh, I guess you can. Fuck you. Whose car is this? The car is on, but there's nobody inside. The doors are locked. I have to be in my house by mid- Oh, shit. Uh! Oh, God. Oh, okay. You're not going anywhere. Stupid horse. I'm not a horse. Excuse me. I'm a giraffe. It's not safe to leave the house after all, I know. Ow! Oh god! Uh, uh, what is happening? My quest for love is over! I was curb stomped to death by evil bastards. Game over! You just get fucked up. You just get fucked up. I'm not answering the phone next time. You can go fuck yourself for not answering the phone. Game over! You fucked it. Oh, and there's a jump scare. Okay, so that's this- that's what kind of game we're playing here. I love how that didn't even phase me. <laughs> that jump scare didn't even phase me. I'm just like, ah, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah, alright. <laughs> oh god, jump scares just don't work on me these days. Oh, okay, got all my health now. This time, fuck the phone. Don't answer the phone, don't care about no Satan. Just get out there. Get out there, the phone's ringing, I don't give a shit. Go, go, go. I could go back and answer it, or you could keep going. <gasps> fuck you. Oh, fuck you. Oh! I kind of want to play this with a controller now. Like, how am I supposed to walk slowly? They don't even let you. Okay. I, I guess I can just... Play it nice and carefully. Oh, ah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. This is, this is some kind of horrible nightmare experience. I love it. I kind of love it. Oh, I love it though. I love it though, chat. I love it. I love it though. It's so good. So good. I'm glad I decided to play this. It's 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 way too early in the year for Halloween stuff and I needed some horror in my life. I needed something to just really fuck me up today. And this is exactly... Oh, exactly the game to do it. Oh, what's this? What is this? I don't know. Checkpoint. Oh, good. And music. Oh, shit! Road designers, bruh, fucking road designers, man. Okay, I gotta keep going for love. Love quest begins. I'm guessing there are multiple endings to this game. 
Okay, oh, I wish there was jumping in this game, but I guess that would just make things even worse. Come on, slippy feet, you can do it. Just try and carefully uh, maneuver here. As long as I don't have a timer on me, I think I'll be okay. To get best ending, uh, get through the broken road in uh, under 3.30 seconds. Some bullshit like that. Oh, here we go. Oh, what's this place? Lovely day. Yeah, it's, it, it certainly is a day, isn't it? It's one of those days. Oh, shit. Uh, come on, I need a checkpoint at some stage here. Okay, just, just, just give it a little nudge. Give it a little nudge. There you go. Just give it a little tap every so often. If you hold down the movement key for any extended periods of time, you are just going to go flying on your slippery giraffe feet, and you don't want that. Jesus, there we go. We must be reaching the end of something soon. This is just Silent Hill. Oh no, oh no, it's slanted. Does that mean I'm going to slip even more now? Possibly. Spoilers, it doesn't work. <laughs> Road work ahead. Yeah, I sure hope it does. <laughs> Road does not work ahead. It does not. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it all for the giraffe puss. Oh, it started raining. It started raining now. That's great. Gotta do it for the giraffe IFO puss. Oh, checkpoint. That's nice. I like. I enjoy. There we go. Oh, oh. Uh. Uh, uh, oh god, it's getting narrow. Oh, street's getting narrow. Street's getting narrow. Okay. Ooh, slow and steady. Do it for the waifu. Or don't. Uh oh. Oh no. The fucking road's getting all slick. I, I don't know if that factors into my slippery feet at all. Although now I'm shiny and wet, so that's good. Okay. Oh, are we nearly there, do you think? There's some creepy music kicking in, at least. Oh. It's kind of unique-ish. Okay. Oh, come on, giraffe love, here we go. Her name's literally love. Oh, uh, would be gone. But it's for bugs? Would be gone. It's, it's wood spray that gets rid of bugs. That's actually kind of clever when you think about it. Just only spray on wood. Bugs will become attracted to it and then their faces will melt off. Okay. Oh, I can kind of move a bit faster here. Oh my god. All right. Oh my god. Uh, we're doing better than we were before, though. I mean, I haven't died in quite some time. The checkpoints are a bit of a bitch, though. So yeah, let's just try and be as careful as possible. Jesus. I put... I Ah, oh, don't. Press the movement keys too often. Or rather, don't hold them down too much. Ugh. Ugh. This probably would be easier with a controller, honestly. Oh. Okay. Just why, why is everything suspended in a void? I don't understand that. Okay. How much more further do I have to walk? I'm obviously disabled here. Where, where are the disabled ramps for... Oh. For giraffes with slippy feet. Okay. Oh. Oh, road work ahead over here. Uh-oh. Lightning strikes. Checkpoint again. Good. How much further do we have to go? I, I, he said that I live near the edge of town. This is not the edge of town. Of course, once I get this ending, I'm going to try and also go for the uh, Satan ending as well. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Uh. Oh, it's a straightaway. It's baiting me to run through it now, and I don't want to do it. Because it's just going to lead to disaster. Look at that. Slippy times. Slippy toad. I'm not even playing as a fucking frog either. Okay. Slippy giraffe. Okay. Oh, any checkpoints soon? I really appreciate a checkpoint at some stage here. Going for it. Uh, going for it. Uh. At least it's just a bunch of straightaways now. Okay. Oh. Oh, there's a bloke s sitting a on a Minecraft fucking bench or something. I don't know. It's Bob Ross. He looks like he's doing well. Okay. Oh, no! I finally died again! Ah! 
It's alright. I've got two additional lives left. I think we'll be okay. Oh, uh, how much progress did we actually lose there? Possibly quite an amount. I, I remember there being a lot of straightaways. Ugh. Yikes, I know. We've gone back pretty far, I think, but, um... That's okay. God damn you, Bob Ross, you distracted me. Ah, here we go. Yeah, there's just a bunch of straightaways now. I'm just gonna occasionally tap the W key, just to... Oh, just slowly mosey over there. I'm telling you, I tell you what, this giraffe waifu better be tight. Otherwise I'm gonna be really fucking pissed off. We get to the end and it turns out that she has a penis. I just know it. I just, I don't I really know how this is gonna play out. Oh, we've encountered Bob Ross again, so yeah. The lightning really fucks me up as well. Um, which is good. Uh, my phone has a GIF option now. It won't let me put them in, he put them here though. Well, that's unfortunate. GIFs are fun. Oh. Eh, eh, come on now. Easy. There we are. Have we reached the end of something yet? Ah, careful. I would like to think we're making some progress here. I mean, you know, the weather's certainly uh, getting bad. Twitch would need to support it as well, yeah. Twitch doesn't give a shit about GIFs, I don't think. I, you can post GIF images to, um... can't remember which one it is. Is it DLive? Or maybe it was uh, Hitbox before it was destroyed. Checkpoint and music. Or was that just the checkpoint sound effect? Okay, cool. Okay, well, trying to get through this. Is it just endlessly running through this broken highway? Your tax dollars at work, everybody! This is what I get for evading my taxes, I guess. My giraffe taxes. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh god, I nearly fell. I've not got many lives left is the thing. How much more of this is there? Just very carefully. Okay, you can kind of recover slightly if you just sort of manage to make your way back onto a platform, just slide onto it, but it's rather difficult. Okay, oh, the weather's clearing up a bit. Okay, no more storm would be nice. Okay, it's only rainbows here. It's only fun times. Only, only positive vibes in the chat now. Okay. No, I don't give a shit. I, I just I just want negativity and criticism. Checkpoint. Okay, which means there's at least probably a little bit more left to go. Oh god, why? Why is this the game? I don't I don't want to go back and wait for Satan. Okay. Oh, I've got some proper music now. Okay. I'm getting used to the movement at least. Oh. Okay. Wait, is it snowing now? Oh, it's totally snowing. Did anyone say Silent Hill 1? There's snow in that one. Oh. Yeah. oh. Uh, okay. Beautiful. Okay, just keep looking at the path ahead of you and don't shit the bed. This sucks. Oh, I can see a light. I can see a light at the end of this endless fucking tunnel of fucked up roadway. <gasps> What's this? We went past it though. Great. Great, the light meant nothing, it was a lie. Eh. Okay, there's just multiple lights now. It doesn't mean that anything's over yet. Okay, super narrow path. I can manage that. Uh, uh, there we go. What's that? Divide, is that a... What's that symbol for? <laughs> eh. Eh. No math allowed in chat. Oh. Come on. Oh, I actually quite like math. I'm fond of it. Oh. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. Do it for the waifu giraffe. Do it. Do it for the GF, the girlfriend giraffe friend. Come on. You can do it. You can fucking do it, you legend. Oh, God. Careful, 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 careful. Fuck me. Stop. Stop moving. You slippery motherfucker. Well, this game is getting harder. I wonder what happens if I if I get a game over in this. I'm not going to find out, obviously. Well, I, I might find out, but I'm not going to deliberately check. 
No! Alright. On our last heart, friends. On our last heart, friends. Here we go. Alright. We can do this. Probably won't, though. Oh, it's snowing. Again. Wait. Ooh. Where was our last checkpoint? Yeah, this could take a while. If only there was jumping in this game. If there was jumping, I feel like I could do a lot more risk-taking and just, like, leaping over holes and stuff. I'd probably slide into an abyss eventually anyway, but I would like the opportunity to try and do some parkouring. You did find out with those cult people. Oh yeah, I, I found out the, the hard way then. Yeah, they beat the shit out of me and I got a game over and I was able just to continue from that point, wasn't I? But I think that was the start of the game proper though, wasn't it? So maybe, maybe I, I won't get anything if I game over. Oh, eh. I'll probably just have to start this all over again if I fail. I could just look it up on YouTube. <laughs> Someone must have been crazy enough to finish this. Okay. Any checkpoints? Not that it matters, because I think I'm on my last life here. Shit. Careful. Easy does it, you slippery motherfucker. Okay. Oh. Ah, go back there! Down we go, and that was the end. No love for you. Game over. <laughs> you fucking son. I'm not playing that again. I'm not doing that again. I'm not doing this shit again. Although, we'll see what happens if I hit continue. If I start at the house, though, I'm just gonna give up. Giraffe Town, because if this is the game, it can go fuck itself. Giraffe Town. Okay. All the hearts, though. No jump scares that time. Oh, I'm back at the house. Fuck you. Yay, controls. Let's have a look. Uh, jump. There's a jump? There is a jump. Space bar to jump. Slide, run, select, action, jump. Okay, there is jumping in this game. Okay. Kind of want to plug in a controller and do this, though. Uh. Okay. I kind of want to plug in a controller and give this a try. Hang on. Um. I think I got one nearby. Yep, there it is. Eh. Eh. I got a controller. Let's give it a go. Because eh. I feel like if I use a controller, it'll be a little bit easier. I guess we'll find out. I will have to exit the game, though, won't I? There we go. We're going to give it an earnest attempt. I don't know why, but the fear of falling will create the fear of failing. This game requires intense concentration and motivation. Pace yourself well. Remember to take breaks, have some coffee, go outside. Failure will only make you stronger. Come back when you're ready. Don't listen to the voices. You can accomplish anything in life. Okay. Okay. Fucking hell. Okay. Did I plug that in? I think I plugged that in properly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a controller. All right. I'm going to try it again. Um... Giraffe Town. There we go. Okay. Let's just jump back in like nothing had ever happened. It's like getting over it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Did we play that? I can't even remember. Did we play getting over it? I know. I think we played Sexy Hiking, not getting over it. It's a fairly similar game. Okay. Controller works. I've already forgotten the controls, but that's okay. We can just pause and check. Oh boy. Oh boy, though. There's our hearts. Let's have a look. Controls. Uh, jump, action, look around, select things? Oh, right. Slide, run, all that good stuff. Okay. Resume. So, oh yeah, this is... Uh, uh, yeah, it could be alright. Uh, honestly, not that much better. I mean, I'm pushing lightly on the control stick. Yeah, I suppose it's slightly better. And there is no jumping in this game. That That is a lie. There is no jumping. I'm pressing... Oh. Okay. I'm not going back. I'm not going back. I'm not doing it, Chief. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. 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 Well, that's a great start. Um, Restart level. <sighs> not dying this early on. Uh, honestly, the controller doesn't make things that much easier, though. Honestly, the controller's not, not that much better, but... Because if I, let's see, lightly tap it. It feels like it does it first, but then it just... If you push it all the way, you're in trouble, but... Let's just give it a little nudge. Uh, it totally does work to an extent. Okay, if I just keep my thumb like this and just move the right stick, maybe. 
Uh, this seems like it's doable. It's just going to take a while, though. That's all. There we go. An old slippery freak giraffe. There we go. Yeah, this seems like it's doable. I just have to keep my thumb in the same position. There we go. Might take a little bit longer than usual, but yeah, this is definitely easier. I'll probably still die, though. Oh, or maybe not. Okay. I'm just controlling myself with the camera now. Yeah. But it works. It actually kind of works. Okay. Yeah, just uh, nudge that controller and you're good. There we go. I can't even really read the chat because I, I got to pay attention to the road. Something about best girl, though. I saw that. Okay. Felicia, best girl. Oh, we got a checkpoint. Okay. We're seriously just going to chill and walk across the road. I guess I can pause with... Oh, I lost my rhythm. I tried to play Felicia's game with the controller. It kept bugging out. The camera kept spinning. Still beat me. Still beat the level without getting hit too much. Felicia, best girl. Maybe. I, I guess so. I haven't played the game. I don't know. Oh, wait. Felicia's the one that you posted already. Okay. No, no. Don't run. Don't run. I'm just going to lightly nudge it. Oh, God. Okay. So that's slightly more difficult with the controller, I would say. Because, yeah, if you nudge it and you want to course correct it, you sort of panic and nudge it a bit more. Okay. I can't look at chat anymore, unfortunately. I'm just going to have to go full on concentrating on giraffe movement. I swear to God, if this giraffe doesn't get laid, I'm going to be very angry. It's in Discord for later. Okie doke. Oh. In the meantime... There we go. I can move a bit faster. There we go. Oh dear. Oh, fuck you. <sighs> Just gotta focus. I already lost a life. Alright. Okay. Play it nice and cool. There we go. Alright. We're going on a, an exciting giraffe adventure. And by the end of it, if I don't get laid, I'm going to be very disappointed. Oh. Okay. Just keep spinning that camera. Oh, careful. Careful. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to go on a nice little little saunter. Little giraffe walk. Oh, God. We haven't made any progress. That's the weird fucking guy again. Okay. I've only lost one life, but we're at the very beginning, so I'm, you know, I'm not terribly thrilled. Oh, there we go. We're picking up speed now, and we're not going full speed, which is good. Eh. We're not sliding all over the place uncontrollably, so that's always good. Oop, ah, yeah, ah, stop, 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 Jesus. Okay. No, you fucker, I can't believe that. Oh, fuck it, I'm not doing this. It's actually harder with a controller, if you can believe it. I'm not doing this. I'm not fucking doing this. Although I did quit out. Maybe I can... Can I just use a... Alright, hang on. I'm just gonna try. So the controller allows you to sort of move a bit slower, but honestly, this just not really... It's not that much easier. There we go. Hey, look at that. I've got all my hearts... Oh, because I'm back at the beginning. Fuck you, game. So yeah, moving slowly is um, a lot trickier, but I th for some reason, I'm just better with the mouse and keyboard on this. Okay. Fuck off, don't care. Shut up. There we go. Not summoning Satan, don't give a shit. I'm a bit more confident with the mouse and keyboard as well, because I'm just sort of moving a lot faster, and I just feel like I'm in better control. Speed run. Oh, I'm sure somebody speed run this. I'm sure they have. Oh, fuck off! I'm not doing this. Okay, now I really have to ignore chat now. I'm not even gonna... not even gonna look at it. I gotta focus on the path. Okay. Oh. Those hearts remind me of, like, Tamagotchi things. I feel like a Tamagotchi. I feel like I'm trapped in a nightmare. Okay. You can run at the beginning, at least. Shut up. I don't care about the phone. Okay. Here we go. Slippy slidey. Giraffe time. Here we go. There we go. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, fuck. Okay, there we go. So, how far did we get uh, the first time? Like, when we did really well? I think I... I remember the storm was starting to clear up a bit. Now we're not even, like, at... Not even anywhere near the storm. Which kind of sucks. Um... We've only just started, and I already want to kill myself. I mean, I do have the option to kill myself. I can just go off into the void if I want. First checkpoint reached, and... 
See, I feel like this is going a lot better than- Oh, fuck off! Unbelievable. Every fucking time I reach a checkpoint, it just fucks up on me. Okay. Just fucking- You control like a piece of shit. I know that's the point, but Jesus Christ. I wish there was a cheat mode to just give yourself more lives. Yeah, I'm not doing this. Fuck off. Alright, I'm just gonna watch it on uh, YouTube because I'm not doing this anymore. Why the fuck did anyone say that this was a good idea? Uh, not that anyone in chat recommended it, but I, I, I read the thing and it's like, oh, uh, this is a great game for Valentine's Day. Uh, Giraffe Town. Oh, there is a speed run for Giraffe Town. Fuck it, let's go. Let's see. Giraffe Town speed run any percent f seven. Is, where? How long? Seventeen minutes. Well, let's see. One year ago. Fuck it. Let's go. Someone's doing this. Okay. Skip the cutscenes. Okay. I'm just gonna watch him complete the game, cause fuck it. Oh, look at him go. Look at this bloody legend go. This is how you play the game competently. Okay, well at least we've arrived at this location. There's apparently more to the game than this section as well. I, I don't want to spend any more time on this shit, honestly. I don't want to spend any more time on it. Uh, what was it? You need something. What do you mean? I don't- I don't need anything. I quit the game. Here we go. Well, we've gone past the storm bit. Uh, oh, we go. Yeah, then- yeah, that's right. It started snowing. I forgot about that. Oh, shit. It looks like we were right at the end, too. That's really depressing. Yeah, because we heard some music, didn't we? Oh man, I could have gotten to the end of this shit. Here we go. And then... Oh, careful now, you're gonna fall to your death. And then... Oh, oh and then he just runs in through there and then... Skip cutscene. I wish I could see the cutscene again. Oh, it looks like there's tons left in this game, and I don't give a shit. He's got shoes on now! So he doesn't slip around or something? Oh my god, now it really does look like Silent Hill. Why is this a Silent Hill game all of a sudden? Well, at least he can run around properly, because he's got shoes. It's just Silent Hill with a giraffe. I feel like this is better suited to Halloween, so maybe I won't do any more of this, I guess? I'll save it for, like, a, a really casual Halloween stream where I've got nothing better to do, and I'll just drop that in, I guess. And what's this? There we go, what's this? This is not a romantic game. Oh god, no, I can't play this, it's probably... Uh, oh yeah, no, I can't play that, that's, that's the uh, YouTube will kick me in the dick if I do that. So, yeah, I mean, that's... Giraffe Town is a game, um, kind of fucked with my head a little bit, and it's certainly not suitable for a Valentine's Day stream, because I have a feeling you don't get any giraffe waifu puss or anything like that, so, uh, yeah, yeah, Giraffe Town, a thing that exists, and I am I wish it didn't, frankly, fuck it. Oh god, where's my music? It's gotta be here. There we go, fuck's sake. Welcome back to Val Valentine's Day 2022. Oh god, um... I need a palate cleanser after that bullshit, I really do. Um, holy shit, oh my god, can you believe it? Up next is something that I've been wanting to do for quite some time now. It is none other than I love you, Colonel Sanders. It's, it's the KFC dating sim, it's, it's, it's what it is. Alright, let's just, let's just jump right in, I don't give a shit, let's go, I love you, Colonel Sanders. A finger licking good dating simulator. Ah, oh, I can't wait. KFC presents. You can't even see it on the screen yet. A PSYOP production. This feels like a PSYOP. It really does. Yes, this game exists. Oh my god! The rivals. The colonel. Professor Dog. Best friend. Chicken! 
Oh, this is a marketing campaign. Oh my god, who's ready to make some finger licking chicken? Enjoy the chicken and the doggo. Also, game is too loud. Oh dear. <laughs> oh goodness gracious me. So, yeah, this is what we're doing. I love you, Colonel San Sanders. A finger licking good dating simulator. Let's check settings. Settings look fine. Oh dear, I haven't even started this game, so let's just go new game. Before we get started, tell us your name. Okay. That's good enough. Who's ready for some biscuits and chicken, baby? Let's get some biscuits and chicken. I think we're getting some biscuits and chicken. The game just might have frozen on us, I don't know. No, it's still going. You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. There's the chicken! Look at him! There's the chicken! The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. Oh god, no, not a link. I've already seen enough links today. Oh, to well, what was this? Today. Those were to oh. Kiara, when the official KFC replies back to her tweet with a kiss. And then she gets all happy. Out yesterday, start hankering. So my start hankering. Mercy, I know what I know. It's wrong, but every time I see that juicy fat bird from Twitter, my mouth starts watering, and my my hanks start a hankering. So my <laughs> impression was that they were talking about the Twitter burp icon. You know the. <laughs> this. Oh my God! A hit tweet. Reply. <laughs> hit reply. What? Oh my god, a hit reply. A hit reply. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. That Kiara, I can't stand her. Anyway, um, the world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. Or you could wake up now, now, now. Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. That alarm clock is horrible. I love it. Smack that clock and up and at him. Throw the clock out the window and stay in bed forever. I guess I'll whack it. There we go. Yeah, you spanked that chicken. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Bok bok time. Your mind begins to wander. Who will uh, who will be there? What will you cook? I don't fucking know. That's what you're gonna find out. What should you wear? Time begins to fly by, and you and you find your imagination getting away from you. You'll need to take this seriously. You allow yourself to daydream a bit, thinking about the future. No, let's go. This is the real game here. I better make sure to arrive prepared for the first day. Why do I have pearls in here? Doesn't make any sense. You bust through your morning checklist. Uh, teeth equals brushed. Hair equals combed. Pits equals deodorized. Uh, nothing can stop you now, I guess. But did you drench the moat? You confidently grab a biscuit, strut out the door, and head off to class. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's a KFC biscuit, right? Or a fucking well better be. Just what you need to get your blood flowing. <laughs> Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School like Academy for Learning. Here comes your lifelong uh, friend forever, Miriam. There we go. Oh, she's all right. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met and you absolutely love her for it. Good morning, Barry. Are you excited for your first day of the rest of our lives? Actually, I'm because I sure am excited, a little nervous. Okay, okay, a lot nervous. What's the... It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but, well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Need to make some plans. Classic Miriam, raised by Master Chef parents, she always held, uh, held herself to a very high standard. Ever since we were little babies playing together and you rescued me from that quicksand box, it's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. <laughs> There's a bit of history there, I see. But with the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning's famous three-day only semesters, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. A sweet girl, Miriam has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. What? what? Should you pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief? Uh, pep talk time. Remember last month when we saw the fortune teller and, and had our tarot cards read? The lady with the mask who gave me nightmares I've been trying to forget? I know she looks spooky, but she was so sweet, and she told you that uh, you were destined for great things. Remember that card with the fancy looking tower, and the one card featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit? 
I've been waiting for, for so long to meet a handsome fellow I could call my own. And I'm sure you will soon. In no time, we'll be graduating and you'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time at all. Purins. Oh. As you uh, talk Miriam up, you can f feel her nerves begin to ease. You know what? Maybe everything will be okay after all. And if not, at least I have these killer bangs. Can can you believe I cut them myself? Oh, I can believe it. They look like they look like a disaster. You can definitely believe it. Yes, I uh, I cannot believe it. Before you get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. Hey, it's Ashley, your your arch rivals, Ashley. How the f that's a weird fucking way to spell that. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants, and she knows it. In the form of a Japanese Kit Kat, and it was delicious. Oh my god. I gotta get some uh, wasabi Kit Kats one of these days, for sure. Hello, Ashley. She's pretty fucking thick, though. I think I'd take Ashley. Also, she's got chicken socks. Oh, fire high chicken socks. Oh, oh, keep the socks on, darling. Keep them on. Everything else comes off, though. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. You leave Barry's shins alone. They're perfectly normal shins. <laughs> Ugh, you can't stand a Ashley. Even her name is annoying. You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley. But she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. Ashley. <laughs> if everyone here knows uh, what perfect shins looks like, it's us. We're not going to let you or any or your weird insults get to us. No, no, no. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man, has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight, you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. Ahem. <clears throat> Van Van? You rang rang? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh, the one I thought was wasabi was Marcha. You gotta get some wasabi into you for, for street cred, of course. You've never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have been just as close as you as Miriam, but substantially more devious. I can't believe that University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would ever allow people like you to attend as students. I know, right? You think they just hand us our diplomas now? Maybe hire us on as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. I kind of want to date Ashley. Fuck Colonel Sanders, I want Ashley. With the first day of school about to start, there's just not uh, there's just not time to properly tell these two off, so you resist the urge. Let's go, Miriam. Psh, see you later, losers. <laughs> oh my god, as you approach the door, you see a goofy-looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. Oh god, it's Pop. Uh, oopsie. I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Ah, that should do the trick. I love you. I think you mean thank you. My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. <laughs> uh, help me, please. Help me. Anyone wants this game? It's free. It is free. Get it on Steam and enjoy it. It's fucking great. So far, it's fine. Could someone like this also be a student at the school? It must be some heck of a chef. Also, his name, name tag clearly says Bob. I guess he's reading it upside down. Pop. I'm po hi Pop. I'm Barry. So, uh, hey, gonna make me hold this door all day. He's got a ghost coming out of his fucking mouth. Nope. And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Is it just me, or is he kind of cute? I think it's just you. Them's gonna be some weird babies if you two start fucking. I'm telling you. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. Who the fuck is the guy in the picture? I missed it. God damn it. A scruffy-looking pooch takes his place at a podium in front of uh, in front of class. Adorable! We need a Saki Kit Kat. We do. Look at this fucking guy. Who's this? Is that Jimmy Carr? Who the fuck is that? Now, now, quiet down, everyone. Who is this unreasonably cute pup, and why is he our class culinary? Uh, it, it, why, isn't he, why is he in our current culinary class? You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of UCSAL. Get wasted off Kit Kats, that's the dream. Please call me Professor Dog, I may be cute and a little fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof! 
Uh, what? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever. I guess I learned... Oh god, I guess surely a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining after all, yeah? That kinda makes sense, I guess. Good old fucking, uh, good old fucking doggo time, sure, why not? Where, where's my doggy at? I got my doggy? There we go. There's a good boy! Where's a good fucking boy? There we go. Bro, he's gonna eat some foods. <laughs> Oh yeah, I've got some Coroni stuff as well. Here we go. Oh hey guys, uh, this oh, is. I'm a secret tooth? dog though. Titi's tooth. Uh, e secret dog. There it is. <laughs> secret dog. Secret dog. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as you sw as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. I'm chilly. Someone close the window, and then. He walks in. <laughs> oh my god. You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. It's him. It's... If it isn't my favourite student, Harland. Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog. Before he can finish his sentence. <laughs> Sorry, Professor Dog. Please, call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to bead across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. And this over here must be sweaty. Sweats a lot. Maybe we should open the window b back up before faucet pits melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. Hold on just a second. No one talks to my friend like that. You two both know my name, and we're in the same kindergarten class, and what is with you all, all your really weird insults? Besides, when Barry sweats, it's not gross, it's beautiful. Look at, look at that shimmer. Take a moment to clean yourself up. It's a good thing you didn't forget about that deodorant this morning. This class is hot, hot, hot. Professor Dog uh, steps in, in to settle the class down and set some ground rules. Welcome to University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world. The birthplace of culinary legends past, present and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. There might even be a, a, a really adorable tiny food. When all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sporks and compete in the broom cooking arena. Oh god, what's this? Oh, it's my food cook. Waifu cook is here. Hang on. Here we go. <laughs> waifu chef is in. I don't know what the fuck she's making, but still. I don't know what that is. It looks reasonably appetizing, I guess. Kind of. Waifu cook slash kill it. <laughs> that's great. That's, I mean, that's that's the best you can ask out of a waifu, really. When all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sporks and compete in the broom cooking arena. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Who the fuck is this? Hi guys, sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss... Quiet! Late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue, you're on a fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in this school with you as my teacher. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. There will be a lesson for you students to understand. <laughs> oh dear. Be, let, let that be a lesson to you students that uh, that tardiness is unacceptable. Even Clank made it here on time, roll, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. You turn to see the student Sprinkles is, refer, is referencing, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. <laughs> the class bursts into laughter. Oh Clank, you rascal. Sprinkles walks into the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he when he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. It, you, your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a, a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. I've never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkles' reputation for being smart but tough is well known. You decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket, but uh, what kind? Beef treat, rubber ball, chicken snack. Well, it's got to be chicken. You reach beneath your apron and return with a chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkles' eyes go wild as he locks onto it. His favourite. 
Well, 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 I think there might be some competition for new star student. Of course it had to be chicken, it's the fucking KFC game. It's a... Oh, uh, did Suda51 make this? The furry professor immediately devours the snack, leaving your hands slick with a coating of warm doggy drool. Oh, God. You see the other students eyeing you, you jealously, but pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog tr treat flavours on them at all times. Because secret dog. Secret dog! <laughs> secret dog. Secret dog. Alright, settle down, young chefs. I'm beginning to think, actually, hang on, let me have a look at this real quick. I'm beginning to wonder if... No, that's full volume. Okay. Everything is fine. I was just looking at the volume, it just seems a bit quiet. Maybe, maybe what I'm listening to is a bit quiet. Story is not complex enough. No, no, it's very simple. It's a KFC game, you see. Settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. As everyone rushes to claim their favourite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Hey, Barry, there's still a seat here. It seems that no one else has claimed this seat next to me, if you're interested. Two good options, but which will you choose? Well, sit by Colonel Sanders, of course. Fuck you, best friend. You move to take your seat by Colonel Sanders. It appears he brought no books, pens, or pencils. However, his perfect upright posture shows off a seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. Thanks for offering me this seat. I've only had two rules. Do all you can and do it the best you can. It's the only way you'll ever get that feeling of accomplishing something. That's so inspiring. A little off topic if you ask me, but okay. As soon as you're settled into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast, it's time for a pop quiz. Yay, a quiz about me! Fuck you! This incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz will tell me if you are ready for life at culinary school. Keep your knife sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question number one. If train A is travelling to point B and train B is travelling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Uh, extremely important. Look at you, Pop. That's right! Forest is to tree as chicken is to... Forest is to tree as chicken is to... Feather. That's right. <laughs> okay, so far so good. What's the most efficient eating utensil ever created? Uh, it's not the spork. Uh, meat tenderizer, comically oversized fork. It's got to be that. That's wrong. Uh, what food is best for a, a broken heart? Uh, camel meat, anything as long as it's prepared with love and not too much salt. Pancake looks like a silly face, gotta be that. That's right. Is Sprinkles a good boy? No, yes, uh, he's the talking dog that teaches a culinary school. He is the best boy. That's right. Score four out of five. That's not, that's a passing grade, surely. Only one wrong, not too shabby. You might just do all right, kid. You'll look up to see that Colonel Sanders has been watching your, you tally your score. He nods with approval. May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch! Yay! Wow, the cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would also be serious about eating. A delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Do you smell that? That must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Everyone can, uh, everyone can have your attention. Is it about lunch? How come we don't know this guy's name? Uh, no, I just wanted to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was, howdy folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Hey, I was, it's, it's about lunch. Everyone cheers, but I, uh, shh. Wait, do I have like cheers and applause? I think I do have that as a sound bite. Uh, don't think so, actually. No, I do have that as like a bit reward, though, don't I? But for whatever reason, it's not in my play in my sound bites list. Yeah, well, that's okay. Wow. Well, that, that's the next best thing. Shh. Lunch, lunch, lunch. She said shh. In honor of the new semester, I prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Uh -huh. That must be the smell I smelled. Indeed, that smell? You hold your breath waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. You've heard that he's very talented, but were the rumors true? Is this? 
Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. Its contents glimmer in the light. Piled high are huge pieces of chicken breaded and fried to a crispy golden finish. The aroma envelops you, and you begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken? What a novel concept. Your stomach begins to grumble, as if to say, stop thinking and start eating. For years I've developed I've been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. By my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavours. You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling notes as fast as they can. That's all I'll say about that. We already know the, the 11 herbs and spices. We already know them now. I think they, they put them up on the, on the internet a long time ago. What do you think we want your... Uh, what? You, you think we want your stupid secret recipe, dude? Psh, uh, nah, my dude, nah. Oh, I kind of want to fuck her. She's great. Can we romance her instead? I'm just uh, drafting a last will and testament in case uh, one of those ingredients is uh, poison. Got him! <laughs> he looks around nervously to see if anyone else is laughing at his sick burn. You wait to see what Zinger Ashley has prepared to follow up. But she suddenly takes a different approach. Why is every Ashley in a video game so fuckable? I, it's, I don't know, it's insane. Yeah, and I was just, like, writing in my diary. Dear diary, today I smelled something beautiful. I threw a, I knew at the moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. You see her body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to Colonel Sanders. She realizes that he is destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills like this. She wants them all to herself. I know an Ashley that isn't. Oh, please. Well, Van Van, the man-man, if you don't want any, I'll take this. Whoa, hold on. I mean, I guess I'll try it. He takes one bite and his eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold in his pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. Easy now, there's enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of his out of the, this bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing. Tasting Colonel Sanders' food transports you to another dimension. <laughs> Alone with your taste buds, gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. Focus your mind and meditate on this moment. Try to identify every flavor, savor the moment, and everything that it tells you about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart. Swim towards the light. Let's try and identify the flavor. You let the food rest in your mouth and focus on it, scrutinizing every flavor. Well, 15, but close enough to Lolly. She's she's still in the, that that's a good Ashley. I like that Ashley. That's WarioWare Ashley. She's still pretty good. She's still pretty good. You know, there's like a a secret where if you play your music backwards, it says I will send kids to hell or something like that. Oh god, that takes you back. You let the food rest in your mouth. Salt, maybe. Pepper? Too obvious. Oregano? Basil? Maybe, but there's something else. Something dark, something spicy. You dig deeper, deeper, deeper still, into the eyes of flavour. Yes, even deeper still until you find it. Could it be? I don't know what that is. <laughs> he really did it. How bold, how adventurous to use blank. You try to go even deeper into the sea of flavours, but this revelation alone is more than you can handle. You snap out of it and realize that this information was meant to remain a secret. And yet, now you know. A mantle of responsibility now rests upon your shoulders. As you look around, you realize that everyone in the room is consumed by the lunch. No one noticed that you're, you've traveled through space and time. After tasting his food, you try and get some one-on-one -on -one time with Colonel Sanders. Approach him. Colonel Sanders smiles ever so softly as you approach. He stops what he's doing and allows you to break the silence. Colonel, I wondered if I could ask you, if I could talk to you for a second. Anything for a fellow chef? What exactly was on that chicken? <laughs> How bold to come out and ask. It's an idea I had for a new combination of flavors that will make me very, make, uh, that will make me my fortune and establish my legacy for all time as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. He's got a chicken cane even. It's just you and me here talking. I can keep a secret. In fact, I've got some of my own that I'd be willing to trade. I tried to look up Enslave, but it locked up. Oh. What's the rush? The semester is only getting started. We've got two more whole days to get to know each other. He's clearly not going to give it up easily, but it doesn't hurt to be persistent. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel. 
Shouldn't be- shouldn't learning be fun? You've got Moxie, I'll give you that. Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're- you're truly alone, and then leans in. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers, Just one ingredient, but you can't tell. I use blank. Something my great-grandmother told me. Blank? Wow! Wow! <laughs> Where is that fucking wow? Wow! Wow! Like, that fucking word is in all of these games, I swear. You'd never have guessed that. In fact, you're not even sure where you'd get some if you searched. And blank definitely isn't the flavor you tasted before. So now, you're two ingredients closer to knowing the full recipe, but you don't tell Colonel Sanders that. While you're wrapped up in that huge revelation, you notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared. While everyone else is still in the cafeteria, you decide to look for him. He never existed at all. He was- he's a ghost, is what he is. That's what he is. That's what this is. You find Colonel Sanders outside, standing in the quad. Oh, it's you again. Howdy. Sometimes I like to come outside and look at the uh, school buildings. I like to think about how my story will continue on after I've graduated. Or died. <laughs> oh dear. Colonel Sanders is dead, isn't he? He's still- he's, he's not still with us? No, he's not still with us. He's just dead. He is definitely fucking dead. Oh dear, he's, he's definitely fucking dead, I know that, but, uh, I wish he wasn't. Uh, sounds like you have big plans. I dare say the biggest. I will leave my mark on this world. You can bet on that. Place blanks with jizz and it's infinitely funnier. Oh yeah, let's do that. That's fun. Alone together for the first time you figure out uh, now is the perfect moment to show your personality to him. Be modest but thoughtful. Uh, neg him to show you your, uh, to, neg him to show your own strength. Wow him with a big idea. Um, how do I do that? Wow! To add an additional ingredient to really spice things up. Let's do it! You know, about that, I was thinking about your secret recipe. I don't doubt it. It was a way of leaving an impression on all who, who taste it. You decide to show him that you also know a thing or two about blowing mines with new flavors. Or a shotgun. I actually had some thoughts on how you can improve it. Improve it? You want to change my secret recipe and you think you can do better? Oh, we've pissed him off now. Have you ever heard of habanero peppers? Heard of them? I tend an entire garden of chili pepper varieties. Habanero, poblano, cayenne? That's not the point. You can't just toss, a, toss new ingredients into my secret recipe and expect to improve it. A recipe is about balance and involves careful consideration and refinement. I didn't mean to. Let this be the last time you improvise on my recipes, Barry. I'm headed back to class for the next lesson. That certainly didn't go as planned. Can I fuck Ashley, though? I want Ashley. Uh, you better head back inside, but you wait a moment so that Colonel Sanders doesn't think you're desperately chasing after him. You step into the massive cooking arena where the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student gets an, o an oven and all the tools and ingredients they could need. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Just give me a sec. Um... Give me a tick. I'm just gonna check something. Um. Oh, nine images. Are you serious? Yes! Rule 34 provides! Ashley's got a section on Rule 34. I love it. It really is Rule 34. It's only nine images, but holy shit. I love it! Oh dear. Oh dear, you knew it was coming. You step into the massive cooking arena where the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they could need. Look at this place, it's magnificent. Finally, we get to show our stuff. Wait a second. Oh no, we have to show our stuff. What if I totally blow it? You're not going to blow anything except maybe kisses to the crowd of fans you're going to earn with your signature adorable tiny food creations. Well, that cheered her up. Welcome, students, to the cooking arena. For today's lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off. Naturally, Miriam looks over at you, but unable to control yourself, you pounce, pounce on Colonel Sanders. Hey, Colonel, would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? A team of two, th that is. Me and you, if that wasn't clear. Want to be my partner? Sure, Barry, I'll prepare our station. We offended him earlier on, but he doesn't give a shit now. Without you as a partner, Miriam is left standing all alone. Two different students quickly take notice. Hello, new partner. Beep, boop, bzzz. Oh my, two potential partners. I'm so sorry, gentlemen, but I don't know who to choose. Looks like you'll have to pick four. A friend, a friend duties can be a little awkward, but that's the price you pay for not uh, for not being alone forever. 
Who do you want to ask to be Miriam's partner? Uh, let's go with Clank, because he's an emotionless robot. Sorry, Pop, but I think Miriam will be partnering with Clank today. It's okay, I already ate. The fuck is that? Also, he's retarded. Let's just go with the robot. It's not entirely clear if Pop had any idea what the point of school even is at this juncture. Clank is clearly excited to have some attention. He heats up and begins to roll back and forth. Murderbot is here to cook. Also possibly rape. Warp, warp, warp. Let's fuck bot 5000. Hold on there, fella. We don't even know the assignment yet. Technically, Clank might not have a face, but there's something charming and earnest about him. Until he malfunctions and starts to kill everyone in the room. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Tissue? I hardly know you. <laughs> uh, Clank judders with a pan uh, and a panel shakes loose. You get the impression that this is a sign of affection. He's gonna fuck her. The robot is gonna fuck her. This is great. I like this so far. Looks like you two will be fine. Now it's time to focus on your own cooking classwork. What about you two? For today's lesson, we're going to keep it simple. Pick a basement basic dish and divide up the steps. Okay, no chef is an island. It takes two flints to make a fire. You get the idea. Which dish do you suggest uh, to your partner, Colonel Sanders? Okay, shark tartar seems easy enough. It's fancy and you don't even need to cook it. Using octopus will blow Colonel Sanders' mind. Uh, your grandmother's mashed potatoes and gravy. I mean, steak tartar sounds great. But octopus is also good. Ah, well, if it blows mind, octopus it is. I was thinking about trying something exotic. Maybe a dish that incorporates octopus in some way. I'm more of a down-home type of chef myself. Uh, what about something that, uh, that uh, go with me here, walks on land? Actually, there are certain species of octopus that do l leave the water. For instance, have you heard about the uh, adipus aculatus? It, it leaves the water to hunt for crab. Hmm, an octopus that walks upright and hunts crabs. Now I've heard of everything. The world is truly a marvelous place, isn't it? Octopus? Crab? It sounds like you're describing one of my signature dishes. Are you trying to steal my thunder? Boys, boys, boys. Well, what's with all the hostility? Has the competition been moved up to today? Oh my god, she's best girl though. I dare you try and muscle in on my culinary territory. Nobody better touch a cephalopod without getting through me first. I think there's been a misunderstanding. Nobody's muscling in on any mollusks. We're here simply... We were simply discussing today's assignment. You could cut the tension here with a chef's knife, which makes sense because chef's knives are usually pretty sharp. Look, we were just talking. I'll happily step back from, e from any and all seafood. You know what? I'm just gonna make mashed potatoes and gravy. I know my mother's uh, grandmother's recipe by heart. Keep the tentacles. You begin to peel and boil potatoes and try to ex extricate yourself from this thorny situation, but your new rivals aren't having it. I doubt that you even have the capabilities to work with ingredients so delicate. You should probably stick to microwavable dishes. Unlike my friend Van Van, though he may be the man-man, I have no doubts whatsoever that Colonel Sanders' ability to concoct creations worth admiration. After all, your fried chicken was quite spectacular. But Colonel, if you ask me, I'm, I, I might make a better partner f for you than this thing that has positioned itself at your station. Don't you feel deep down that we cast complimentary shadows? We fit together like a thigh and a drumstick. It just makes sense. Speaking of thigh, oh god. Jesus Christ, can I please date Ashley? Nothing about this makes any sense, but one thing is clear, she's coming for the Colonel, if you don't watch out. And if Barry and Van Van are both so inclined to the sea, perhaps they should go there together. Ashley, you suggesting I share the secrets of my special saltwater sauce with this novice? I'm disappointed in all of you. Ashley's really going at you hard. You need to ask for some backup here before things get ugly. Turn to Colonel Sanders, hunks, hunk of hunks in your time of need. Turn to Miriam, your forever bestie, who always has your back. The Colonel can help! I'm here to learn and to express myself via my cuisine, not bicker with prima donnas. Partners were chosen at the beginning of class, so let's all respect the format, okay? Oh no, she's all sad. You turn to Colonel Sanders to confirm that you're on the same page. I chose Colonel Sanders, and Colonel Chan Sanders chose me, isn't that right? Sometimes conflict can actually build character. I wouldn't want you to shy away from a bit of healthy competition with our peers, Barry. 
Wow, is he just not that into you? You'd think a gentleman would defend you in a situation like this. Did you do something to offend him at some point? Oh yeah, quite a few times actually. You look for sprinkles and hopes they might step in, but he's nowhere to be found. Darn those cute corgis and their short but sturdy stature. You look down at your station and realize that in the tension of the moment, your hands have been cooking on autopilot. Distracted by the drama, you've already crushed and boiled uh, the boiled potatoes into a perfectly creamy mashed texture with plenty of butter and cream for flavor. It's as if your natural passion guided you through the steps you know so well while your attention was elsewhere. Can we add jizz to the chicken yet? Yeah? I know just what to do. Colonel Sanders extends his hand. He's holding a beautiful white porcelain gravy boat, out of which pours a smooth brown gravy, smothering your nearly finished potato dish. Gravy flows down the mound of mashed potatoes. The results look spectacular. Granny would be very proud. She'd be so fucking wet right now. If she even had the capability of doing that with her old lady Vag, God bless her. Colonel Sanders holds a spork out to you. A spork? Come on now. You reach out and grab hold of it, but he doesn't immediately let go. The two of you stand holding the same spork. And for that small moment, all the madness and pressure in this crazy world stops. Your eyes lock. The moment is electric. Time stands still. Who made this? Who fucking made this? If you love something, set it free. Together you dig the utensil into the mashed potatoes and lift a heaping sporkful up. When you see Ashley with a sinister look, you know she's plotting against you to be with Colonel Sanders. And then filled with rage and without thinking, you filled the sporkful of mashed potatoes right into Ashley's stupid beautiful face. Van Van, do something! Do something, do something! Scooping up a fingerful, uh, Van Van tastes the dr dripping mashed potatoes and gravy and realizes that it's delicious. Horrified by this revelation, he slinks away. Will he ever be able to cook something with so much love and integrity? Hold on right there, Barry. We do not waste food in the broom cooking arena. Colonel Sanders, I expect better from you. If you throw one more spoonful, you better be prepared to eat it from wherever it lands. Can I has potatoes face? Van Van uh, rushes back over. A covered dish in his hands. The fuck is that? Oh, it's an octopus arm. Mashed potatoes and gravy? Pathetic. In just a few minutes, I've prepared a full meal. Gaze upon my speciality. Braised tentacle of octopus in my silky salt water sauce. Plant plated on a, a battle axe blade forged to my supreme chef by my supreme chef ancestors. Oh my god, it's on an axe. You've ignored me for too long. That ends now. It is I who will have the first bite, and you will all look on with envy. The interrupting student rushes at Van Van and swipes a, ba a bite of his signature dish right off the plate. No, don't! Something about this dish doesn't strike my nose quite right. I think the octopus was rushed and may have turned in the process. The results could be toxic. Too late. It, is, it has been eaten. I uh, think I left something in the oven. I don't feel so good. It killed him! Oh god, he's a ghost! He's in a sheet! He's dead! Everyone, step back. Don't take another bite. When you look back at the plate, the rest of it is gone. You notice that the tip of the tentacle being slipped on in Pop's mouth. Pop winces in pain for just a moment, then is almost immediately back to his oblivious self. Oopsie. Tastes like poison. <laughs> It tastes like poison. <laughs> this tastes hurty. The entire class has gathered up to watch Pop's final moments. Shock has frozen the whole crowd. They are motionless as statues. The class bell rings, disrupting the moment and snapping everyone back to reality. It would appear that Pop's enthusiasm for trying new things, despite obvious danger, has inoculated him against poisons of all kinds. I'm not sure the professors here make enough money. Um, hello? I just turned into a ghost over here. Seeing that you're shaken up by what, by that really annoying student and all his nonsense, Colonel Sanders approaches you. I'm sorry I had to go through all that. Please, let me walk you home. What? For, like, for real? Oh, come on. <laughs> you follow Colonel Sanders out of the room. At night, the school building has taken on another vibe entirely. It's dark and more than a little spooky. Colonel Sanders stands in the quad's neon glow and speaks softly. Those mashed potatoes you made in class today. Before you go on, I want you to know that they're not a great representation of my skills. I didn't even realize I was making them. They were amazing. Tasting them 
It reminded me of why I became so passionate about food to begin with. Colonel Sanders is getting choked up. Cooking is obviously important to him in a way that you find inspiring. Now might be the perfect time to tell him you're developing feelings for him. Do it, Colonel Sanders. Yes, Barry. There's something I need to tell you. Hold it right there. There's something I need to tell you first. Fuck off. Oh, jeez. You see, you see, when I was just a boy, I had a dream that one day I'd be the greatest chef in the world the world has ever seen. And every day since I've been working toward that dream, day and night, never stopping, never resting, also lifting a lot of weights. Like so many weights. We should follow our dreams with all of our hearts, that our souls may grant them like wishes floating on a shooting star. Hey, no, I... you... Shut up, I'm the one here to say inspirational stuff and to be the star of the story. Are we forgetting that your cooking literally killed a guy? You you can't prove that. I also saw you kill that guy. Uh, what was his name? Uh, somewhere in the distance you hear a long, sad sigh. Forget him, we're talking about me. Me, 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 me. I'm the hero. Blah, oh my god, the spork monster. What the fuck is this? The spork monster is here to fight a hero. Uh, I'm sorry, wh when, did this, wh when did this motherfucker show up? I uh, think I left the fridge door open. Later, nerds. We will not. We will not let harm come to another student, except for that ghost kid. I kind of dropped the ball on that. Be afraid. Be very afraid of me because I'm a monster. You see? Is he rhyming on purpose, or was that just a coincidence? But before you can discuss syntax any further, it's a turn-based fight sequence. What will you do? I will attack the fuck out of this spork monster. You decide to go on the attack. Which attack will you use? Cook with love! It's the only thing I can do. It does one damage. It just got real. That attack really upset Sport Monster. Sport Monster goes on the attack. They spit hot gravy at you. Oh, you take one damage. Attack! You decide to go on the attack again. It worked last time, right? Cook with love. Does one damage. Sport Monster won't forget this. Spork Monster is really feeling threatened by your attack. Spork Monster focuses their mashed mind and draws in energy from Mother Earth itself. Well, that's just bullshit right there. They grow larger and more intimidating. How will you respond? Attack. You decide to go on the attack. Which attack will you use? That's all I can do. At this rate, the semester will probably be over before this fight is. Spork Monster is no quitter. Buffed up and ready to rumble. They go on the attack once again. Sport Monster uses U Utilitensile. You will- you take two damage from the attack. Oh my god. If you take much more damage, you're not going to survive the battle. Defend. You decide to defend. Which defense will you use? Trepidation. You curl into a ball. I'm not cut out for this. Feeling vulnerable, Sport Monster prepares for its ultimate attack. Rounded edge. Vile villain, your reign of terror stops here. Colonel Sanders summons the energy of a thousand chickens. Ah, pot pie power pinch. Pot pie power pinch does ten damage. Sport monster is defeated. You, you saved me. An injured sport monster spews steam into the night. Forget mercy. Finish him. Spare this wretched beast. I will spare him. You manage to tramp down your disgust at the sight of this gnarly beast long enough to realize that he is still a living creature with a pure soul who deserves your pity, not your wrath. Be gone, beast. Don't you dare come back for a follow-up encounter tomorrow. I won't forget this, and I certainly won't be back like you said. The sport monster scuttles off into the night. The defeated monster left behind a special item. It appears at first to be a cookbook, but upon co closer inspection, it's so much more. It's a book of magic spells with a golden chicken on the cover. You open the cover and find a library card tucked inside. The last name to have to have signed it out is Borco. Huh. Borco. Well, that name sounds familiar. Your blood is pumping as you stand in the quiet of the night, holding the mysterious book in your hands. As you come down from your battle buzz, you realize that your final attack has left you completely de depleted. The world around you begins to fade away. Without any in energy to keep your eyes open, darkness overtakes you. The image of Colonel Sanders flashes before your eyes as you fall asleep. He must have helped you get home in your tired state. You don't know if you could have made it without him. What a guy. 
You want to thank him, but you don't have enough strength to utter a single word. Word, you, fe you, you feel your covers being pulled up over you as you're tucked in tightly. Good night, my colonel. In your dream, you were together with Colonel Sanders for some reason. Sprinkles is also there, instructing your love. Dreams are weird. Oh my god, what is this? Alright, yeah, sure, whatever's. What is this? Okay. You wake up on day two and attempt to process the wild visions you had. Were they memories or premonitions? You lie in bed and stare at the ceiling, thinking about the secret you discovered while tasting Colonel Sanders cooking yesterday. You can't believe he really used jizz. And then there was that secret ingredient that Colonel Sanders went ahead and told you outright. Not much of a secret, huh? It's probably just because he already trusts you so much. Well, sure, that makes sense. We'll go with that. You meet up with your bestie in front of the school. Before you can tell her about the encounter with Sport Monster, she launches into a story of her own. Oh, I know this might sound a little strange, but I think I might be, um... I, I think I might like Clank? L like him? Like, like-like? I know it sounds like I'm moving too fast, but there's something about him. I, I, I like him. Like-like him. Yes! Fuck the robot! Yes! I called it! She's gonna fuck the robot! We got to talking after class, and he's actually a total sweet guy. Um, he's a totally sweet guy. Not not only that, but he's really smart. He told me all kinds of stories about Colonel Sanders. Did you know that Colonel Sanders is the most popular kid in his high school? No, but that does make complete sense. Yeah, but he was so popular that he was voted prom king at a school he didn't even go to, and was also the convertible that also the convertible that he himself rode in at the front of the homecoming parade. I'm thinking maybe someone got lost in, in pressure cooker language translation there. Either way, maybe it'd be best if you took it slow with this new boy, like, uh, like I am with Colonel Sanders. You and Colonel Sanders, the coolest guy in school, the most famous student to ever attend University of Cooking School, Academy of the Learning. You're a thing now. We definitely connected yesterday. <laughs> sure you did. You're great. Why wouldn't he be into you? I guess. Laughing at the implication that you and and Colonel Sanders might be a thing is definitely not cool. You are great. You have an idea about how to prove that your love is real. Well, if he's not into me, why did he tell me one of his secret ingredients? However, you didn't. You don't tell her that you know a second ingredient too, which you discovered on your own. Your bestie's eyes light up. Hmm, a secret ingredient. Yeah, I just said that. A secret ingredient. Is there a dramatic echo in here? Miriam checks to make sure you're alone before continuing. Hmm. So this summer, while I was on vacation with my family, a lovely man approached me in the botanical garden when I was wandering. This can't be good. He told me all about his passion for spices. Secret spices. The man even gave me some to show me what he meant. He said it was a powder created from super duper rare dried flower petals, and that if I did him a, f a big favor, I could have some of my own. So, so you gave him a BJ, and then what happened? Please, Miriam, don't tell me. So I filled my suitcase with them and brought them home. He was so nice. He even met me at the gate when I arrived. Later, when I cooked with them, a very strange feeling came over me, and the flavor was unlike anything I'd ever tasted. Miriam X Cube, I know. <laughs> I think you're being very liberal with the meaning of spices here. Uh, whatever, anyhow, we both share an interest in cooking, so we've stayed in touch, you know? Like pen pals. I bet he would love to know more about new spices. Well, I'm definitely not supposed to share Colonel Sanders' secret recipe, and besides, I know the. Uh, I only know one ingredient, so I doubt it'd be much use to anyone. Please, please, please! It would mean the world to me. No one has, uh, has to know it came from you or from Colonel Sanders. What do you think? Should you protect Colonel Sanders' secret or share it with your bestie? Make up a fake ingredient. Fuck her, I don't give a shit. You quickly think up of a fake ingredient name. I don't know, how about, um... It was Eye of Newt. I know, it sounds like some kind of witch's potion, but what can you do? Eye of Newt. Wow! Wow! <laughs> Fuck's sake. Wow! Ah, it just keeps popping up in these games today. Her eyes light up imagining such a thing, and you figure that you've satisfied her curiosity and she'll move on. However, she immediately turns around and does some... some thumb typing on her phone that you can't quite see. That's probably not good. Before you can ask her to confirm what she was definitely not texting secrets to other people, you're interrupted. 
A wind rushes in. Cherry blossom, blossom petals fill the air. I didn't spill his secret. He's got a fucking horse. It's Colonel Sanders. He's arriving at school. Stand back and admire his majestic glory. Run to him. You decide that the best way to show Miriam how serious you and Colonel Sanders are would be to run to him. Surely he'll sweep you up on the back of his stallion and you'll ride away together. That'll show her good. Oh, Colonel. My Colonel. However, your sudden movement surprise the surprises the horse and it rears up. Oh, God. Kicking you directly in the face. Brick. He's the old spice guy. <laughs> the force of the blow completely knocks you out cold. In the darkness, you see a vision. Ooh, Barry, I'm here to deliver you a message beyond the grave. Not this fucking guy. It is important that you remember this exactly as I say it. If you forget, the, the, the world could end, so you know it's serious. I've been trapped in a realm beyond, but a great prophecy relies on my return. Only you can save me. All you need to do is repeat my name three times. And that name is... But before you can continue, you suddenly awake. Well, that was stupid. Maybe next time just tell me. Oh, jeez. You wait to find Colonel Sanders tending to you. He roused you back to life with a satchel of secret spices. Or is that just his natural seasoned musk? Compliment the craftsmanship of his horse's shoes. Lean in for a kiss. Do it. Whoa, 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 whoa. You've known him for a day. Are you really sure? I guess you must be. You put your arms around Colonel Sanders' neck and pull him in for a kiss. But he turns his face and you awkwardly kiss his ear. You can feel him shudder. Too soon. You clearly mistook his compassion for love. Your soul crawls inside of himself and you instantly die of embarrassment. Oh, game over. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. I can give up or I can try again. Let's try again. I fucking died. I actually fucking died, though. <laughs> I died of embarrassment. Oh, are you serious? Oh, it's day two. Thank God. All right. I'm going to skip through this. There we go. Speed through it. Here we go. This game's great. It's shit, but it's great at the same time. I love it. <laughs> And it's free! Do, 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 do. Uh, make up a fake ingredient again. I'm just gonna keep lying to you. I'm not gonna fuck things up with Colonel Sanders. Stand back and admire his majesty. Colonel Sanders' horse is truly a thing of beauty. Without ever acknowledging that he's being watched, he does a short horse dance before dismounting with a flourish. He then slaps the beautiful creature gently on its rear, sending it running free into the countryside. You are so struck by the sight of him that you lose the ability to speak coherently. Oh, I didn't realize anyone was watching. Don't worry, he knows his way home. You attempt to compliment Colonel Sanders, but the words don't come out exactly right. What a horse of full butte you have. I mean, what a horse of full butte you have. Dang it, that's what I that's what I just said. Being a good friend, Miriam attempts to cover for you. Oh, Barry just gets really nervous around people they like. What? This is not helping. I mean, they got uh, food poisoning and were up all night. It was gruesome. You should have seen it. She gives you a wink and a smile as if to say, Situation handled. Can't blame a girl for trying. And with that, Colonel Sanders disappears into the school, leaving you and Miriam to follow. Oh, dear. And there's Jimmy Carr again. That's great. Oh, I love the chicken on the board there. That's the best part. Okay, when you went to the room, hey, look at that. Even Tasmania is on that map. Good on you, map. You did great. When you enter the classroom, you see t your two rivals, Ashley and Van Van, are doing something bad. By the way, they're uh, by the way they're hiding. You know it must be something really bad, like counterfeiting recipes bad, experimenting with restricted ingredients bad, summoning a demon bad. You try and get a peek over Van Van's hulking shoulder, but he sees you coming. Whoa there, little one. I'm not sure you're ready to handle this. Tell him to stop acting immature. Act like you're not interested in them, but really try to get a closer look. You sit near the rivals, but leave your back turned to them. You even hear Van Van mutter something that, that sounds a bit like a magic spell. However, he notices you eavesdropping, and Ashley has a creepy face. You try and cover your tracks and improvise an excuse. Ahem, it's time for class and you're distracting the rest of us who want to learn. Now you've upset them. Oh, and you're the emperor of cooking, are you? You make the rules? I'm not sure you know a good meal if it ain't you. Sure, that's a diss, I guess. The best chef in the world takes more than just culinary skills. It takes creativity, and it takes panache. And it doesn't hurt to use a little evil. You finally get a look at what, what it was they were hiding, and you instantly recognize it. It's a book just like the one that you found after your encounter with the Spork Monster. 
That's the same book I found last night in the quad. Ashley immediately uh, elbows Van Van, who hides the book behind his back. I don't know what you're talking about. The book is a family heirloom and its uh, contents are a secret. You notice they haven't been uh, studying the book. They've got Pop pinned to the wall and they're tossing potato skins at him as he tries to catch them in his mouth. We're playing. <laughs> Before you can dig uh, dig in any further, you're inter interrupted by the arrival of more students. It's almost time for class. Beep, beep. Come on, fuck my best friend Miriam, do it. Clank must be running late. He's such a he's in such a hurry that he rolls right over Van Van's his what? His his meaty foot. Oh god. Oh, hang on, before I continue, I just fucked something up. Let me just see if I can fix that. That is terrible. Hang on. Oh. I think I can fix this. Oh god, no, I probably can't. I might have to disappear for a second. Ah, oh, that's good enough, I guess. There we go. And that will have to do. Alright. Clank must be running late. He's in such a hurry that he rolls right over Van Van's meaty foot. You had me at meat. I'm now hungry. Hey, watch it, you bucket of bolts. You watch you watch how you talk to him. He didn't do anything. He's a lovely robot and he's about to get laid. Oh bzzzt womp. Who do you think you're talking to? I've never heard such language, not even from a stand mixer. Womp womp. No, your mother was a stand mixer. Van jumps to attack Clank, but Chank Clank shocks Van Van, sending him flying across the room. Protect me, Colonel Sanders. These crazed men are about to come to blows. I think it must be over me, but I'm not interested in either of them. <laughs> oh dear. Ashley's tone has completely changed in an instant. She bats her eyelashes at Colonel Sanders. Surely you must know that this is a ruse, right? Gentlemen, get a hold of yourselves. Save it for the arena, at least. Or... Or don't. Honestly, what do I care? I've got lofty career aspirations to focus on. Maybe I can help you with your business plan. Just then, Sprinkles arrives. Just to, uh, arrives to signal the true start of the class day. He's painting, which doesn't seem that... He's, oh, he's panting, which doesn't seem that abnormal. He's a professor, but he's also a dog. He's a secret dog, though. You know, he's one of those special secret ones. Although those are my favourite ones. Secret dog! Secret dog. dog. Students, students, please take your seats. I apologize for my late arrival. I spent this morning chasing a car all around town and my tiny legs are very, very tired. But I'm here now and I hope you're ready to learn. I don't want to learn anymore. I just want to funk something. Ashley, please. Rub his furry dog belly. He loves it. After he catches his breath, Sprinkles regains control of the classroom. Without further ado, we'll review the global history of my favorite fowl, the chicken. You want to pay attention to this lesson, truly you do. Which is why in 1776, the signing of the Declaration of Independence was a chicken who first signed their name. But you can't help but daydream about Colonel Sanders and you miss most of the important parts. When you come to, Sprinkles is holding a tray of food in front of you. Well, Barry, naturally this appears to be a, a sample platter. Which item do you want to sample? There's a glass of water, a shimmering pepper and a dog biscuit. It's got to be a shimmering pepper, surely. A brightly col coloured pepper stands out from the other items. It sparkles in the most eye-catching way. So naturally you reach out to it, grab it, and eat it right away. I have a feeling the dog biscuit was his, and the water, I mean, come on now, that's not real food. However, your body is not prepared for the heat. Oh god, and I'm going to burn my face off. The pepper has triggered an immense spice hallucination. It feels like forever, ha uh, forever as you trip through the, uh, the universe. My friend, ooh, oh, this fucking guy again. I'm here to give you an important message, ooh. You must avenge my death and fulfill your destiny. My destiny? All you must do is... <coughs> I was saying to fulfill your destiny, all you must do is... Oh, sorry, I've still got some spice stuck in my throat. It's fine, I'll work through... <coughs> to fulfill... <coughs> the prophecy... <coughs> You must. You feel yourself begin to regain consciousness. Oh man. You come to and find everyone is staring at you. That pepper was the last of its kind on Earth and now it's gone forever. You think to yourself, geez, I should pay better attention. We all make mistakes. I'm sure he'll forgive you. Someday. <laughs> come on, it's time for lunch. 
Before anyone can relax, the cafeteria lights dim, and your rivals enter to make a dramatic announcement. Today's lunch will be prepared via the timed competitive cook-off. The level of theatrics of these two is off the fucking charts. Demand they stop wasting everyone's time. St step up to them and tell them, you're on. We're doing this. You are so on. A bit of lunchtime competition, eh? Count me in. If I have to wipe the tables with you fools before I set my lunch down, then so be it. I I'm not the fool. You're the fool. Fool! Good one, Van Van. I like your gumption, Barry. I'll be watching your performance. Just as things reach a boiling point, Sprinkle steps in. Surely he'll put a stop to this madness. Now, now, students, please settle down. This is a lunchroom, not a sports... Uh, a, a sportsing court? The fuck is that? Finally, a little sense. You breathe a sigh of relief. At least not until we turn on the timer. Oh, God. Timer ready. Just then a huge light blasts you in the face, flashing the words, timer ready. That's what I'm talking about. Aroo! <laughs> I stand corrected. Oh dear, no, he's gone full, uh, he's gone full wolf on us now. Which is a bit of a worry, uh. uh. The hard way builds solidly a foundation of confidence that cannot be swept away. And that's an original quote by me, in case anyone's wondering. I hope its message lifts you to victory. Like a diamond, I was formed under pressure, and now my chance, now is my chance to shine. I will defeat you myself. You had his chicken and you made mashed potatoes and gravy on day one and you're feeling like you can really impress him again here. It's time to boil some water for the potatoes. Think fast, if the timer runs down you'll be forced to pick randomly. Okay, what temperature does the water boil at? Uh, it always boils at 100 seconds, 100 degrees uh, Celsius maybe. That's right, but how could you have ever gotten into the school without knowing that? When it gets to rub my furry belly, let that enticing offer motivate you. You're going to need to season this chicken before you cook it. You don't know Colonel Sanders' recipe exactly, but you have an idea. How many herbs and slices did he use? Eleven. That's right. You must not know all of the ingredients yet, but at least you're, you're headed in the right direction. Tail wagging intensifies. Fuck yeah. Now that you've got some basic steps going, it's time to elevate your craft. What state of mind offers the most flavor? Uh... Gratitude. That's right, you must never take this opportunity for granted if you hope to succeed. Your classmates are rooting for you, but Ashley is simply stronger and faster than you. You better pick up the pace if you want to survive. When you were a child, your father told you to never forget where you came from. Every day, you meditate on his advice and draw energy from that place. Now, what would be a way to harness that energy? Where does it come from? Uh, deep beneath the small town. The shoulder of Orion. That's wrong. This is a horrible time to start forgetting important things. Next question. You try to shut out the noise of the arena and focus on your cooking. What's the sound of success? Uh, bubbling, uh, sizzling. That is also wrong. Don't make me get the spray bottle. Next question. You notice Colonel Sanders out of the corner of your eye. I believe in you, Barry. He's actually cheering you on, which would be awesome, except knowing he's watching you or makes you totally forget what you were doing. Now all you can think about is Colonel Sanders. How many spoonfuls of gravy would it take to fill a traditional, I don't know, fuck you. What were you thinking? Get your mind back in the competition. Urgh. You were stranded on a desert island with only one desert cookbook. Uh, which do you take? What a hunk. I know, right? You know what? Sh shouldn't you be focused on the challenge? You're falling behind. Exchanging wedding vows? On a gondola, fuck. What does that have to do with crafting spectacular fried chicken and delicate baked biscuits? Woof woof, you are really struggling to keep up. At the next station over, Ashley's already begun plating elements of her dish. It's colourful and complex. To make up time, you toss your biscuit dough into a stand mixer. A stand mixer. As you do, the crowd gasps. Eh, uh, y yikes <laughs> I know you love nothing more than seeing a fellow appliance utilised in a kitchen battle, but sometimes that means sacrificing the personal touch. <laughs> Might not have have any hands, but Barry does, and a good chef needs to be touching the dough to know when it's properly mixed. That's an easy way and a hard way. You don't get far by by going the easy way. When you hear everyone talking, you realize how serious your error was. You immediately shove your hand into the mixer and rescue your dough before it's overmixed. Barry, no! But you're not fast enough. Your hand gets stuck. It's immediately crushed by the quick spinning beaters. There's no way you'll be able to use that hand for the rest of the match. Colonel Sanders shakes his head in shame. 
what you often find is that, easy, that the easy way can turn out much, much more dif difficult. Everyone, stop what you're doing right now. The battle is over. It can't be. I was so close to finishing my dish. Sweetheart, look at your hand. You simply cannot go on. Oh, that's too bad. And here I am with a completed dish ready to serve. Surely that makes me the winner by default. No, no, it wouldn't be fair to com compare the two on account of Barry's injury. You see, Sprinkles begin to lick his doggy chops as he locks onto the dish. But I suppose you should at least tell us what you prepared. Well, because I'm the sweetest, I skipped straight to dessert. Oh, look at that. Under his white, ch uh, under this white chocolate dome, you find a wide array of delights. T taking you on a journey of flavor that tastes good and tells a story of excellence. Here you go, what's this? There she is. <laughs> That's it. It's his best girl. Best wife. That's it. <laughs> oh dear. That's oh, good. That is just good. Look at that. <laughs> oh, where's my Will Smith? I'm going to need a Will Smith for that. Uh, oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. That's pretty hot. I like that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. My food. That's pretty good. Oh dear, that is good times. I love it. Oh dear. It tastes of excellence. I was going to ask Barry to do the honor, but since you're injured, I'm afraid that pouring this cream or delicate hot sauce might be too difficult. Colonel Sanders, if you wouldn't mind lending me your strong, steady hand. Colonel Sanders pours the hot chocolate sauce on top of the dome, causing it to melt away, revealing the ingredients hidden within. Oh my god. Inside, you'll find a delicate fried cheese croquet uh, atop a slice of honeycomb, ice cream two ways, tender nougat, and pearls of blueberry gelée. Colonel Sanders seems intrigued, but perhaps not impressed as he dips his finger into the into the chocolate mm. sauce. Simplicity isn't your strong suit, is it, is it Ashley? <gasps> oh, you. <laughs> He's not very impressed, though, as he places a sauce-covered a, a sauce covered finger to his lips. Ashley leans over and whispers something into his ear. A dab of sauce sticks to his mustache. Internalize the rage, you feel. Put yourself between Colonel Sanders and Ashley. Just internalize the rage for now. Your rage burns so intensely within your eyes that they burst into flames. The flames cause your eyebrows to catch fire and turn to ash, and they fall off of your face. Which means people will have a hard time understanding your emotions for the rest of the semester, perhaps forever. Embarrassed and ashamed by your poor performance, not to mention your crispy fried brow, you run for the quad to be for the quad to be alone. Okay, I've lost my eyebrows, everybody. The beautiful weather feels like an insult inside of you. A storm rages. It's Colonel Sanders. He's probably here to tell you that he and Ashley are in love and have decided to get married. And he won't even ask you to cater his wedding because you're a terrible chef and an awful person. You try to hide from him, but he approaches you directly. I know you're hurting right now. Not just from the devastating loss, but from that run-in with the mixer that is. And that small fire. We should get that checked out. I'm fine. Can't you just leave me alone? I'm a loser. I'm not fit to fill your fryer. I'll never be a master chef. Failure is, is a part of life. Not just for you, but for all of us. Do you think I've, I've never failed at anything before? That's exactly what I think, actually. Well then, think again. I wasn't always the man you see before you. Enrolled in a culinary school, incredibly handsome, successful, motivated. Well, handsome, sure, I was born that way. But I've walked other paths and arrived at dead ends. I was passionate about life, but I failed as an obstetrician. Motivated? <laughs> I didn't know. People see my de delicate, my delicate ribbon tie and my well-kept beard and assume that I've got it all together, which is true now, but it hasn't always been. Sounds like this guy could really use a hug. I resolved then that I was going to amount to something. No amount of uh, of hours, labor, or money could deter me from giving the best I had to give. As Colonel Sanders changes focus, you can see something ignite inside of him. A burning passion. One has to remember that every failure can be a stepping stone to something better. My new dream is pure. It's honest. It's something that a no humble man in a crisp white suit can be proud of. I will create a new chain of chicken restaurants that will bring joy to the entire world and make up for my past misdeeds. Yay! 
Just as your moment grows intimate, you're interrupted by a threatening, shadowy presence. Battle scarred from the night before, you prepare for the worst. It's the Spork Monster. Borko? It is I. I know I said I wouldn't be back after the whole fight to the death thing. Maybe you don't really want to see me anymore, but... I just wanted to say that I was wrong to attack you, and I apologize. I, I know what it's like having to always look over your shoulder. It's got so many eyes. Monster problems, am I right? Yeah. Oh, thanks, Borker. I'm glad that there are no hard feelings. Getting jumped by a giant creature in the dark of in the dark of night can really rile a person up. I also want to apologize for the way I switched right into attack mode. I know I know that you're strong and cooking school can put a person under a lot of stress. I actually used to go to this school. I wasn't always a spork monster, you see. I don't believe it. You were human once? Well, no, I was a golden retriever, but I, uh, I was still a student until one day some mean kids with a magic spell book cast a dark enchantment on me and I was forever transformed. Magic spell book? Precisely. I procured a copy for myself, but somewhere along the way I've lost it. If you find such a book, I beg you to respect it. You're a powerful chef and, I sh and shouldn't rely on such dark and evil magic. No, you should be protecting the innocent from those who would cheat them through sorcery and guile. If you need me, don't fear. I will be there. Sounds like there are some bad cooks in the kitchen of life. Barry, together and I, uh, uh, together I am sure we can defeat them. Come back to my hideaway and we can discuss. Personal invite. You can't imagine what Colonel Sanders' home must be like, but it sounds like you're about to find out. Oh, look at this fucking place. Stepping inside Sanders' home surrounded by his things, you start to feel a special bond with him. It looks like... It looks like you live such an exciting life, Colonel Sanders. Every day can be an adventure if you approach it with the right attitude. Long ago, I made the decision to never stop searching. Never stop working. Never stop imagining. Have you been working on any new recipes of your own lately? I'm always excited to talk about food with another ambitious chef. Well, there is something. It's just a side dish that I've been tinkering with, trying to find the right balance of flavors and textures. I'm not sure I've nailed it yet, but I'm close. Colonel Sanders' eyes perk up as he starts to wonder what dish you might be describing. It's it's meant to pair with something spicy or something crispy or both, perhaps? Now you've got him right where you want him. Should you reveal your new creation to him? Or keep it a secret just for you? Reveal your secret. You decide that as you're ready, you're as ready as you'll ever be to share your original cooking with Colonel Sanders. Before you can talk yourself out of it, you decide to dive in head first. You reach into your lunch bag for a special dish that you've been keeping on ice all day. I present to you my original coleslaw. The shredded cabbage dish glistens in the light of Colonel Sanders' Lux Hideway. <gasps> oh, magnificent. Together you chow down on the creamy slaw until just a spoonful remains in the bowl. Do you mind if I hold on to the last bite? I'd like to have it around so I can admire its taste later and think back to this moment. You could offer to make him more, but he seems like a very sentimental kind of guy. Sure, why not? Please make yourself comfortable. I'll be back in just a moment. He's going to steal the recipe from me, isn't he? You realize that now would be the perfect time to do some snooping. Oh, <gasps> snooping! We're going to do some snooping! Snooping as usual! Fucking snow. I was going to saving this for another occasion, but I guess now is the time to bring it out. Snooping as usual, I see. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh dear. Around the room are various items that you can look closer at. Each item seems to radiate memories and emotions. Tap on an item to discover more about the Colonel. Okay, what's this? He's a baby with some chicken. He was always bald. An adorable little baby boy uh, uh, crawls across the floor. From the goatee and mustache combo esports. You figure this must be Colonel Sanders himself. Oh god. I gotta stay awake though. That or maybe the drumstick that he seems to be uh, waving like a rattle? I don't know. Who frames a baby picture of just themselves? Probably just the same type of person that would make their own face the logo of the company they founded, am I right? Tap on another item. There's an urn here. You take a closer look at a large urn sitting on a nearby pedestal. There's a plaque on it. It's dusty, but when you wipe it off, you read the inscription. It says, Here, here lie the ashes of all my past careers and business failures. Poor guy. 
I didn't realize he had fucked up so many times. This must be where he keeps the secret recipe. You think for a moment, what number is important to Colonel Sanders? Then, then it dawns on you. As soon as you turn the dial to 11, 11, 11. How can you turn a dial to 11, 11, 11? I guess just like turn it around in complete circles. The safe opens. Inside it, you find a single note. Can chicken be prepared? Sashimi style? Hmm. Tap on an item to discover more about the colonel. Oh, the door just suddenly opened. It's about to turn into a horror game. A, a, a lock of silver hair is woven through the teeth of the comb. Upon further inspection, you realize that the hair therein isn't just silver in color. It's actually made of spun silver. Hmm. Oh, he's got actual silver hair, even. A scented candle. You pick it up and try to identify the smell. Hmm. Huh. Power tool. Freshly starched collar. Piece of wood floating in a lake. Summer of 69. Oh my god, I knew we'd see it eventually. There it is. I knew it would pop up again. Oh my god! Uh, no, it's one of the secret recipe ingredients. It's jizz! Tap on a, an item to discover more about the kernel. Uh, giant chicken. You know, it's a very realistic stuffed chicken sitting in a corner on a corner table. When you pick it up, you realize it isn't just realistic, it's real. Taxidermy. Must have been important to Colonel Sanders when it was alive. A little note clipped to the chicken's foot reads, The true state bird of the great state of Kentucky. Huh. Oh, okay. Oh, what's this over here? You gaze out the window across the vast lake and mountain range beyond. Just then the ghost, or a student, pops up. Are you thinking about heading out into the world on a quest to avenge my death? Wait, what? I, I never even learned your name. Why would I avenge you? I could just tell you my name right now. It's can't you see I'm in the middle of something? You open the door, a crack, and the ghost of the student is swept out with a breeze. What a fucking loser. What's this here? One of the framed photos shows an old man who looks like a, a bit like Colonel Sanders. Standing with a friend, they hold uh, fried chicken drumsticks that appear to be che cheersing them. Okay, so we're not, it's not the original Colonel Sanders who's our, our husbando? I'm confused now. You look closely and see that there's a short inscription. I wonder who who my friend Pete is. Okay. Also got, oh, we've got the pyramids. A photo appears to be Colonel Sanders, except he's an old man visiting the pyramids of Egypt. Maybe this is where he discovered one of his secret herbs and spices. Okay, I think that's everything. Let's head out the door. You open the door to Colonel Sanders' closet and find a row of his signature white suits hanging within. You take one off the hanger and try it on. The jacket's a bit big for you, but it's soft and comfortable. You give yourself a deep hug, breathing in his scent. They say that uh, they say that home is where the heart is. Is this is, is this what they meant? Before you can look any further, you hear Colonel Sanders returning. He has a new dish that he's been working on, and he wants you to taste it. You try to act casual until he asks why you're wearing his jacket. I don't usually loan those out, but I must say it does look good on you. Oh crap, the jacket! You forgot to take it off. Uh, you first tell the truth, you tell him you're cold. You decide now is the moment to make a big move. Whoa, 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 this isn't the, isn't that kind of game. Not that we blame you for trying, but still. Game over, you're dead! <laughs> Try again. You're fucking dead again. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm not very good at romancing Colonel Sanders. Oh, my God. I have to go through all this bullshit again? And what's this link here? Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition Virtual Combos. I don't know what that's got to do with chicken, but okay. I need to get me some chicken into me now after this. There's a KFC nearby. Hopefully they got some chicken. Okay. At least we can skip this shit. Let's go! Let's fucking go! Oh, now I want to play that one because I love it. Let's fucking go. LET'S FUCKING GO! Let's fucking go! Come on now! Okay. The Spork Monster is back. Yeah. Yeah. I do love his little face, though. He's got an adorable little face. Okay, oh god, do I have to click on all the things again? Uh... Reveal it. Reveal your secret. There we go. Hopefully this doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. There's a cock. Uh... There's Ghost Boy, don't care. Ooh, I don't care what your name is. I'm busy trying to get a... Get Colonel Sanders... Get Colonel Sanders pants here. There we go. He has liter he has literal silver hair as the thing. Um, oh, the door is open. I, I better check everything anyway, just in case. 
We want to know everything, especially in his, uh, his babby form. Also, secret herbs and spices. There we go. Find the closet. Now, this time, don't make that kind of move. Uh, fess up and tell the truth. You confess. I think I've developed feelings for you. I'm not sure that my big chicken dreams have left any room in my life for romance right now. Overwhelmed, you take off the jacket and run for the door. But the thought of leaving Colonel in the midst of such an emotional breakthrough leaves gives you pause. You stop yourself. Colonel? Finally made it back to the stream. How's it been so far? It's been an adventure. <laughs> We've gone on so many adventures. There was the giraffe uh, debacle. That was that was curious. Um, now we're trying to um, uh, we're trying to date Colonel Sanders, and uh, it's it's kind of working out, I guess. I suppose. Colonel, yes, Barry. I honestly think this may be the beginning of something wonderful. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What the fuck is this game? I think you're right. We should take things slow. You talk late into the night and drift off into a slumber. Dream sequence! Right. <laughs> Yay! I'm gonna snooze and I'm gonna think about these things riding on chicken, of course. You awake to a beautiful morning in Colonel Sanders' hideaway. You did make the right decision on how to respond to Colonel Sanders. Only time will truly tell. Today is a day that could change the rest of your life. You think about the new secret ingredient you just learned about. Jizz. In some jurisdictions, jizz isn't even isn't even legal, but if the recipe is secret, how will they know? Your thoughts are interrupted when Colonel Sanders emerges into the room. He's holding a gorgeously plated breakfast and your mouth waters at the sight of it. Here's a simple breakfast I just whipped up. It's meticulous. What is this? You taste Colonel Sanders' food and it takes you on a journey. When you return, he's waiting to ask you an important question. It's all getting wibbly wobbly and timey wimey in this game and I don't know how to feel about that. I do not know how to feel about this. So would you say that we're the perfect match? How presumptuous. My cuisine and your taste buds, that is. Such confidence, such grace. Could he be the world's greatest gift to cookery? Let's flatter him. You know, I think we might make a great team. A single tear begins to pull in the corner of his eyes. He gazes out the window. And with the right business partner, I know I can't fail. Business partner? Partner? Could he be talking about you? It's, it's all happening so quickly. Overcome with emotion and confused by your feelings, you're on the verge of tears, unable to speak. The only answer you, you can find is to run out of the door and get home. There's still one more day of school after all. The University of Cooking School Academy for Learning awaits for, uh, waits for no one. You get home to find something very surprising. Your best friend is there waiting for you. Yay, Miriam's back. Where have you been? I... Because I had one heck of a night. I've been desperate to talk to you about it. Oh, she fucked a robot. But I, I couldn't find you. I got worried that something happened to you. It's okay, I just... But now that it turns out you're fine, I can finally get up to speed on this, the saga of Miriam. Sure, but you will not believe what happened to me after school yesterday. I went on a date. I, I, can, I can't believe that. Since I've been partnered up with Clank, he asked me to go out with him. Of course I told him, you be better. You better keep your dolls turned to polite and respectful, I'm not that kind of girl. But he was just interested in spending some one-on-one -on -one time together and getting to know me, so I said, yeah, sure. I can get to know the little metallic guy. Please tell me you went all the way. Long story short, he took me skydiving with his friends, but things quickly spiralled out of control. Did she just say skydiving? Is that... As if that's a typical first day to go on with, with a talking pressure cooker? And now, now I'm not really sure where we stand. You don't give Miriam time to tell her a whole story, however. Bottling up all the details of your own night is just too much to bear. And I went on a date too, back to Colonel Sanders' house where I spend the night with him. <gasps> that's... that's your bye! You what? Nothing happened, but the emotional connection was... <laughs> Wowzers! Just fucking... Just, just wow all day. Where's my wow at? Wow! Wow! <laughs> Nothing happened, but the emotional connection... Miriam tells you to move on from this whole Colonel Sanders obsession and focus on school. Why do I select that, though? That's a bit weird. If being obsessed with Colonel Sanders is wrong, I don't want to be right. After a short argument, you both agree to go your separate ways. Oh no, I've made my best friend all angry. When you arrive at school, you encounter your rivals in the quad. It's best girl. You can tell from a distance that they're picking on Pop, though he himself might not quite grasp that fact. 
Because, you know, he's pop. That's a swirly. It sounds delicious. Oh, it's, it's great. I'll order you one up right away. I'll have my swirly with sprinkles, please. <laughs> sprinkles is a, is a dog and a treat. Oh, he's so special. There's Ashley. You can get your swirly dip too. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Because I'm literally the biggest person at this school. That's fair enough, yeah. There's that one horse that Colonel Sanders rides to school, but who would dare pick on such a gentle and beautiful creature? You got some nerve, Barry, suggesting I pick on a defenseless horse. You're not twisting my words. Uh, now you're twisting my words, and I won't have it. You clench your fist. But the injury from yesterday's mixer accident makes you wince with pain. Doesn't look like you can go on cooking like that. Might as well just give up. I'll never give up. Ever. Colonel Sanders arrives just as, it, uh, uh, just as it appears things are close to boiling over. A naturally intuitive person, he senses that something has been going on. Is everyone excited for the final day of school? Bowery, how's that hand feeling? I'm sure you'll be back in fighting form by this afternoon. Aren't you concerned about my hands, Colonel? Yesterday I almost broke a nail winning so hard. I love you, Ashley. You're the bitch for me. I love it. <laughs> I love mean girls. They're the best. Technically, I don't believe a winner was decided, but your presentation was quite impressive. What? What? What is he doing complimenting her? But what about the flavor of my delicate, warm, gooey chocolate sauce? It was clear that you're passionate about how your food is received. That's a lot of words to say. That's a lot of words to say it was bland. Audrey time, baby. I know. It's, I can't wait to go back to Honey Pop 1. It's going to be great. I don't know if I'll get around to it this week, though. Because I think I might want to continue on with Honey Pop 2 as a thing. Because Ashley's in it. Excuse me, Barry. I'm, I'm more than capable enough to speak for myself. Maybe you could tell me uh, uh, more of your thoughts as we walk to class, Colonel. I'm always interested in discussing the fine art of fine foods. See you inside, Barry. Annoyed by Colonel Sanders' inability to see Ashley for who she, for, for, for who you know she really is, you walk across the quad to get some distance. In an attempt to distract yourself from how sl slighted you feel by the in that interaction with Ashley, you take out the spell book you recovered yesterday and start flipping through the pages. Oh, that's that book. It looks like bad news. It's just something I found lying around. It would appear to be some sort of grimoire, but I, I don't really believe in that magic stuff. A grimoire? Like a book of spells? Oh, I don't know. Who would spend so much time decorating a magic book if it, if it weren't really powerful? I can't think of one surefire... I can think of one surefire way to find out. You open a page covered with arcane warnings. Cast only in case of extreme emergency, it says around the edges of the page. I could use this spell where it says it will erase anyone I choose from all of my memories. If I scrub out Colonel Sanders, it will probably help me focus better on the upcoming final exam. That is way drastic. Couldn't you just do something else like uh, anything else not rooted in dark magic? Maybe tie a string around your finger? Okay, fine. It is drastic, but desperate times call for, call for desperate measures. You've got a memory erasing spell sitting right in front of you and a pretty good excuse to try it out. Cast the forbidden spell. No, don't do it. Don't do it. You don't want to lose your memory of Colonel Sanders. Come on now. The extra tasty crispy. You you take your friend's advice and put the book away. It's almost time for class. Sprinkles is already in the room, waiting for the students to arrive. He clears his voice to make a quick announcement. I want you all to know I feel something of a dog moment coming on, but I assure you it's nothing to be afraid of. His cute little nose scrunches up and he begins to breathe quickly. He must be hungry. Reach for some old homework to give him as a snack. Dogs can be rather unpredictable, especially Sprinkles. Wait to see what happens. Sprinkles stops in his tracks. He focuses out in on the window. The room is deadly silent. When you follow his gaze, you see a tiny orange squirrel perched on the cherry tree outside. Sprinkles turns feral and runs to the window of the classroom. He begins barking uncontrollably at the squirrel outside. Terence, I told you never to come back here, Terence. I will destroy you, Terence. I'ma kill you now. Thank you for playing. Oh, thank you forever. Sprinkles is barking ferociously, drool flying off his face. The squirrel looks over, but he doesn't say anything back. You wonder, is that even a talking squirrel? Who named him Terence? 
You better not show your chubby cheeks around here ever again! After Sprinkles are satisfied that his presence has been felt by not only Terence, but any other squirrel at hearing distance, he returns to his professional tone. Ahem, I apologise for the outburst. This actually brings up an important point. Thank you, Barry, for reminding me to dole out this indispensable bit of wisdom, you see. But before he can go any further, Miriam's love drama spills all over the class. Sprinkles is interrupted by words and sparks coming from the back of the room. I told you to save it for, uh, save it for after class. You think I wanted to be thrown from a plane strapped to, to, to a stranger? Miriam and Clank appear to be arguing, but you still haven't learned to speak Clank's language of mechanical noises. Brrr. He's angry, though. But no, you had to show off to your cool kid friends, Jeff and Joan. J and J forever. Watch us from a, triang a triangle in midair as we descend. Triangles are the strongest shape, don't you know? Yeah, well, that doesn't make it a great date. Beat. And take Jeff and Joan with you. You can all hold hands as you pedal down down the mountain or off a cliff for all I care. Sad beep. Oh, I wanted them to fuck. Clank begins to shudder. Steam pours out of the gaps in his panels. Then a loud ding stops him in his tracks. Beep. No amount of seasoning is going to make me want to eat that, Clank. Clank burps out a completely deep fried sneaker. Considering that he himself has wheels, not feet, it's not entirely clear where it came from. In terms of deep fried footwear, it's... I guess it looks okay. Clank slowly rolls out of the room to be alone with his shoe. Everyone tries to pretend that like they didn't see that entire thing go down. Awkward as fuck. Nothing like a loud public breakup to cast uh, a pall over the, the, the final day of school. Well, uh, that was unfortunate. But we mustn't be distracted from what lies ahead. The final competition showdown. Challenge exam, TM. I'm still working on the title, but I think you get it. The test time approaches. See you all in the arena. But before you can think about your upcoming competition, there's a very beautiful soul nearby in need of a pep talk. Hey, Miriam. Are you okay? Okay, I'm so mad I could smash a tiny mug spilling several droplets of hot cocoa all over the floor. How could he embarrass me in class like that in front of everyone? Her tiny cocoa is a delicious treasure, so you know that this is a, this breakup is no joke, even if the source of her frustration is uh, such a such a silly boy. I I know that you know this, but I'm going to say it out loud. You don't need anyone. Me and you we're going to cruise to this final test and hit the carpool lane to Success City. Miriam brightens up, imagining the 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 wind rushing through her short bangs. But she hesitates to embrace the feeling all the way. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna... You're not gonna saddle up on Colonel Sanders' stallion and ride off into the sunset without me? Of course not. Well, maybe sort of, but... I, I, I'm sure there's there's a pony out there with your name on it and a ranch big enough for both of us to... And, and whoever else we want to bring along. If it's not Pop or Clank or anyone else you meet, meet today, tomorrow or this, this whole year, so what? You're a special person who shouldn't settle f uh, for the first someone you show a little interest uh, to, to show a little interest anyhow. Miriam gives you a big hug and wipes the tears from her cheeks. I really should review my menu for today. I'm going to make a very special soup. And I bet that Professor Dog is going to love it up. While you were pep talking, Miriam, you completely missed lunch, but that's okay, because you, you have a better idea of how to spend the time before your exam. You decided to head to the arena early to practice a dish. This is it. The location of your final challenge. A test of will. A test of courage. A test of talent. And a test to beat the pants off of Van Van and uh, the supposed Man Man and his evil counterpart, Ashley. As planned, you begin to run through a quick test of... Re uh, a quick test of a recipe you've been working on, Barry's famous chicken pot pie. After practicing for months, making this dish comes second nature to you, and you're able to quickly get a fresh pot pie in the oven. But as soon as you do, your cram session is interrupted by Colonel Sanders. Barry, what are you doing here? There's still time for the final exam. Oh, just take it all in. 
I'm big into visualizing success. I'm looking at my station and picturing victory. Pot pie has begun to bake, and the, s the smell is slowly filling the space around you. Visualizing, huh? That's too bad. I was hoping you were you were here cooking something delicious. You'd usually ha happily stare, s share your food with anyone who was hungry, but the last time you let Colonel Sanders get in your head, it cost you a cook-off. You decide that it's time to put your cooking above your romantic desires, but that decision gets hard to stick to when the oven timer goes off behind you. Fess up about your practices. Ignore it. Like, like there was no sound at all. I guess I'll fess up. Okay, okay, you got me. I'm doing a little bit more than visualizing. I know, my, my nose can smell a pot pie from 400 yards. That's an oddly specific distance, but you'd expect nothing less from such an oddly specific man. You know it was a pot pie from just the smell? Not just a pot pie, but a, a chicken pot pie with an all-butter crust. And my nose is telling me something else. Oh no, is it burning? <laughs> no, I can smell that it was made with a heaping helping of TLC. But it'll probably start burning any second if you don't pull it out. <laughs> chicken! The moment of truth. Wow. <laughs> Everyone keeps fucking saying it. This is getting ridiculous. Wow. Wow. Oh, shit. Why did I click out of the... Oh, God. How did I click out of the window like that? That's crazy. There we go. Wow. It's the best pot pie I've ever tasted. I've always loved country cooking and I could eat this all day. There's no time left. The final showdown is about to begin. Sprinkles lays down the ground rules. There are no rules. That is, except to cook with everything you've got. You step up for the cook-off of a lifetime. You decide that mac and cheese. You decide the mac and cheese plus the pot pie you've been practicing are just the dishes that'll put push you over the edge to victory. Oh my god, this seems to be the longest one you've done today. Oh yeah, by far, definitely. Meanwhile, both Van Van and Ashley are prepping wildly to uh, wildly uh, are prepping wildly elaborate dishes per their usual over the top cells. Oh, they've got a magic book. To They're using the grimoire though, aren't they? Miriam has her giant magnifying glass and several sets of tweezers. She's definitely prepared to go go big, going small. Colonel Sanders seems to be harnessing his 11 herbs and spices, but he's trying to find a way to improve on something perfect. His original recipe, registered trademark, fried chicken. The intensity of the room starts at, uh, at a full 10 out of 10 with a frenzy of action. Everyone is calling out to, to uh, calling out really cool special cooking uh, moves as they prepare their, their food. Wow, this is getting serious, fuck's sake. Wow. <sighs> Colonel Sanders <laughs> patters his chicken as it levitates through the air. Egg wash. <laughs> Egg wash. I love how he says it, it's great. That's, I think that's a reference to how he, he would say, say that in the commercial. Miriam furiously injects ingredients into an itty bitty pot of broth. Best friend, ba ba base to blaster. Van Van flexes his pectorals as he chops open a sea urchin. Let's rock and roll <laughs> Ashley scoops her pa pastries off the tray with lightning speed. Shallow personality spatula. Even Clank gets in on it. Five dial pressure point chicken cooking technique. Oh, he finally speaks English. Wait, when did Clank learn to speak English? It's the singularity as was foretold. We mustn't let it happen, or the appliance uprising will take us all. self destruct No, Van Van quickly unplugs Clank and rolls him into the back door of the arena. As you frantically prepare your dish, you notice Ashley has her spell book out. Is she going to use some dark magic to turn the tide? You've got a book of your own, and you're desperate, and you're desperate not to see her win another battle. Should you take this opportunity and fight magic with magic, even if it's almost certainly evil magic? Oh, I don't know. Maybe if Ashley does this, she'll die. Do it the hard way. You've got a book of your own. Uh, do it the hard way. Who needs magic when you've got passion? Passion! Hang on, I need that in. We're gonna need that for fucking uh, next stream on Thursday. Where's my passion? I've got talent. There's ta talent's good. There's talent. 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 <laughs> Where's passion, though? Passion. Here we go. Passion. There's passion. There we go. We gotta get our passion in. Passion! <laughs> I'm gonna do it the hard way. 
Colonel Sanders sees that you've chosen to win on your own terms and he gives you a subtle wink from across the room. Yeah, doing it right. I believe in you, Barry. No dark magic will ever stop you. Miriam notices too. And I've always believed in you, Barry, since we were little kids because... Because I'm your best friend forever. You turn to notice that Miriam is at your station cheering for you. Miriam, what about your dish? If you're here cheering, who's cooking? Tiny food, short cook time. I'm actually already done, so I thought I'd help you. Oh, that's sweet, but Miriam tosses a handful of spices directly into your boiling noodles. It's the secret ingredient. However, she doesn't know that you lied and the ingredient was made up. And where in the world did she get I have Newt from? The boiling pot explodes, sending Miriam flying backwards. The watery noodles begin to swirl in the air, bubbling up into a dark cloud that thickens and congeals before your very eyes. It is I, Steve the Spork Monster. Steve? Wait, what happened to Borko? You're not here to battle me, are you? Well, Spork Monsters are many. I, I think Borko had the day off, but you have conjured Steve and I hate to battle, so I'd say you're doing pretty alright. Oh hey, you're in the middle of cooking of a cooking competition. I love this stuff, it's better than TV. You kids and your culinary skills really impress me. Mind if I hang out? I'm sorry, Steve, but I'm kind of in the middle of something. Do you mind, uh... Steve the Sport Monster notices that you've got the grimoire stashed between your cooking station. I... I, I see that you're up to crisscross some... Uh, I, I, I see that you're up to crisscross some magical items. And accidentally summon me, huh? Oh, uh, yeah, you, you guessed it, sort of. If you're here, would you mind tossing me some fresh noodles in a pot of salted water? I'd love to. I've always wanted to be a, a, a top chef, actually. You know, when I was just a little sport pup back in the old day, in the old country. You can feel sport monster winding up to tell you a long and involved story. You don't know exactly where they come from, but uh, it seems like it would probably be lonely there. Actually, you know what? Maybe you should watch from the stands. I really need to focus on this competition. I understand. It's kind of like that time in Monster School where I... that I'd fallen asleep during scare tactics class, and then I woke up. You toss a serious stare at Steve, and he... he takes the hint. <laughs> Never mind, I'll tell you later. Good luck! Having suffered his huge setback, you don't know how... how you, uh, You could ever win. Summon extra power from deep within yourself. Give up and drop out of culinary school. No! Use the power within. I can do this. I have what it takes. I came here to win. Your hair turns mac and cheese orange as a culinary energy flows through your body. My heart is pure. My hands are steady. My taste buds have been preparing their entire lives for... Yes, Barry, you are the chosen one. You will avenge me. The power you've been summoning immediately fades back out. You interrupted my inspiring monologue. Sorry. My heart is pure, my hands are steady, my taste buds have been preparing their entire lives for this moment. I'll show the world my cookery! You begin to levitate off the ground, energy courses through your body. You know that this power, that with this power you can do anything, except turn back time. That would be super useful because while you were powering up your chicken pot pie overcooked in the oven and can't be served. But don't worry, dear Barry, you, you may have suffered some setbacks, but all is not lost. Impressed with your fortitude, Colonel Sanders decides decides that you have earned this, his support. I've been watching you today, and I must say I'm truly impressed. You've been thinking on your feet and rolling with the punches. He steps up to your, your station and stands right beside you. I am here to help. All you've managed to make is mac and cheese, and time is almost up, so you're going to need it. But Colonel Sanders, what about the test? What will happen to you? What about the rules? Following the rules has never been my thing. I follow my heart. What. A. Guy. Colonel Sanders unfolds a delicate white towel to reveal the most delicious fried chicken tenders you'd ever laid your eyes on. And besides, sometimes unexpected combinations have surprising effects that surpass their individual efforts. Are you suggesting if we combine forces, we can form the perfect food union and make the most adorable food baby ever? Time's up, students. With time expired, it's the moment everyone has been waiting for. You must now prepare to present your dishes. A handful of students stand tall, but the class seems incomplete. It seems we're missing some students. Pop? Clank? From off screen with a pure heart and innocent giggle that can only come from one student. Hee hee hee, I'm flying! It sounds like it's coming from that broom closet over there. Miriam, would you mind, uh, 
Inside of the closet, you see Pop hanging from a broom hook by the elastic of his underpants. Pop, get down from there right now. Let me guess, did Van Van have something to do with this? When someone asks for a wedgie, who am I to refuse? I thought a wedgie was a salad. <laughs> it looks like Pop is eliminated from the challenge, seeing, seeing how he didn't cook anything. I can't feel my legs. May I be excused? Sure. You kids and your pranks. I must say, it's not the worst prank in UC UCSAL history, but it's not exactly yearbook material. Wait a second. Pranks. Pranks. Clank! Where did that pressure cooker roll off to? You wait to hear a signature whir, beep, or other onomatopoeia, but, 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 but there is none. Somehow he, he just must have gotten unplugged, I guess. We'll have to figure that out later, I guess. That leaves only four remaining students. Please collect your final projects. Yes, it has been a long semester. Wow, three whole, whole days long. But after days of hard work, the time has come for me to eat. Miriam, please step forward. Now describe your dish. I've made tiny foods. Oh, look at it, it's fucking kawaii. Tender udon noodles in a savory soup. My word, it's so delicate. Is that a teeny tiny narutomaki? I spy floating in this itsy bitsy bowl. Yes, chef. Please call me Sprinkles. Chef is my father's name. Yes, Sprinkles. And some green tea I made from baby tea leaves that I picked myself. Sprinkles carefully sniffs around the dish before opening his mouth and letting just the tip of his pink dog tongues dip into the bowl. Sublime, would anyone else like a taste? Oh, come on, I'm not one of those dogs who doesn't floss. I've, I've even have a re I even have a really cute electric toothbrush for dogs. Fine, I'll enjoy it all by myself. And in a flash, the entire meal has been devoured. Not that it took much, it was less than a thimble's worth of soup. A plus. Rarely do I taste a dish with such a, with, with as much love poured into it as yours. Miriam is overjoyed. She gives you a huge hug. Thank you, Barry, for helping me believe in myself. Van Van, you're up. Now describe your dish. I made Oni over smooth egg custard in, a, in an axe-hewn axe urchin shell topped with caviar. Did you skewer one type of urchin with spines from a second different colored type of urchin? Yes, Sprinkles. A bit much, don't you think? That's exactly why I did it. It's a bit, a, a bit much kind of my bra- is, is, what? A bit much is kind of my brand. Doesn't it look cool? Sprinkles leans in to sniff the, the uni, but he, he can't get his nose close enough to, on account of all the spikes. He begins to pour at it erratically, causing the custard to slosh around. Woof! Woof! Please be gentle with my cuisine. <sighs> Finally, Sprinkles goes all in, tongue first, but he can't, can't get past all the needles. He reels back as his tongue is poked and prodded. Youch! My tongue! The professor appears to be having an allergic reaction to the sting. I, I, I can't eat this. My, I keep it poking my tongue. It keeps poking my tongue. Disqualified. A stunning turn of events. Who would have thought that serving food in a bowl made of needles could make, could make it difficult to eat? Dejected Van Van does does not go into it does not go gentle into the night. Disqualified for glamour. Don't discount simplicity. This isn't the last you've heard of me. Before forcing us to endure his swollen tongue for another moment, Sprinkles graciously laps up a bowl of milk. I know, I know, yeah, I'm a dog and I drink milk. Get over it. Sometimes it helps calm my agitated tongue. Next student, Ashley. It's time to step up. Now describe your dish. I made orange blossom Turkish delight in a light rose water shrimp topped with French meringue and uh, and connected by sugar glass. You fucking serious? That actually doesn't sound too bad. Indeed, it's quite delightful. However, I'd like to ask that you please refrain from eating it or attempting to taste it in any way. It's very fragile and I and, and meant to be just on a uh, meant to be a display piece. Don't eat the food? At a cooking school? Got toast in ears or something, Barry? I told you, it's a display piece. Ashley, I must say it is beautiful. However, this is a cooking competition. At a cooking school. 
Yeah, which is why I cooked it and did an extremely good job uh, uh, cooking it too. I didn't realize that we were having an eating exam. If I wanted to be judged on eating, I'd go to the College of Eating School for the Hungry. I suppose you could smell it if you absolutely insisted, but don't breathe too hard. You might disrupt the sugar spiral. If the food cannot be eaten, it cannot be judged. You are disqualified. Rage overtakes Ashley as she finally cannot uh, keep her two-faced routine up. You wouldn't know high-end cuisine if it cooked you. And with that, Ashley storms off to rededicate herself to being the best, but this time without being shackled by trying to be fake nice and and liked by everyone. She's also got a very big knife and I'm very worried about this. This isn't the last you've heard of me either. If this class gets much smaller, I'll be teaching myself. You and Colonel Sanders, the final cooks, step up together. Two chefs, what began as a bowl of delicious mac and cheese has become something else. He examines it closely, sniffing an eye in the bowl. This is a disaster. It's mac and cheese with chicken in it. Is that a real KFC dish? Uh oh, I don't have a good feeling about this. From somewhere in the room, a literal drum roll plays. Just when I thought I'd seen everything in this kitchen, you give me this, this thing. Oh dear. Is that, is that, is that Miko eating a taiyaki? Or a taco yaki? I give you this, this thing. I'm completely blown away. In my 49 dog years of life, I've never tasted anything so delicious and perfectly balanced. It's so delicious, in fact, that ever, everyone passes the, the class. You pass, you pass, and you pass, and you get a pass, and you get a car. Everyone gathers around the and partakes of the mac and cheese bowl. They all seem to transcend this reality into another dimension. You win. Together, you and Colonel Sanders have made a new menu item. The new menu item is so impressive that even Van Van and Ashley are drawn back by its magnificent fragrance. When they gaze upon your mac and cheese bowl, they admit that you are indeed an excellent chef. Sprinkles declares you have passed. Everyone has passed. That there, there were supposed to be more battles, but come, but, but come on, how could they be better than this one? Now that the school year is complete and everyone has graduated, the students return one last uh, for one last assignment to get their groove on. The cafeteria has been completely redecorated in order to serve as the site of a school's graduation dance. Compared to the massive high-tech cooking arena, the humble decor seems to downright cute and cozy. DJ Dog is in the house! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You knew that Sprinkles was a master chef, but also a world-renowned turntablist? Who says you can't uh, teach an old dog new tricks, eh? Van Van and Ashley tell everyone that they've committed themselves to righting the wrongs they did while they were the villains. Also, fucking hell, Ashley. Fucking thigh game for days. I love it. For a moment, you actually believe them. Not another haunting. No ghosts allowed at graduation. It's clearly written in the school's bylaws. It was never actually a ghost, you dickhead. It was all a trick to get you to finally notice me. Oh, amusing. <laughs> And now that everyone is together, it's the Spork Monster. He's totally mellowed out. DJ Doggo? Everyone, this, everyone the Spork Monster is no more. From here on, from here out, I, I prefer that everyone refer to me by my new name, Party Monster. What's this thingy? Oh, DJ Doggo. Caroni. Oh, yeah. God, it's doggy rap. It's lo-fi trap with lyrics. When did she make this? This is great. No money. How about, how about no money? Look at my wallet. No money. Look at my wallet. No money. <laughs> oh my God, what the fuck is this? I love it. I love it. That's so good. Smug doggo face as well. Oh my god, do I have any candy or anything to tide me over? I don't even have any Skittles. Oh dear. I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly see if I can hunt down something. Um, there is nothing here. There is nothing here. Oh, hang on. I see something in the distance. I see something in the distance. Hang on. Uh, do, do, do. Okay, I'm gonna hunt down some candy. I knew it. I found some Dutch candy. Okay. I found some Dutch candies, everybody. Everything's gonna be okay. 
The Dutch windmills. I'll have several. I don't give a shit. There we go. Got a whole box of them. Just barely enough to get me by, maybe. There we go. I've got to plug my headphones back in again. There we go. Ooh, these look delightful. Mm -hmm. Joe, I might have... You might have what? Killed someone? I'm not covering for you again, you know. Oh my god. Oh, that's chewy. Oh, that's chewy. Oh. Oh. Oh, Dutch windmills are chewy. It's party monster time. Student tries to finish what he had to say, but everyone is too wrapped up in talking to Spork. Sorry, to Spork. Sorry, party monster. Sorry, party monster. Oh. But it doesn't get giant often because I totally lost my magic mushroom that makes it super strong. Can I get some some more of them shrooms for you, uh, from you, Aussie man? Um, I would, but I don't know how to leave this country to actually export them anymore. Because this country doesn't allow us to leave anymore. It's kind of shit like that. It's a pity. But yeah, I'd like to leave um, get back to trade, um, drug trades again. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Do you want me to come get you? I mean, you could, but then you'd be trapped here forever. Yay, my magic mushrooms. <laughs> oh, I was too... Everyone's too wrapped up talking to Spork. Sorry, party monster. Dejected, student walks off. Nobody even knows who he is. They don't even know his name. Maybe things didn't work out for Miriam romantically, but she found the love in her cooking. And you know what? She's... Uh, and you know she's gonna... She's gonna do great. I wanted her to fuck the robot. A red carpet rolls out across the floor of the ballroom. It's like a Hollywood movie premiere. Who could command such an entrance? It's Pop. He's arrived late to the dance, but apparently for good reason. Walking the carpet, you see, perched atop his, uh, his uh, dirty chef's hat. A crown? Welcome back, Pop. I know you weren't able to complete the final exam and accept your diploma, so we had it mailed directly to your father. We figured it was the least we could do for for the school's dean. Oh, now I get it. And we get a, a, next, a new wing in the school, not to mention the honour of educating the son of the Chancellor of su such and such. Well, shit, I didn't know he was so high profile. Oh dear, I'm an American, we have guns, I own guns. You guys can't fend off emus. I think I'm good. Sup, nobody. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Maybe if you if you can like three D print guns here. I wish I could do that. Just three D print some stuff and get a laser beam going or something. I don't know. You can. You just need specs. I I'd heard about people three D printing guns. I think it's a great idea. Get it past customs in the airport, even. The music at the dance is interrupted by the sound of sparking and electrical hissing. It's Clank, who has arrived late to the dance. Yes, fuck her, come on. Now that I have graduated, I can reveal my truth. Well, he's still doing the talking thing. I am Clank, and I am not of this earth. I am actually a far, I'm from a faraway planet in another dimension. What? What? I actually feel like I knew this the whole time. Now that I've learnt the ways of your kind, I must return. Miriam, will you come with me? I don't know what to say. Besides, no, obviously. I've just begun to learn who I really am. This isn't the time for me to devote my life to figuring out who you are, Clank. You're blown away by Miriam's maturity. It's pretty clear she has managed to surpass you in that regard. Oh, I wanted them to fuck, though. Do you know how to work Semu? Uh, I do. It's pretty nifty. Semu is good. Um, I haven't actually used it in quite some time, but it's updated quite a lot. He told me if it doesn't fit, we'll make it fit. <laughs> we will make it fit. Where we're going, we don't have to worry about it fitting. I understand, kind of. Humans are weird. A portal opens up and Clank disappears through it. Finally, Colonel Sanders arrives. Here we go. Howdy, classmates. Just like the first day you met him, he has come prepared to feed the entire class. However, it's not enough just to give them a bucket of chicken. It's This time, it's a full meal. I, I didn't get to, get to be the most famous chicken man in history, in the history of chicken and a man by, and man by not re reminding people to go out and buy my, uh, buy my chicken. 
We've got chicken, we've got my coleslaw that he's stolen, the potato and gravy also he stole from me, and uh, biscuits. The end, question mark? It's not over. I didn't get to be the most famous chicken man in the history of chicken and man by not reminding people to go out and buy my chicken. No, it's not the end. As everyone feasts on their delicious chicken dinner, Colonel Sanders finds you sitting at the edge of the dance floor. Oh yeah, it's not over yet. Why is he wearing like a dentist's outfit? This is crazy. I'll need some help with it after the stream. Uh, I won't be around after the stream, unfortunately, but I will be able to help you uh, tomorrow if you're around for that. I can do that. Because I kind of have to disappear real quick after stream. Where is Ashley? That's the question. Oh, she popped up earlier on. She's wearing, she's wearing her hot pants and thighs for days. I love it. Barry, what are you doing sitting all alone? Oh, you know, just waiting for the right person to ask me to dance. I wonder, might you tell me what are the qualities that you would expect to find in such a lucky person? Off the top of my head, oh, I don't know, a spicy musk, a tidy goatee, and a degree from the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning, just to name a few. I mean, at this thing. Yeah, she's here. You mean the dance? Yeah, we've seen her already. It's truly my lucky day. Would you dance with me? Yes, I would love to. As you glide across the dance floor, hand in hand with Colonel Sanders, the future stretches out in front of you. And once my 100th franchise is up and running, I'll be ready to take a day off and I'll be so glad to spend it together with you, Barry. How sweet! We'll work together and play together. Colonel Sanders stops dead in his tracks. Work together? Well, uh, I think this is going to be something I'll just need to do by myself. But who will you help run, the, run your restaurants? I don't believe I need help. Besides, based on your time at, at, at school here, do you really think running restaurants is the best path forward? Could it be you found a, a love connection but failed to earn Colonel Sanders' respect as a chef? Could you live with only half of him? Would you be, will you be able to endure sharing him with his other love, the, the life of an entrepreneur? I suppose I could enroll at a pastry school. Oh my dear Barry, I'm sure that you'll find your place eventually. And along the way you'll have me by your side. The end. <laughs> what the fuck is this game? What the fuck is this game? Uh. <laughs> uh. Jesus fucking Christ. Is, are they feeding that bird some hormones so that it grows quicker? Oh my god, let's watch the opening again. Yeah. <laughs> it's this. Well, this was a game, I guess. Uh. Oh god. We need all the nannies in the chat right now. This is absolutely fucking ridiculous. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. This is madness. It's absolute madness. Oh Jesus. So yeah, that's a that's the game. Uh oh my god, you can load up uh, uh, from any other points in the game, but there you go. <laughs> the credits. No, the credits. Yes, there are. Oh, okay. Thank you to all these wonderful people that made this game that you can get for free on Steam. You might as well grab it. It's fantastic. I love you, Colonel Sanders. Now I want KFC. This is fucking ridiculous. But there you have it. I love you, Colonel Sanders. A finger-licking good dating simulator. A thing that exists, and I am very, very glad that it does. Oh, jeez. Where's my music? Oh, my God. It's still Valentine's Day 2022. We still have some time left. So, I mean, we're not going to get through all of the games, but uh, let's see if there's anything else to do. Will I do the, you know, the next best thing would be the Cooking Simulator Valentine's Day thing, wouldn't it? All right, we're going to do it then. It's Cooking Simulator with, now with the uh, Valentine's Day update. We'll see how it goes. I'm sure it'll be just fine. I could also use some more candy. Well, KFC Marketing knows what they're doing. I know. I know. Waifus for days. Ashley is best waifu in every game. Mass Effect, Honey Pop 2, um, WarioWare, um, yeah. Ashley is best, best waifu in every game ever. It's kind of insane that it works like that. Okay, come on game, you can launch. There we go, Cooking Simulator. Hopefully it shows up on screen at some point, that would be nice. Um... Game? There it is. Oh my god. Don't forget to the cooking simulator by blowing up in the kitchen. 
I will try. Um, here we go. Read more on this update. Oh. Okay. Um, it's a... Uh, oh. No, it's so chewy. It's, um... Yeah. Yeah, yeah too chewy. Okay. It opens up in a, uh, a Steam tab, unfortunately. Okay. At least they changed the main menu for it. Free Valentine's Day update available now. It's St. Valentine's Day on Monday, so we're cooked up this nice update to celebrate another. Uh, celebrate together. There's a new lobster tail recipe available in a simpler, more advanced variant. Um, additionally, classic and modern things. What? Classic and modern. Kitchen got a new, uh, new event decoration and the main menu's theme has been updated. Simply download the latest update and enjoy new content for the next 48 hours. Cooking Simulator or DLC Simulator VR are on sale. Okay. Nice. Um, but when was this posted? <laughs> um, because I'm not going to buy anything today. If... Yeah, that's all right. It'll go on sale again, I'm sure, at some point. All right, let's see. Um, how do we do it? Let's go. Where's my mouse cursor? Does this game not have a mouse cursor or what? Oh, there it is. Oh, it was here for a second and then it disappeared. Eh. What the fuck? This game sucks, it's still glitchy as hell. There you go, fuck off, we're gonna try that again. <laughs> don't go to the Steam menu, don't do that. Fuck it, just go! Don't fucking take anything to the Steam cloud, just launch the goddamn game. Big Cheese Studio. Playway, all these things, just get on the screen already, get in the stream thing. Come on, you can do it. Just uh, show yourself, there we go, cooking simulator, we're in again. It's not on the screen yet. Come on, Chica can't play around all day. Hello, thank you. Okay, um, I guess we'll try a new game. Let's see. Sandbox mode. What's this? Oh, this is a uh, sandbox cooking shelter. Uh, leaderboard challenge, cooking school, career mode. Uh, shelter, pizza. Oh, I don't have pizza, nor do I have shelter. Um, sandbox mode, winter holidays, super hot challenge, cooking with food network, uh, let's go with career, uh, classic and modern kitchens, um, let's see, tutorial on, let's just go with modern and see if they've changed that at all, we'll see if that's good. We're starting a brand new career, and we're going to see if we can make some, some something nice. Although, Jesus Christ, that looks like a, a fucking murder scene. Because you notice there, you got a green pepper, but the, you got a, you got a, a red a knife with red red goo all over it. I, something has gone wrong. <laughs> Someone's just placed a green pepper there, as as if to say, like, oh look, I was just cutting this green pepper. Welcome to the kitchen. Uh, do 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 things. I can do that. I can do things. There's no Valentine's Day stuff here. Bullshit. Let's try again. Uh, I've lost my mouse cursor again. Oh, it's because I have a controller on. There we go. It's because I plugged my fucking controller in. There we go. And down it goes. Okay. Back to menu. There we go. It doesn't take too long to load anymore, which is nice. Yeah. All right. New game. Career mode. Let's go with a classic. There we go. Keep calm and keep on cooking like an idiot. I won't need a controller for the rest of the day, I don't think, so let's just pop that away now. It's just going to get in the way. Otherwise, oh, God, there we go. Yeah. What a disaster. Get that shit over there. There we go. All right, back to cooking. Can you smell what Joe's guy is cooking? I, I hope so. I, I haven't burnt anything yet. I'm the manager of this place. This is not fucking... Ah, Jesus Christ. This is... This is fucking annoying. Um, so let's see. Valentine's Day update. Cooked up this nice update to celebrate together. There's a new lobster tail recipe in, in a simpler, more advanced variant. Additionally, both Classic and Modern Kitchen got a new event decoration, and the main menu's theme has been updated. Event decoration. Simply download the latest update, which I've done. 
must be something to do with maybe settings? No, I don't think so. No. Enable tutorial. Uh, nope. Okay. Hmm. It's not a setting then. I don't know which one it is though. Hang on, maybe I have to set something. Classic, modern, okay. Oh, maybe have to. Oh, maybe have to do like decorations and shit. Oh, fuck that. Maybe just go to cooking school again. Can I? There is a sandbox mode, but it's just in the shelter. Why isn't there a regular sandbox mode? This sucks. Uh, shelter. I haven't even bought these. So I can fuck off. Uh. Well, maybe if I go career mode... Why is there no sandbox for normal? That doesn't make any sense. Tutorial off, let's go. Toss a rock in the stove. <laughs> Can you even do that? I didn't know there were rocks in this game. Oh, shit. Okay, that's better. Alrighty. Uh, everything is looking shiny, but I gotta get some decorations. Maybe I order them or something? Or I switch it. Let's turn the radio on at least. There we go, Cheesy FM. Oh, hang on, uh, next station. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Where's my music at, though? Uh. Where's my station at? Yeah, I guess that'll do, fuck it. I don't know where my music's gone, but it's not here. Alright, so let's check the, uh... Check all this stuff, recipe, skills, decorations, here we go. Events, uh, 4th of July, oh yeah, here we go, here we go. Um, Valentine's Day ought to be here, it's probably at the very bottom, there we go, 2022. Install. There we go, tiles, all that shit. Uh, basic, not owned, in use, blah blah blah, etc. Alright, close that shit. There, that's much better. Oh, it's all dark outside even. Look at that. It's bewitching hour, everybody. The settings reminded me I was playing Lego Star Wars 3 and R2 wouldn't glide. I had to turn on V-Sync for R2 to glide. How the fuck does that work? Uh, yeah, there's stuff like that. The things that are tied to frame rates. It, it happens. It's really weird. Oh god, there's hearts everywhere. Alright, you can use a laptop to pin a recipe. I will do that. Let's make something. Uh, recipe manager. Um... Baked trout, salmon steak. Okay, I, I don't own so much. Let's just pop this on the menu. I'll pin that. And I haven't played this in a while. Uh, here we go. I think that's correct. Let's see if I've done this properly. Um, oh yeah, there we go. They're all pinned up. All right. Uh, that is skip preparation phase. Uh oh, um, I didn't realize that was a thing. Uh, shit. Alright, hang on, I better get some stuff out then. In fact, let me just check the ingredients now, so I check what I have to, to, to make. Let's go with baked trout first. Uh, baked trout, and here is my prep area for this area, for this, I guess. Oh my god, there's a giant chocolate heart with balloons in the center. Okay, uh, baked trout. Okay, hang on, wait. Mm, place on baking tray. Okay, so we're gonna have to start baking shit. Let's turn that on. There we go, get that oven nice and hot. Where are the bacon trays at? Uh, the old bacon trays. Uh, fuck if I know. Where are the bacon trays at? Bacon trays. Uh, oh, there's one. Bake tray. I'll just leave it there for now, I guess. Bake tray and... Oh, I've got less than a minute. Uh, let's see. Baking thingy. Horseradish. Fry on each side. Oh, I'll have to turn the fryer on too, I guess. Um, uh, there we go, one of these will do. Yep, alright, just just one of them, I guess. I don't want to destroy the house just yet. Not yet, anyway. Uh, frying. I'll need a frying pan, won't I? Uh, that's not where you store frying pans. Where do I store frying pans at? Where are my fucking frying pans? Um, uh, I've got a mop. I've got some other things. I don't know. I have no freaking idea. Oh god, we've only got ten seconds. Um... I don't know where the frying pans are. Oh, here it is. I got it just at the last second. 
Here we go. Just preheat that shit. There we go. That's how you prep things. Okay. We're open for business. First orders should be should arrive at any moment now. Look, someone ordered a, a dish. Every time a client orders a thing on the screen, do do do. Okay, new order. Someone wants one of this shit. Okay, take salmon fillet. Season with uh, things. Hang on, I gotta get a salmon fillet out first. Salmon fillet. There it is. Try not to go bankrupt. Yeah, I know, I know. There we go. I'm not gonna even put it on a cutting board because I'm too much of a prick. Okay. Who cares about salmonella, really? Uh, salt, black pepper. Oh god, where are all my things? Oh god, salt and black pepper. Got black pepper. I can only take one thing at a time. Fuck my life. Salt, black pepper. Okay, how, mu how much do I need on this? Uh, five grams of each. Okay. I can do that. One, two, three, four, five. Five. There we go. Pop that over there. Pop some black pepper on as well. The same amount. Eh. Eh. It's alright. I'm going to show all the waifus that I can cook. Hence, Valentine's Day won't be so lonely anymore. Add to the pan sunflower oil. 10 milliliters of sunflower oil. Sunflower oil? Yes, here we go. To a frying pan, uh, add 10 milliliters. Open bottle. Um... 10 milliliters. Let's see if I can get that without shitting the bed. Oh god, ah, that's too much. Okay, 18, but that's fine, that's fine. Uh, uh could you not spill any more now? That'd be great. Okay, um, get that nice and hot. Um, add the salmon fillet. Here it is, we'll just hold it in my hands. Fry for 60 seconds on each side. 60 seconds on each side. Okay, one minute should go, um, put it back down again, I don't want to set it just yet, um, for 60 seconds each side, so I might need a thing to flip it, yeah I got a spatula here, okay 60 seconds on each side, uh, I'll drop it in in a sec, let's go with, six set up timer, there we go, I think it's going, I think it's working, at least I think it is. Is that going? Is that actually ticking away? Uh, no it's not. Alright, um... There we go. Uh... Set up timer. Fuck you then. Oh, there we go. Now it's working. Okay, it's just magically working now. I think we lost about 10 seconds there, so... Alright, um... I'm so good. I'm gonna see what Kason's emotes are, if any. Oh, she has none. Well, of course she has none. She's only just started. Okay, and then flip it over after 60 seconds, or is it like, hang on, wait, wait, wait. Fry for 60 seconds each side, right. 60 seconds each side, I can do that. And then once this has gone to about 10 seconds, I think it's fine. There we go. Oh, it kind of shows you more or less how much time it's cooking and when you should flip it around. Okay, yeah, just wait for it to do this, I guess. Here we go. That's a salmon fillet. Now, how do I flip it? Uh, advanced controls. Um, rotate it. Yep, that's definitely how you do that. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Um, can I crouch down? Yes, I can. There we go. This is going great. <sighs> Fuck's sake, it's just going to keep going, isn't it? Just put it on the fuck fucking... Are you serious? It's not- uh, fuck- okay, fuck this. Can I just pick it up with my bare hands? No, I can't. Too hot. Too hot. Shut the fuck up! And it just fell on the floor again! Shut the fuck up! Okay, there we go. Fuck, are you serious? Come on. It's getting ridiculous. It's not- the spatula isn't even the right way around. There we go, and I can't- I can't just put it down now, can I? Get off the fucking thing. It's, it's not even the right way around. Can I just sort of tip it slightly and... There we go. I can just kind of nudge it, sh surely, by now, can't I? There we go. Can I just... Can I just fucking turn it? Turn it. There we go. We got there in the end. Fuck you. Okay, just fucking throw it. Shut up! 
There. Shut the fuck up. There we go. I don't need these timers anymore because I can just see how they're cooked, I guess. Okay. While that's doing its thing, this is the most irritating bullshit ever. Uh, transfer onto plate, serve hot. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. Basic plate. You get a basic plate. I'm not paying for anything more than that. Okay, get this fucking sunflower oil out of the way. Is it time? Probably not just yet. Here we go. Nearly time, maybe. Boop, boop, boop. Salmon fillet coming through. Da -da -ba -ba. Oh, God. Alright. I, I, hope, I hope whoever makes this rewards me with a sexual favor afterwards. Otherwise, it won't be worth it. Okay, and there is a perfectly cooked little thing, probably, I don't even know anymore. Damn it, I don't know how to aim this at all. Um, I have no depth perception here. Okay. Pick that up, and then just... Or, where? Wait, if I'm holding a plate, I can pick it up, can't I? I forgot about that. If you're holding a plate... Oh, see, it just falls down, but then you can just go whoop! Just like that, fantastic. What else do I need? Uh, add two pot boiled potatoes. Oh god, I gotta do the boiled potatoes next. Oh, I should have done them at the same time. All right, that's not gonna be hot. That's gonna be nice and cool by the end of this. Um, let's see, water, hundred mils of water. Let's go. Um, pot, pot. That'll do. Pot and water. And there we go. How much do I need again? Uh, 1,000 milliliters. Okay. 1,000 milliliters it is. Um, I'll just pop you there. Oh. Yeah. Uh, left handle. Oh, no, that's hot water. Uh, right handle. Here we go. We got a little bit of hot water in there, but who gives a shit? There we go. I think that's all I needed, right? I'm not too sure. That's... A thousand milliliters, which is correct, I think. Uh, salt. Oh god, I gotta salt the water as well. Oh wait, of course you do. That, of course, that makes perfect sense. Twenty grams in total. Keep going, keep going. We're gonna make this very salty. There we go, just like me right now. Ah, uh, potato. Three hundred grams worth of potatoes boiled for one hundred twenty seconds. Okay. Uh, potatoes, not in the fridge. Don't be a dickhead. Um. How do I know how much? Okay, 150 grams worth of potato. So, so if it's 100, and, so just two of them then. If it's 300, that makes sense. Pop it into the water. I suppose the picture does have two potatoes on it, so there's a dead giveaway. Yoki dokey. And then boil that shit. Um, can I just pop it on here? Do you think? Yeah, I totally can. Probably. All right. There we are. Boil that shit, um, and boil that for 120 seconds. Hang on. Oh, 120 seconds. Let's do that. Overtime. What do you mean, overtime? I'm overtime by five seconds? I don't give a fucking shit. I'm not making that soup, either. 120 seconds. Set up timer. 120 seconds. There we go. There we go. Turn that on. Okay, I gotta make some of this uh, red soup as well. Okay, tomato soup. Hopefully that's easy enough. Oh God, why? Chicken broth. I'm just making this one dish and I'm going home. Oh, fuck this. I'm, I'm, I'm calling it a day. I don't give a shit. There's one thing that we can do as well. Love you more. No, fuck you. You do not love me if you've made this my existence. Ah. I'm gonna make this one dish and then I'm gonna call it a day and tell all of you to fuck off. Can I just punch my card in or something? I'm gonna blow this place up. I don't know how to, but I'm gonna find a way. Where's the dynamite at? Uh, miscellaneous. Blowtorch. Fire extinguisher. Firecracker. Surprisingly cheap. There we go. I'm just gonna pop you down there. And what else have we got? Fire extinguisher. Christmas tree headdress, blowtorch. 
bit expensive, but why the fuck not? Oh, we can do something better than that, surely. Uh, it's expensive, but my god, it might actually work for us. Blowtorch it is. There we go. We're a bit broke now, but that's okay. Order gas bottles and a blowtorch. Oh, we're done. Okay. There we go. Shut the fuck up. And... Transfer onto a plate and serve hot. Okay. At least the salmon is kind of hot. Okay. Ooh, potatoes. There we go. Oh, just stay on the plate, please. Stay on the plate, everything, please. There we go. That's an order. Uh, salmon and steak potatoes. Two minutes overdue. Fuck it, let it go. Alright. Taste. Realization time. Not good. Overall score, uh, fine. Uh, that's good. Guest complaints. Nothing. Boiled potato flavors. Fuck you. I don't care. Alright. Uh, what was it again? F f gas bottle. Here we go. Water gas bottles and a blowtorch. Gas bottles are very cheap. For whatever reason. All right, let the good times roll. I'm gonna turn this on. <laughs> Here we go. Can I take this frying pan? Yeah, I'll just uh, pop it over there. There we go. Let the good times roll. Okay. Grab a firecracker. Light it up. There we go. And wait for the explosion. Oh yeah. Didn't do much, so- Oh my god! Achievements! Nothing lasts forever and, uh, I can't work here. <laughs> well, that's- Yeah, that's- that's what I did. <laughs> Jesus, we blew up so much! This music is perfect for what we just did. Oh dear. Rip in peace, kitchen, you, um, yeah. Jesus Christ, um... I think I lost everything. It's my blowtorch, the gasoline, everything. I quit. Fuck you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, God's sake. So, yeah, we tried cooking, but I'm just not very good at it, you see? I wish I could play a VR version of this. I, I, I have a feeling it would be much better. So, there you have it. Cooking simulator with the thing of Valentine's Day. I mean, it's not real. They didn't really add all that much to it, really. Just a lobster and some... Some decorations, but that's fine. It's a thing that exists, and I guess I'm reasonably glad that it does. Sure, why not? Oh, God. Oh, my God. We're at the tail end of Valentine's Day stream 2022, and I'm trying to think of what last-minute things to do. Haven't got a lot of time, have we? Let's see if we can squeeze out John Cena school. I think we should squeeze that out. One last thing, which means we've only not done one... Two, three, four, five. And two of those five things are things I've already done before. So yeah, I think we did pretty good on this list. Where are you going? Keep streaming. I've been st I've been streaming for like fucking hours. I gotta go to sleep at some point. <laughs> okay, we're gonna launch the last game though, and that is John Cena School. I hope it's just as traumatizing as as uh, I, I don't remember it too well, but I come to see if John Cena School is a nightmare. Hopefully it will be. Here we go, John Cena's sexy sky uh, high school adventure. We're gonna wait for the game to actually fucking show up at some point. You gonna you gonna show up on the screen at all? There it is, John Cena's sexy high school adventure. Let's check our preferences. Those are good preferences. Check help. Oh god, it's just a website. Oh, it's just Renpy. Go away. Oh, it's not full screen anymore. Hang on, uh, full screen. Boom. There we go. Fantastic. Return. You can load games. Oh, we've played this before, uh, back February 17th of a couple of years ago, I think. Yeah, okay, let's do this. It's John Cena. Du, 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 du. Have you played Beaten the Game before? Uh, yes, I'd like to start a new game plus. I would like to start from the beginning. Ah, uh, I've played it before. What's a new game plus? Did you achieve all possible endings? No, I didn't. I'm going to do that now. Fukusan. Oh, man, it sucks I have to move school. All of my friends are bu were bullying me. But at least I hope I can make much more friends at Cena High. Alright. I like this idea. Huh? Nobody's here. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god, it's the oboe rendition of it. I think. Hey there, it's me, John Cena. Duh, 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 duh. Well, you scared me. Whoa, it's John Cena. Hey, you're the new kid, right? 
Cena Senpai. Glad to have you here. Thank you. Where should I go? You should probably meet uh, the Teach, Mr. Cena. Or you can hang out uh, with me and the gang. Okay, I'll think about it. Awesome. Later. Oh shoot, what should I do? Go to the classroom, follow Senpai's crew. We'll go to the classroom for now. We should really meet the new teacher. Dun, 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 dun. Hello, is anyone here? Hi, I'm here. <laughs> that's, a, that's Mr. Cena. Hello, I'm Mr. Cena, your teacher. You are teacher, and you are... Uh, none of your business. I'm Fuko, sir. It's, it's Fuko, sir. Ah, nice name for a nice boy. Nice to meet you, Fuko. Oh god, this is horrible. So how can I help you? I'm new to the school and somebody told me to, to go to you. Ah, it was probably that John Cena boy. He's nice, isn't he? Yeah, he's cool, I guess. Jesus Christ, game. Let's lower that volume a tad. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. He's cool, I guess. Oh, it's almost time. You'd better take your seat. Alright, thanks. Oh, the game's not loading anymore. Why well, isn't showing up on screen? Hang on, fuck this game. There we go. Doesn't seem to be showing up properly. You barely listen to the lesson, but understand it enough. And that's it for today. Remember to do your assignment on the history of the WWE belt by tomorrow. I will, thank you, Senpai. You leave the classroom with everyone else. What should you do now? Find Cena Senpai. Go home. Let's find Cena Senpai. You look all around but find nothing. Fuck this. I'm going home. Not so fast, chump. You turn quickly. Oh, oh no. Johnny. Hey nerd, you better you better work on my assignment or else. In fact, take this. He whacks your notes into a puddle, completely drenching them. Oh crap. Fuck that guy. Fight back. Run home like a crybaby chump. Fuck him up. You swing your fist, but Johnny moves his head quickly, dodging your punch. Ha ha ha, this chump's trying to knock me out. Take this. He hits you hard on the head. You don't think you're getting up. He's pinning you. One, two, three. Bells go off. Johnny's celebrating. Meanwhile, you are not. You're dead. Bad end. Oh no. Let's try again. Uh, New game plus. Uh... I wonder what these other options could possibly do to affect the experience, I wonder. Okay, uh... Can I skip... I can skip some things. Uh... There we go. Sorry about that. Didn't know you were the, the new kid. Maybe I can hang out with, uh, with the gang here today. Follow Senpai's crew. Cena, wait up! You ran and ran until you catch up with Cena, Senpai. Oh, hey, bro. I want you to meet everyone. This is Johnny, the tough guy of the group. Don't get on his bad side. Yo, chump, don't get in my way. Oh, it's that fucker. All right, this is Jonathan. He ain't as talkative like like all the rest of us. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> He's gonna shout. Him. Oh, sorry. I I have a project I need to do. <laughs> That's all he does. All he does is work. Wait, work? Ah, oh, shoot. We gotta go get to class. Let's go, champ. All right. You barely listen to the lesson, but understand it enough. And that's it for today. Remember to do your silent on the history of the WWE belt by tomorrow. As you leave the classroom with everyone else, what should you do now? Uh, go home. I'm going home. I better work on that assignment. Oh god, it's this fucker again. Alright, what are we gonna do? Quick save it. Save that game. Empty slot. Let's go. Okay. He whacks your notes into a puddle. Um, let's just run away home like a crybaby chump this time. Man, I don't need this. You bolt it back home. Oh man, teacher's gonna kill me. Why do I have a child's bedroom? Or Johnny's gonna do it first. I'll just go to bed, it's late. Dun, 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 dun. Oh man, I had a horrible night. Oh shoot, the assignment. I completely forgot about it, but I don't have my notes. What do I do? I'll see when I get to school, I guess. Who should I go to? Um, just imagine the customers hearing an explosion from the kitchen and seeing the chef walking out. <laughs> I know, that's just gonna be me every single time when I play that game. Who should I go to? Um... Jonathan, Mr. Cena, Cena Senpai. Let's go to Mr. Cena. Uh, Fuko, you're early. What's the rush? You look like you've seen a ghost. I'm sorry, Mr. Cena. I, I couldn't do my assignment. Hey now, don't get upset. It's just an assignment. It isn't even that hard. How about I give you the answer sheet and you quickly copy it out before the others come in? You... 
You really mean it? Sure, but you better do it now before the others will want to do the same. Oh yeah, thanks again, Teach. <laughs> what the fuck is this place? You quickly copy the answers and have a nice assignment ready. Now give back the answers and take your seat. We're starting. But wh why the favoritism? Am I best student for some reason? So class, hand in your assignments. You proudly hand in your assignment to the teacher. Thank you all. Johnny, is, you is yours the same as Jonathan's again? Uh, no. Mine- this time mine's legit. Hmm. It even says Jonathan crossed out with- cro It even says Jonathan crossed out with to say your name. Come on, teach. I need this so I can join the WWE. Uh, for the last time, I won't fix your grade. Oh, not cool. Oh. Shit. I didn't mean to skip past those dialogues. Damn, there he goes again. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, today's lesson. Dun, 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 dun. You nearly fall asleep in class, barely making out what the lesson was about. These games are all the same. It's just, I'm just terrible at school. And that's how Brock Lesnar got pummeled. No homework today, but remember that the prom is tomorrow. <laughs> Wait, the prom is tomorrow? What? We have a prom? Well, yeah, you didn't know. Nobody told me. Well, there's no time to explain it. School's over. Get out. <laughs> all right, prom's tomorrow. Oh boy, all right. Well, I think I know who to invite for the prom. Pick up your phone and call. Today's the day of the prom. Save the fucking game. Da, 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 da. I wonder if my date is here yet. Oh, I think I see them now. Oh shoot, that's not them. Hey chump, what are you doing with no day, huh? Oh, I'm just uh, waiting for my date. Well, I got my piece. Well, I got my piece of ass. Ain't that right, sweetie? <laughs> Jane Cena. Hee <laughs> hee, you're so funny, Johnny. Hi. What did I say about calling me that in front of everyone? You witnessed Johnny doing an Irish whip to Jane, knocking her down. He holds the pin. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Johnny stands up proudly. You didn't see me. Well, that was weird. They're probably inside, though. Oh, man. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Why did you call me? I was wondering, uh, why did you give me the answers to the assignment? Shouldn't you have failed me? That is because there is something called forbidden love. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Normally I'm not supposed to have feelings for one of my students, but when I saw you begging, little did I know that that was my fetish. T -t Teacher son, I'll have you know. Hot. Oh, yeah. Teach, that's my. Don't worry. I knew it! Take this! Why, you little blam! Ugh! The fuck is this? I played in WWE, you know! <laughs> what the fuck? Would have gone pro if I didn't start teaching. Why, are you. In my new WWE, people will wrestle for what they believe! Not for praise, not for fans. You are evil! <laughs> Ow! This isn't wrestling! I didn't come to the school to get friends. I came to the school to stop you. You. I've I've done it. I've stopped the apocalypse. I wish I had a wrestling partner though. This <laughs> you're fucking insane. Teacher end. That's the thing. Relevant considering MGRR got really relevant lately. Oh wait, I have to go to school tomorrow. That was some prom. Oh shoot, I'm late. I gotta get to class quick. Oh no, you don't, mister. There's the security guard. It's past homeroom. School's closed to newcomers. Wait, wh when, when did, when did they add this? After what happened last night, you killed the only teacher in the school, so we're gonna have to hire a new one. It wasn't my fault, I was in the zone. The, the, the music was really cool. That's everyone's excuse, sport. I'm gonna have to arrest you for murder. Arrest, you're a school guard. You're going to- you're going to somewhere worse than prison, though. Detention. No. Oh, god, man, this sucks. Check under the bed. Chuck, check in the bookshelves. Check in the toilet. Let's check the bookshelves. Just a bunch of old books. You see a math book? Boring. Check under the bed. Nothing. In the toilet? You see a rope and a turnbuckle. A rope? What if I- You stick your hand in the toilet and tuck the rope. It isn't coming out. Come on, you. You pull it out and the toilet water starts draining. What the? 
Suddenly an idea springs to mind. I'm going in. As the gospel says, never give up. The body slam into the to you body slam into the toilet and go through the magical pipeline. Whoa! I've never seen anything more beautiful. Well, other than John Cena's fantastic conquering of the Undertaker's streak, which happened. No, it didn't. <laughs> I see an exit. Haha, <laughs> I'm out. But I smell worse than a locker room. I better get home and change out of my clothes. Wait, who am I even talking to? Now I'm really confused. Let's save that game. Da, 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 da. There we go. Wow, these have been amongst the most exciting days ever. I don't think they could be, ever be topped. Hello? H hello? Hello, Fuko. You're late again. Sit down. Wait, didn't I kill you? What? Kill me? The teacher comes closer towards you and starts whispering. Listen, you little chump. One more mention about what happened at prom and it's pounding time. I just barely got my job back, so you better be on my good side. Now please, take your seat, Fuko. Now class, we're gonna learn how- What now? Oh jeesh, it's an earthquake! No, I think it's something worse. Come with me, children, we need to go down. Down where, teach? I'll show you. Oh no, it stinks down here. Can it, chump? Teach, my, my abs are aching, how long do we need to keep walking? Until we find the- Stop! There it is. Blah. Stand back, foul beast. Who said that? Stand back, children. For it is I, Sir Jonathan Senior of York. Sir Jonathan- <laughs> Jesus Christ. I am here to slay this evil monster once and for all. Blah. Oh my god, it's the music from Mount Your Friends. I think I probably mentioned that when I last streamed this as well. I thought this was just a high school sim. What the heck's going on? Ye shall meet thine end, foul beast. Blah. Br <laughs> Help, I hath lost. Oh no, this is no good. Blah. <laughs> it's just Brock Lesnar. He shan't go for the pin. I'll lose my knighthood. Help, Sir Cena. Fight the monster yourself. Watch, I can help him. Don't worry, sir. You ram yourself right into the monster's belly. Go, sir. Get him. He slashes his sword and chops the monster clean in half. Ow. <laughs> Hooray! We saved the day. And so, they went back to the surface and had a neat party. It was full of pizza, candy, and wrestling. Everyone became bestest friends with Fuko, and Fuko had never been more happy. Now, guys... You know I wouldn't have been able to do it without Mr. McMahon, our lord and saviour. True that. <laughs> Good end. Da, 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 da. But is it the true ending? I guess we'll find out at another point in time. <laughs> because I guess I'll finish the stream. It's a bit early, but I guess I'll, I'll finish it up. John Cena's Sexy High School Adventure 1.1. There's been an update. <laughs> John Cena's Sexy High School Adventure. It is a thing that exists, and I guess I'm reasonably glad that it does. And hey, there you go. There you go. Can I get some, some music here? Uh, is, that, is that a good one, I guess? That's fine. Yeah, why not? So there you have it. Oh, what's this link? Did I click this earlier? I don't think I did. Uh, keep punching that waifu. <laughs> keep doing it over and over again. Hang on. Oh, jeez. There she goes. Rip, rip, rip. Can't destroy waifu fast enough. Does she ever get anywhere? She's not doing too well. Well, she tried. <laughs> what can I say? She tried. Oh, dearie me. Alright, but still. There you have it. That was a, a thing. Holy shit, we actually got through it. <laughs> I'm surprised. The Valentine's Day stream of 2022 comes to an end, and holy shit, every year it's always a disaster, but you know what, it's always filled with passion. PASSION! PASSION! Oh jeez, who am I hosting before we go? We're gonna raid somebody. Who are we gonna, who are we gonna raid today? We'll find out. We will find out in a moment. No one with big view accounts though. Oh god, and there are a lot of them. So many people. I'm gonna look for someone below like 20 or something. 
let's see. Uh, oh, Felly has zero people watching. Yeah, let's get him uh, a host going. So, oh, hang on, I'll just get his channel up and ready to go. So, there you have it, super sexy Valentine's stream, a thing. It's, it's a thing, holy shit, that we did. Um, what did we actually get around to doing? We did, we did quite a lot, actually. We did Doodle Date, we did, uh, Beach Date, we did that Google Valentine's Day thing, we did the Ratchelor Jeff Goldblum Simulator, which is not finished, sadly. Uh, Nothing to Say, Galaxy Angel Sim Date, Giraffe Town, which isn't actually really suitable for a Valentine's Day stream, so I'm saving it for Halloween. Um... I love you, Colonel Sanders, and uh, Cooking Day Simulator V Day update, as well as John Cena School. So quite a lot of games. I got my work cut out for me to edit tomorrow, but oh well, what can you do? Anyway, uh, is there anything I need to mention? Oh yes, of course, we will actually be back again on Thursday for the super R-rated uh, Yabai version of the stream. It's going to be fucking great. Oh jeez, we're going to be doing some more Honey Pops and some Super Seducer 3. And the only way you're going to be able to see that one is... Be sure to follow Gib Gaming on other social media platforms. ...if you follow on the on the Discord, because the Discord is the only place I'm going to be linking that super secret stream that's going to be unlisted on YouTube. And it's the only place you'll get to see the super sexy waifu good times in Honey Pop and Super Seducer 3. Both of them uncut. It's going to be great. Um, so yeah, um... I don't think there's anything else I have to remember other than that. Yeah, just we'll be doing proper R-rated super sexy stuff on Thursday. Which means I won't be doing Gib FM that week. Um, and yeah, no, I think that's all I really need to, to bring up. So we'll be back again. Such such a lonely channel. No Deep Web. I know we haven't even started with Deep Web yet, but we'll be doing something with it eventually, I'm sure. Maybe something uh, for Halloween, maybe. I don't know. But uh, let's... Have a look and see. Yeah, so yeah, I've got. Yeah, and then the rest, rest of the month is just random stuff. So yes, we'll be back again streaming to that uh, super sexy after hours channel in how many days? Uh, not counting this one, one, two, th three days time, two or three days time. Well, just watch the discords and you'll know when to tune in. It'll be at the same time I usually start a stream, so. You know, it's, 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 it's fine. It's just at the same 9 a.m. time here. Um, it'll just be on a different channel, and the only way you'll be able to see it is if I link it in the Discord, and I will. So, um, thank you very much for joining us for the, uh, PG-13, I guess, Valentine's Day stream of 2022. Um, I've been me, you've been you, thank you very much for joining us, everybody, and I'll see you when I next see you. So until then, be sure to stay sexy!